Me? Gungaga. <laughs> hey, what's so funny about that? You know Gungaga? Hi, everyone. Okay. Wow, that's a really fast piano, holy shit. Fuck yeah. Now the music is cool. Yeah, I've never watched this intro. Is the volume okay, everyone? Like, can you hear me over the music? Can you hear me over the piano, man? So, I remember really liking this game. I played this game about six years ago, and I enjoyed the fuck out of it. Mostly. Uh, I don't remember very much of it, but I... I recall liking it. Um, so we're gonna have a good time with this one. Um, I'm really... really excited to revisit this. Um, I, I still like Final Fantasy VII. It's... Maybe not my favorite Final Fantasy. Yeah, could you imagine me doing hard mode? No thanks. No thanks. And uh, Final Fantasy VII I streamed last year. And I enjoyed the stream of it. And uh, this was a pretty quality game. I like this better than Dirge of Berberus, actually. It, I will do that. Thank you. So welcome back to Midgar, everyone. <laughs> A fully functional Midgar. Polluting the world. Suck all that life out of the planet. Is ready for the train has been overrun by Wu Tai troops. Eliminate them and regain control of the train. Oh, Insertion yeah. time. Get serious. Yeah, I'm. I'm a cert now. It's me, a guy that looks like you a Zach, little, little bit. Focus. <clears throat> there are no Shinra troops on this train. Understood. Original character. Do not steal. <laughs> Hello to you too. I don't know. Zach is pretty cool. I think they got his name wrong though. It's Black Hair Cloud. But they call him Zack. I don't know what that shit's about. Come and get it. Yeah, he's also a Jedi. Re remember, he had like Mako gene therapy, which means he's a Jedi now. Children style of of cutscene. Soldier second class, Zach, on the job. The scrub lord is bragging about being second class. Okay, 
Okay, this looks familiar. Look at that. Look at that pose. Be mindful of your feelings. Anakin. So I'm going to turn some shaders on now. Uh, so bear with me for a moment, please. After I take this cell phone call. Zach speaking. Making progress, Zach. What's going on, Angeal? Why are we fighting Shinra troops? They're Wutai troops in disguise. Now, head to the open area above. Toward Sector 8. Yes, I can see the piano first, guy. you have to clear a path. Like playing this clear naked on cocaine. Like he Let's looks like Stanley I mean. Kubrick when he was Thank directing you. The Shining. He's just naked. On cocaine and just playing the piano fucking super fast. So I can cut loose, right? Use some discretion. It's showtime. Here, let me let me stand and make some dumb noises and and uh, brag while people are shooting at me. So I gotta get back into the swing of this. I, I don't remember how to play this game really. It's been a very long time. It's kind of action-y turn-based. Oh, by the way, this is the Final Fantasy VII Remake, guys. That's coming out on the PS4. I mean, Cloud dyed his hair black, sorry. That's what I meant. Not too bad. Piece of cake. I'll make first in no time. That cocaine... Pianist, pianist is just insane. Alright, I guess we'll, um... After this battle. So, uh... Turns out, I have... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that stuff now, because, uh, mistakes were made. And, uh, I have... A control. I have something mapped to fast forward. <laughs> that shouldn't be fast forward. Car cartoon. Car oh, cartoon shader. Look at this one. I'm not gonna go with it, but I want you guys to see this. Looks pretty interesting, right? Not preferable, but but it's it's something. Um, you guys have any any good uh, s suggestions? Yeah, I'm gonna- I gotta fight this motherfucker now. Um, I gotta use a potion. Okay, the slot machines are going. That does things. That does things. You can see it, it does random things. There's always slots going at all times, guys. What is happening? Wrong button again. Is there a way to control the camera in this game? This is Final Fantasy VII Survive, everyone. Also, I feel like the game is too loud again. Oh fuck yeah, who's this? Power Surge to whoever that is. Here we go! Go, go, go! Yeah, so combat just gets interrupted from time to time, and this happens. So this is something we're just gonna have to deal with. Hey, look, I got a power surge from Angeal. Watch this shit. Your honor to me. I got it. You also get skins for your weapons in CS:GO from playing this game. Showing your back to the enemy. Overconfidence will destroy you. You know who this is, guys? Can you tell by the sword? Da da da! He's gonna walk through fire. That's gonna be cool. Uh, what is this? 
Damn it. You're not the only hero. It's over. So, just just doing a impossible. Cutscene check here. It's fine, both of them are fine. He just did a sonic noise. Suddenly good graphics. Sephiroth, don't kill your friends. How many times do I have to tell you this? Oh, this is the future of phones, everyone. Wait a minute. It wasn't just a dream. It was a simulation. Dream so he's like Raiden and Big Why? Shell, right? Why? In the holodeck. He's learning to become Solid serious? Snake. They're trying to create the ultimate soldier. I was just getting warmed up. Here's your shitty sword back. <sighs> Zack. Hmm? Embrace your dreams. Huh? If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams. And honor. Hmm. Hmm. What's the option to turn up the internal resolution? People are telling me to do that. How long has it been since I played this? I, I play, I've never streamed this game. And I played this once. Six years ago. Maybe a little more than six years ago now. No, six years ago is about right. <laughs> so that's kind of like Zach's hobby. He, uh... He just fucking loves doing squats. Oh shit, it's Cloud Sword. What's this guy doing with it? Heads up first. Zach, new assignment. Woo, finally! Some real action! Gotta voice Zack like energetic and happy after doing squats. This will be your show. Yeah! Report to di Director Lizard. He's, he's not a lizard in disguise, I swear. We'll give you the details. Oh boy! Hello, that's me. Director Bowie, Zach. I mean, Lazard. It's good to finally meet face to face. Lazard, director of Soldier. Hey, yeah. <laughs> On to Hello. business. Soldier First Class Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. Know anything about this? Not a clue. Mm. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wutai? Yes. This war has gone on long enough. I've recommended mm. you for first. <laughs> and you! Oh, I love you, man! <laughs> and you! Don't make me regret this, Zack. Sir! I swear this game is pretty good. Also, did I- did I say the, uh... Someone said that I didn't like- I said I didn't like the gameplay, and that's why I would never stream this. I don't remember... ...having said that. Um, I know the, the gameplay is not the best, but, uh, I was more worried about my technical capabilities of, of being able to stream this. I wasn't sure if it played well, you know, the way I have to stream it. 
Um, I didn't know if I'd be able to. And uh, I kind of enjoyed it when I played it. Maybe it's not the best combat in the world, but it's, it's pretty okay. Um, I'll tell you everything you need to know. First thing you have to learn about is combat. You probably got a handle on it in training, but I sent you a mail explaining basic combat. I watched your Final Fantasy VII stream recently. You never said that. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't. I, I think it was. I was more worried about the technical aspects of being able to stream this. I wasn't sure if I'd ever be able to, but um, I've been assured that it, it works well. So anyway, um, yeah, there's there's email in this game, guys, because at the time, 2007, email was a brand new thing. Email was brand new as of last year. It's the hottest new thing everyone's been talking about. But I'm gonna avoid tutorials for the most part, I think. Hello, it's me, Lizard. But you can call me Divert. You would take over the assignment that was given to Genesis. Proceed to Wutai once you've made all the necessary preparations. The operation will begin immediately upon arrival in Wutai. If you have any questions, uh, you should talk to the other soldier operatives, promise. By the way, the materia you were using during training have been confiscated. Powerful materia have to be earned on your own. Fuck you! <laughs> Those are the soldier rules. The next thing you have to know about is the special tasks classified as missions. I read that as minions in my head for a second. Thank God it wasn't read as minions out loud. That would have been embarrassing because they're not in fact minions. Put simply, these are errands that the company assigns to soldier operatives. To participate in missions, you have to register your personal information on the mission board. Okay. This game is nearly 10 years old now. Fucking Christ. After you register, you can check on your handset. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of um, mission-based. It's, it's, it was a portable game, so there's like kind of... The ability to do little side quests, little missions to level up. And um, it works well as a handheld game. I don't, I'm not sure how well it would work as a stream. But then again, Peace Walker worked really well, so I think this will be cool. You can only undertake missions when you're at a save point. You should try doing a mission. Sounds like a good idea! I'll do one right now! If you're unsure about combat during missions, you should read the tutorial mail I sent you. I, I'll learn as I go. I, I remember a little bit of the combat. I could probably figure it out. Famous last words. It's funny how, um, just to talk about Metal Gear Survive for less than a second, it's funny how Metal Gear Survive was announced the day before Metroid Federation Force came out. Isn't that, like, a weird timing? It just it feels like the universe is having a, having a giggle. Shinra Electric Power Company. Training missions. Shinra's basic training. So, I mean, it's kind of like a mix of, not really turn-based, but you can see, like, I have menu options. Zack kind of locks onto the nearest soldier automatically, but I also have the ability to choose my target by kind of facing in that direction. So, it's, you know, it's kind of, um... It's kind of... Uh... Ooh, there's an elixir for the first mission? Holy shit. It's, it's kind of, uh, more, uh, le less Zelda, less Dark Souls, less, King it's, it's even less Kingdom Hearts, I would say. It's, it's more, well, Kingdom Hearts mixed with slot machines and auto lock on, possibly. Yeah, that's a good, whoever said Kingdom Hearts, that's a pretty good analogy, I think. It was so easy, I could have done it blindfolded. Haha, uh, you're the man, Zack. I'll be waiting to hear about your exploits on this Wutai assignment. Oh, I almost forgot. I never explained these supply pods to you, did I? And the supply pods are items you can use in battle. The company sends them to us periodically. I see, they're like provisions for soldier members. 
It'd be a shame to squander the company's goodwill. Check it out before you go on assignment. Wonder what they gave us this time. Cause Zack is a is a funnier character than we've ever had. Um, I never finished a Kingdom Hearts game. I've I've never owned one. Um, whoever asked if I was a fan, I liked what I played, and I think the series is probably really good, and I'd probably like it if I got into it. But um, yeah, I just I never never really fully got into it. It's just again just one of those things that eluded me, not by choice though. All right, looks like you're ready to go. Lastly, I'll tell you about mail. Just now, I sent a mail to your head handset. We can exchange information this way. You can also get messages from Director Lazard and um, company news via mail. Check it regularly. Who knows, you might get mail from friends you make along the way. Great! But don't just read mail that you get from girls. Well, I guess that's everything. Looks like it's time for you to head out. You're going with Angeal, right? Good luck on the assignment. Yeah, thanks for all the information. I'm gonna spoil Final Fantasy VII anyway, because if you're watching this, I'm gonna assume that you might have also watched my Final Fantasy VII playthrough. And the game is like fucking 20 years old, so... Um, Reeve is cat shit. And yes, I pronounce it Mako. Sorry. If this is a problem for you, let me show you the door. <laughs> We have to leave for Wutai soon, are you ready? Oh wait, actually hang on, I got a... I got a bronze bagel. Okay. Let's do this. I'll be joining you as well. I'm counting on you. Sir! By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. Ah, good. Unattainable dreams of the best kind. Uh, thanks. Director Lazar does not want anything to do with the Zack asshole. He's like, this guy, this guy's cute. He's trying to be a hero. He, he sucks. Sorry, B unit standing by. You two, identify yourselves. Just leave it to me. Loud guitar music plays indiscriminately. I'm sorry, but that oh yeah, every time I hear that, he's gonna be I'm gonna be thinking about Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm sorry. Calm down, Zach. No can do. The director is watching from somewhere, right? I have to make a good impression. Zach. Do you know about Dumpsters? <laughs> Do you know about dumb apples? No? What is that? Unbelievable. How can you not know about dumb apples? You'll never make first at that rate. Whoa, wait! What are dumb apples? Let me show you how this is done. Anyone who speedruns this game, you have to learn how to do this. Just to get rid of the fucking icon in the top right. Gone. Got rid of- the Game looks pretty good for a PSP game. Especially now. Dumb apples? You mean- you mean dumb assholes? That's these guys. Best fingering skills, yeah. Yes. Finger quickly, if you're gonna go through the, the emails. I'm really gonna try to disassociate Zack from Sonic the Hedgehog. Really, really gonna try. Success not guaranteed, but I'm going to make a fucking effort. Conflict resolved. So, Angeal, what's the deal with dumb apples? The official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. Smooth jazz the local plays farms in the distance. Had plenty of them to spare. Oh, I should really? remember this. So you stole them. We were poor, Zack. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. 
the largest Benora white tree grew on a wealthy man's estate. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he oh, was a friend, touching. you should have just asked for some. Honor can be quite a burden at times. Fucking wharf over here. And what exactly does this have to do with me? No story is not worth hearing. Huh? No, there's plenty of stories about the guy who grew a knob on his arm. What? Who the fuck wants to hear about That's that story? It? That story sucks. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. How about the little monkey fellow that robbed a bank and then drove to Mexico by himself? That's not a story worth hearing. Carl, you're an idiot. Play a record. It's just like, yeah, like one moment there will be no voice acting, and then the next moment there's plenty. B unit will set off an explosion. That's our cue. The diversion will allow us to infiltrate. Right. I'll set the bomb inside the fortress. You'll charge the front gate and- Uh-huh. And? And, and, and? and? Indulge yourself. You got it. That's what I do best. Ah, come on, be unit. That's a cool sword. You know, I've never it. actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's sort of a waste? Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. But you're serious, aren't you? Yeah. I can be pretty cheap. Yeah, no kidding. Explosions. Begin mission. I saw a sign today. Salt zone begins. I'm sorry, no salt zone begins. Which is like, you know, you don't salt the road in the winter. At like a certain point, it's by the, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. And then when you get off the bridge, it says no salt zone ends. I, I like their, um, their feudal, like, gun-spear combos. That's good shit. See, now's a good time. Since they cost zero, now's a good time to use some spells. Okay, now they no longer cost zero. The dudes up top have guns, but they're not shooting. It's like, what are you doing, man? Later. Laters! <laughs> Fucking Zack. The thing about Zack is I actually kind of like him a little bit more than Cloud. Like, ultimately, you know, I feel like this this game kind of makes me like him more. It's not just this game that makes me like him. Like, he's not an he's not necessarily an edgelord. Neither was Cloud by the end of the game. I think Cloud gets some shit, and he's not as bad as people think he is. Advent Children kind of fucked up Cloud's character. Yeah, it's- it, Zack is- he's got a personality, he's... You know... He's... Kinda... Happy. <laughs> um, and there's some character growth and development. And his hair is black. That's the other only difference between the characters. Enemy attack, it's soldier, don't let him get through! Were you able to get inside the fortress? Piece of cake! I could have done it blindfolded, and he's arrogant. Don't get too careless. I've heard that the Wu-Tai keep a large monster for anti-soldier purposes. Wow, what could go wrong keeping a large monster as a- as a weapon? It should be somewhere inside Fort Tamblin. If I take it out, do you think I'll make first? Depends on the quality of work. Your main duty is to draw the Wu-Tai troops to you by running amok. Do that well, and the director may give you a favorable evaluation. Oh, that'll be easy. Just leave it to me. It's time to impress the director. Director Bowie. Can you hear me out in space, Bowie? Get ready to hear conflict resolved in your sleep. Just just doing laps. Just just for, you know, get the uh the blood flowing. There he is. Well, that's a kind of a chupacabra. That's like a tetsu cabra. 
Well, what other kind of cobras are there in the world, guys? Let's let's make some new cobras. We got Tetsukabra from Monster Hunter. We got Chupacabra from from real life. And what other cobra? Sukacabra. Jupa Jupacabra? How dare you? Bung All right, now this is getting silly. As if it wasn't already. Grundle Cabra. Haramba Cabra. All right, all right. I regret this comp topic of conversation very much. <laughs> very much. I'm kind of surprised this game never got ported over to uh, Steam or the or the PS3 or even the 3DS. Apparently, it sold really well. Also, you like how I'm like just going backwards? That's good shit, right? Later. Later's. Oh yeah. Conflict resolved. This is Lazard. Enemy troops appear to be lurking in every corner. The fortress will not go down easily. It appears that way. I was just assaulted while I was, while I was checking a revolving wall. Why is this guy calling me? There may be similar traps set up on the other walls. Proceed with caution. It's like a kind of an inopportune time to give me a call. Also, you can tell this music had nothing to do with Uematsu. Just some guitar chords. Played with haste. This is the beginning of the fortress again, isn't it? Fucking Christ. Yeah, this- this music, when I think of like a Call of Duty trailer, like specifically a Call of Duty sentence like in like, um, in future space, I think of this music. Something like this. Jape chests. Activating combat mode. Oh, what, 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 what? Y yeah <laughs> there's that. Oh shit. Ultimate power, true power. Prove your honor to me. I got it. This is just his adrenaline fucking like flowing through his veins while he thinks about his friend. Oh yeah. Complex resolved. So there's no camera control, which sucks. Otherwise, the game is, is perfectly functional. We have to make our stand here, but it would be nice if there were camera control. Sergeant, he's coming this way! Do not falter, charge him! <laughs> Damn you! Can't you control camera with R- Oh, oh, when you're not in combat, you can control the camera. Oh, got it. That makes exploring a little bit easier. Thank you for the tip. Thank you for the tip. Conflict resolved. Have you guys learned to love the conflict resolved yet? I'll take out all enemies here first. Understood. Search and uh, for kill them. Oh, oh, oh! They're they're still around here. Okay, I'm gonna search for them so I can get a, a raise. So that means I have to look for um, more enemies, but. I didn't see any other ways to go. Oh, there's one. There's a way. Yeah, I'm not really taking the music either. The chat's freaking out about the music. There is some really good music in this game, though. Oh, shit. Who's this? Is that... Who's this mysterious character? With a ruffled feather head. His head looks like a blonde bird. There's, uh, enemies in the towers? Okay. Like, is this a tower? This is a tower. To think one soldier operative did this much damage to us. This guy was just watching and waiting for this moment. You'll pay for what you did to my men. I'll make sure you never leave this place alive. He's no match for three Wutai sergeants. We'll show you the true power of Wutai. Wait a minute. But... I just killed, like, more than half of your army. Yeah, so then this happens sometimes. Who, who's that? I don't know. Here we go! Go, go, go! Yeah, fuck Christ! That's, that's, that's the attack name. That's what he says. They had to censor it, though. For the English version. <laughs> the English version? <laughs> You know, some- some games just are too edgy for their own good, and they have to pull it back a little bit. Cause, you know, they're- 
Because Christ is a funnier character than we- God damn it! I can't stop saying... Red letter memes. Do I know how to level up? No. Uh, I don't remember how to level up. Are you gonna buy stuff, like, on the fly? Um, levels up when the Limit Verge screen reads 777. Any materia will be leveled up. If you get three of the same number of material, will increase two levels. Okay. <laughs> what, random level up? Cool. I didn't remember that. Soldier operative sighted. He's under the tower. That's where you are. 38th Tamblin unit- CHARGE! I'd like to level... my character without a slot machine in the way. I feel like this would make a good corn song. Are slots big in Japan? Yes, they are. Well, Pachinko in particular. I didn't die. No, 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 no. Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. I, in fact, did not die physically while watching the Metal Gear Survive trailer. That was- that was a representation. Uh, that's all that was. That's- that's- that was, um... Yeah, it's a representation. Still some enemies. Um... Really? Any- any thoughts, guys? Do you- do you know where the, uh... Do you know where the enemies are? <laughs> Cause there's- There's kind of no enemies left. A soulless husk? That yet- that's one way to put it. Check the pots? Bottom right. Look for hidden- well, I found the hidden doors. Okay, hang on. Let me- let me give it one more go. If there's enemies hiding in pots, I swear on me, Jacobs, I'm shutting this game off and stopping forever. Bottom right of the map, okay. Some of these enemies are hidden very well, and this is- Oh. This is- I didn't see this area. Vinny, remember when you said that whenever you stream a game, a company announces a new one in that series for better or worse? Example, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Young Conquer, and now Metal Gear Survive. So... I guess that confirms- here it is. I guess that confirms a Crisis Core sequel? Full stars. Yet, I've been playing Chrono Trigger for years. And Chrono Cross. No Chrono game. But we get cool things like Young Conquer. Young Schlonker. Well done, Zach. You've done it. I was really only expecting you to get their attention. Most impressive, I must say. I'm very pleased with the results so far. Proceed to the next objective. Please end this music. Yeah, I'll play Half-Life 2 next, don't worry guys. I'm gonna make sure Valve... Valve gets a sequel going. They're gonna start work on it as soon as I start streaming Half-Life 2. That must be the central area. Activating combat mode. Oh, it's central. You thought the music was over. But this electric boogaloo has just begun. Oh shit, I leveled up. Is that- now, is that a s- I'm curious about this level up bullshit. Is that just gonna happen anyway? Or was that, like, really just pure luck that leveled me up? Don't shoot the messenger, sir, in Enderman. Just because you learned about Metal Gear Survive from me doesn't mean- <laughs> Doesn't mean I had anything to do with it. I'm not gonna apologize. I'm- I'm as hurt as you are. You have a hidden XP bar. Once it fills, you get a 777. That answers it. Shinra wants to throw a fucking reactor in Wutai. They're like, no. Here's a question. Who here in chat has played Final Fantasy VII, but never played Crisis Core and has never even seen it watched? So this is like a brand new experience to Final Fantasy VII fans. What's this? It's Wutai's gar guardian deity, Leviathan. Oh, that's a lot of people. I'll tell you what, you guys are in for a treat then, I think. I think you'll enjoy this. We're the Crescent. The Wutai's- The Wutai Army's elite unit. We appease the wrath of Leviathan and smite the enemies of Wutai. Our beloved homeland has been brutally ravaged by Shinra. I heard that we could keep- I heard that if we could process the Mako here, it would help people live better lives. But then you attacked us without even hearing us out. What do you know about the pain we have suffered? Shinra has continuous, continually brought fear and oppression to the innocent people of Wutai. I would 
I'd like to ask you one last thing. Are you satisfied in using your immense power to serve an evil organization like Shinra? Does it bring you joy to torture innocent people? That's not what I... If there is any remorse in your heart, then atone for your actions by joining our cause. Of course, we cannot pay you much, but you can use your power in the name of justice. Justice? Is that really the case? Is it so terrible to provide Mako to people and make their lives better? I don't know. But I choose to serve Shinra. Whatever happens, I have to stand by that decision. I was foolish to think I could reason with villains. For those of us born and raised in Wutai, losing our land is the same as losing our lives. Hence, I must eliminate you as my last duty to the land. You will now witness the wrath of the Wutai. Activating combat mode. And thus they die in in under a minute. So one of the not so cool things is the invisible like boundaries when you're trying to leave combat and like, you know, get get yourself some space. And it's like, nope, invisible wall. Go eat a dick. Crisis corridor. <laughs> Can I explain the combat mechanics briefly? The illusion of you playing a game. There you go. There's no skip button. I'm actually, I'm, I'm kidding. It, again, it looks like, it looks like a more action-oriented combat system, but it's really just choose the attack and uh, face the direction of the enemy and attack. There is dodging, there is guarding. And you have to figure out what magic to use, as well as what items to use. So there is strategy. It's a, a kind of a mix of turn-based, like old, old school Square Enix or Square, you know, RPGs. You know, in a way, more mixed with like Kingdom Hearts. But if it looks like I'm doing fancy stuff, it's just the game doing it for me. I just have to, like, kind of. It's, it's like this. You're a pilot, okay. You're a pilot, and you have autopilot on on your plane, and you have to land. Um, but but the thing about it is, though, your systems need to be monitored, and every now and then you need to flip a switch while you're getting a blowjob from you know. Anyway, I promise, one day I will have your head. Fine, I'll be waiting. It's a little little edge. Zach has got a little edge going on there. Not too much. I mean, you know, he's generally a happy-go-lucky fella. He's a little bit more, um, more animated than someone like Cloud. But every now and then, there's the, the edge side shows through. <laughs> One, avoid unnecessary training. Two, protect Wutai at all costs. Three, ugly Shinra soldier dudes. <laughs> Must be punished. <laughs> dudes. Who are you? Wow, that voice was totally inaccurate, huh? I'm Wutai's greatest warrior! If you want to go further, you'll have to get through me! Cameo, everyone! A kid? You shouldn't be playing here, it's dangerous. Go home to your parents. You're the one who's going home! If you insist on going any further, you'll have to fight. You'll have a fight on your hands. So she's younger than in Final Fantasy VII, because this is a prequel, right? So, uh, oh man, what am I supposed to do here? Whap, pow, bam, take that bad guy! Just punching the air. Ah, uh, no, you, you got me! There, that'll teach you to mess with me. Once again, I've brought peace to Wutai. And then she flaps her arms as she runs away like a bird. Boy, oh boy, you gotta admire that energy. Are you happy yet, Final Fantasy VII plant fans? Are you pleased? There's also gonna be a young Han Solo, and Yo Yoda, Yoda, he's gonna show up in a minute too. Uh, also, young Boba Fett. And here I was thinking Yuffie was the boss. You must be the anti-soldier monsters I've been hearing about. Uh, 
Uh oh. Yep, I don't like that. Blizzard is super effective. Oh, physical damage does not hurt me now. Isn't that good cameras, though? Bum bum. Bum bum. Soldier, second class Zack. Victorious once again. Good work. Now, get out of there quickly. There's only five minutes until detonation. Understood. Well, what do you mean, detonation? Director Lazard! Are you watching? <laughs> Gotta move. I'm. You, you could. Can someone edit together a reel of Zack no saying things that play. Sonic would say? Even the music sounds a bit like Sonic. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remember that, Zack. Have I ever told you about dumb assholes, Zack? No, what's the dumb asshole? That's one more you owe me. You're one of them. <clears throat> you lost your focus. You used your weapon. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry if your sword got any wear, tear, or rust on it. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. Huh. So what the hell does he use when he needs a weapon? Does he carry, like, knives in his pantaloons? Thanks. Wow. That's really great. That's really great. Yeah, wow. You just killed the enemy. Wow. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not used to being on site. I'm not doing- I'm not doing Lazard as David Bowie. I can't do that. You didn't have to come. This operation will bring an end to the war. I have to see it through personally. I can't help it now. Fuck. Soldier, second class Zack. Sir. You performed your duties admirably at Fort Tamblin. I saw it with mine own eyes. Frankly, my evaluation of you is... You are a frightening individual. Fucking Christ, I can't not do it! Not any man could annihilate an entire armed enemy force by himself. I'm just gonna just do regular voice. I was taken aback myself. You really have grown into a fine warrior. Your bravery during the Wutai War will be remembered for generations to come. It seems your dream of becoming a hero has already come true. I just- there's no way I can do a full playthrough of this game while doing a Bowie voice. It, it, it's just gonna- it's gonna get stale, I'm gonna get sick of it. Let's not get carried away, Director. Zack still has a lot to accomplish. I have to- you know, edge voice, no problem. Haha, I suppose you're right. Zack, I hope you continue to excel. Speaking of, someone said do Gordon Ramsay instead. Speaking of Gordon Ramsay, uh, Ramsay. Got a weird email today. Um, I'd just like to point out that if anyone has any inclination to send me a drawn, uh, naked picture of Gordon Ramsay that, that you yourself have drawn, maybe don't. Maybe just, just draw that, print it out, put it on your own fridge, and just leave it there. Now let's hurry. Sephiroth is waiting. Sephiroth? The soldier hero? Wow, I get to meet a hero!
But first... Uh, guys, come back. We have work to do. So, um, I'm gonna sh just very briefly show you, like... Okay, alright. Just that- that's all you get, really. But I just wanted you to be aware that- that, you know, that- that's- I don't need that. You- you know, you can keep that on your own computer. I don't need it on mine. You know? That's all good. It's all good. Good art, though. Bro, take the director to a safe place. Then contact Sephiroth. Zack is more than enough. Now go. Follow me, director. At least it wasn't Guy Fieri, you're right. Thank goodness you're safe, Director Lazard. Should be fine now, Zack. Go and assist Angeal. I know, I know. That's what I got. I got the armlet of, of fire. A fire. Are you goblet? Are you armlet? That's a direct result of my, my skill. My magic goes down, but other things go up, so I'm gonna keep this. Angeal! Angeal! What? These guys aren't Wu Tai troops. <sighs> Fire orb. Oh shit. A summon! Who called it out? Summons in this game are just like dudes that you have to fight. It's kind of hard to get a blizzard going because he moves around so much. And he attacks me. He's got a, the package that this fucking thing has, though. Is it's like the horn on his head is also in his crotch. That looks badass. I want my own pet Ifrit, fuck. Me cure. Oh shit, am I gonna get three Sephiroth days? Sephiroth. Sephiroth day. Nice. Good shit. Octa Slash. First, let me just get up after getting my, my anus dominated. Not for nothing, but Zach just said he's feeling it. OG Shulk confirmed. We're just trading hits now. Except I'm not flinching, because I have Endure. Endure! I- you know? Of course he appears in fire. Cause it's so cool! He's gotta be in- in the fire. When he makes his real life entrance. Holy shit. Genesis. The missing soldier first class? They're identical. A Genesis copy. Copy? A human copy? Where's Angeal? This is gonna I get a little metal he was fighting around here. Huh. So he's gone too. What? Wait, what does that mean? Look at that exposed it chest. Angeal has betrayed us as well. No way! I know what kind of guy Angeal is, and he'd never do that. Angeal wouldn't betray us. Never! <laughs> Look at that acting. 
Zack is a method actor. He takes that shit with him his whole life. That was my reaction today. That was one of my reactions when I saw the Metal Gear game that was announced. That that pose that Zack was in just then. Man, what is with Angeal? How long is he going to slack off like this? It's been a month now. Sephiroth's got it all wrong, too. Lumping Angeal together with Genesis. Genesis is, the, is a deserter who took a bunch of seconds and thirds with him. He used his copies to attack us. Angeal would never condone something like that. He valued his soldier honor more than anyone else. Ah, everything's so messed up these days. Angeal, just come back, please! All day of squatting. Just to help me forget about life for a while. Class. Zach? That would be me. Who is this? Director Lazard wants to see you. Go to the briefing room. Hey, wait! Like I said, just weird times where voice what happens and then voice doesn't happen. Like that that previous thing was more important than a fucking random phone call. Any word on Angeal? He hasn't contacted his family either. Well, I guess this... So what's this about? This a new thing. assignment. I want you to go to the hometown of our missing soldier first class, Genesis. Huh? According to the parents, they've had no contact with Genesis whatsoever. But they can't be trusted. Why? They're his family. Mm. Mm-hmm. I had already dispatched some staff, but we've lost contact. I want you to go and investigate. He will go with you. Song of the Turks. Song was making man buns popular before. Oh wait, never. That's not a man bun. Me. Let me know when you're ready to go. Song has been added to the DMV. Get your driver's license today. Gacked? Why do people keep saying Gacked? I, it's a great name. I'm not complaining. It's a, I love reading it. I love saying it. Gacked. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Yes, this is Quincel. Did you read my mail? Not yet. I'll read it later. I'm kind of in a meeting right now. Gotcha. Hey, can I talk to you after that, though? Well, if you keep it short, I guess. I haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be short. I'll be right outside the briefing room. Genesis was based on a Japanese idol named Gact. Gact is a real person who Genesis is based off of. I've, <laughs> I've heard it. Yes, that's where I heard the name. Kunsel says, it seems every soldier first class. Is that flickering new? Was that flickering not there when I first started streaming this? It seems every soldier first class has a quirk or three, but I think Angeal has a lot of common sense and is a trustworthy fellow. Let's face it. Genesis never found group activities appealing, so Angeal is, in fact, the spiritual leader of soldier. Got a lot of respect for him, too. I envy you for getting to work with him so often. Fucking Gacked. That's a fantastic name. I'll be saying Gacked for the next three days now because of you guys. Like, here's one. Okay. Um, does this ever happen to anyone else, or is this just me being broken? Um, do I need to be repaired at a shop? I was even telling Mike today, like, you know, about, like, sometimes I turn GPS mode off in my brain if someone else is handling, like, traveling duties, and then I just get lost because I'm not, like, thinking about it. And I do it to save battery. <laughs> but, um, so I guess I am kind of a robot. But here's the thing. I'm, I'll be saying gacked for three days. But after Metal Gear Solid 4, there was a dude that was voicing all the, um, the bosses along with the voice actresses, right? His name was, like, Fred Tatasciori. I could not pronounce it in my head. So I've been broken for like a few weeks now where in my head I'll think about this name like every now and then for random unknown reasons. But in my head, I can never pronounce the name, nor do I remember fully how it's spelled. 
So it's just like, I'll just be walking, and then it's like, oh, Fred Tadish Shikrari. Like I said, I, I am in need of repairs. I keep going to the Verizon store and ask them to fix me, but they don't want to do it. Here's, um, Kunzel. Oh, hey, Zach. What do you say we go down to Sector 8? We can go to Sector 8 through the first floor entrance as well. Let's head over. You should always go do as much as you can before an assignment, so you have no regrets. Well, here we are in Sector 8. I guess, uh, we should split up here. So, uh, thanks, man. Glad to, uh, be here. What, you bring me out here and now you're leaving me? You do have an assignment waiting, don't you? Wouldn't it be quicker to go around just by yourself? Shinra building is straight ahead that way when you're ready to go back. So, I'll see you, Zach. Send you another mail when I find the time. Zacked. This dude looks like a painter. Everyone in Midgar looks like a painter. They're all wearing, like, coveralls. Sector 8. Lots of entertainment around here. You're in the Fountain Plaza. Beyond the Clock Tower is Loveless Avenue. You can climb up the stairs to go to Sector 1 Station. From the station, you can get on the train and go to Sector 5 Slums. So, yeah. That's kind of cool. You get a chance to explore Midgar a little bit. And Jeel fan. Pardon me, but are you a soldier operative? I sure am. Zack's the name. Nice to meet you. Zack? Never heard of you. You must be a soldier second rate. We were just talking about who won the greatest soldier op who the greatest soldier operative might be. I think it's Angeal. With that air of solemnity about him. <sighs> and he's thrifty to boot. He's ab absolutely charming. We're talking about the greatest in Soldier. I can't think of anyone greater than Sephiroth. Just imagining him stripped to the waist makes me dizzy. Wait, what? Stripped to the waist? No. Both of you, what are you talking about? It's gotta be Genesis. There's no, no one greater in Soldier. I never knew Soldier First Classes had so many female fans. Stripped to the waist. Square usually does a pretty good job at, um ringing out the power of whatever system they're developing for. Like, they, they did a pretty good job at making this game look good on the PSP. I, I, when did PSP come out, anyway? I'm trying to think how, how late in the, in the PSP's development cycle this game came out. Hey, uh, you wanna buy some drugs? Judging from your looks, you're a soldier guy from Shinra, aren't you? I hate Shinra with all my heart. Don't talk to me if... Don't talk to me like you know me. 2005 it came out. So this is, um, three years later. Also, yeah, we're in the Violence District from LSD. I will return to LSD at some point, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm not interested in a soldier guy. Someone said go to Sector 7. Is that even possible? You ain't know me! Shinra's new locomotive is pulling in soon. It's called the MK-93-2. I can't wait to see it. I've been waiting for the train to come for a long time. The delays must be... must have... Uh, the delays... I'm reading too fast. And I'm just inventing words that aren't there. The delays have become frequent of late. No train. The train was a lie. I came here to watch Shinra trains with my brother. I hope it comes soon. Zack just, just randomly talking to little children. He's got nothing better to do. So, in Final Fantasy VII... There's not a ton of time spent on the upper decks. And I don't mean an upper deck or in a toilet. I mean, like, there's not a lot of time spent on the upper plate. You're kind of more in the slums in Final Fantasy VII, and when you're on the the upper plate, it's, uh, briefly. So, this is kind of more a look at the rat lavish, the good life of Midgar. Lately, we're seeing more and more reporters sniffing around for a scoop on Shinra. I was chasing after one who had snuck into the building, but I seem to have lost sight of him. We can't allow confidential company information to leak out. I'll catch him no matter what it takes. There's no way I'm gonna end up doing all these missions. But these are really good ways to level up. Or I think they are. 
I remember... Activating combat mode. I remember feeling like these missions were pretty vital. Could you imagine the dude from Disturbed saying this? Yum, 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 yum! Someone said there's 300 missions total. If you don't do them all before Chapter 8, you can miss them forever and never get to do the final mission. Well, I mean, I, I didn't expect to ever do the final mission. This is this is more of a story playthrough. So I will be doing missions pretty sparingly just to get like some items. Um, just to kind of help along with the gameplay. I don't plan on doing all of the... Oh, this is not a 100% run, sorry. Yum, 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 yum. But it, I don't need this to happen. I really don't need this to happen. I'm, these enemies are just about dead. Rematch with Ifrit. So, are there any missions I should be doing like, right now for a good item? Activating combat mode. Like I said, they're really short missions. The Materia Hunter things, I figured those would be good. Apparently you get crits if you uh, attack an enemy on the back. It's true. It's true, confirmed. There he is. There's the motherfucker himself. Motherfucker Tsong. Here's some screenshots of the game. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Enjoy! But why? But why are there random screenshots of the game? Is this the end? I'm trying! I'm trying! <laughs> And again, with worst part of the game is just waiting for the slots to fucking go. Because I know they're they're supposed to be memories, but it's just it looks like just screenshots from cutscenes. What? That's three in a row! Holy shit! Let me play my game. Let me live my life. Oh. Invisible level up. Oh no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh no! I can fuck! Another level up? What the fuck is happening? Concentrate. I'm feeling it. I missed the treasure chest too. Proof vest. At least the missions load quickly. I'll do some of the Materia Hunter missions, then I'll do an actual, like, real mission, you know? So we're gonna do a rematch. There's- there's rare Materia as a reward. Activating combat mode. Guitar is so loud compared to the piano, though. That 
that card piece. Oh, that, that sucked. Now I can just stand here and just take damage. Just trade hits. And eventually win. That was quick. Ifrit Materia. So let's let's see. Ifrit. How's how we make that work now? It's an items. Adds Hellfire to DMW. Damages enemies. Oh, so that that adds to the slots now. Okay. It's just, it's it's a game with slots. I I swear it's good. There's people who are like, why is this game good? It looks like shit. I I don't know. It's it's it gets really addictive, and it's there's a, some good story stuff. Um, and the, the end of the game gets pretty good. It's good fan service. I I think it's overall not a bad game. I really just I remember I don't remember much of the game but like I said I remember enjoying it and and having a walk walked away from the game with a good experience in mind so someone in chat just said crocodile is also addictive doesn't mean it's good crocodile how are the Dissidia games by the way I never played them some people consider this the best game on PSP no shit For fun ah uh, maybe, maybe I'll check out Dissidia at some point too like a one-off stream. Yeah, because I borrowed a PSP to play this. I, I never owned a PSP. I remember I lent my buddy, um... My PSP- my, uh, 3DS. Or, no, no, my DS. I lent him my DS. With, uh, Final Fantasy IV. The DS remake of Final Fantasy IV. And he lent me his PSP with this. And we just- we just played those. Will Gmod RP come back one day? Anything is possible, my friend. Anything. You could even be a bird if you really wanted to. Anything. I didn't see what I got. I was not paying attention. And I regret that. Does anyone know what I got? <laughs> oh, another thunder? It's a level 2 thunder. I'm gonna do one more materia hunt. I'm gonna just... Uh, like I said, do some of the missions. I, I even considered... Oh wait, no, that's it. That's all I can do. Um, so then I'll just do one of these. Heal up! Sun! SUN! I thought... Okay, I thought it would, like, take me to the game over screen. screen. Thank God. Sun? SUN! SUN! Son? <laughs> Son? <laughs> Son? Wow, this mission sucks. Try one more time, I guess. Um... Activating combat mode. I've been informed that I can uh, skip combat if I just hug the wall. Yeah, I, I know it's a hard mission. Uh, you know, I'll come back to it if I don't fuck it up. If I don't uh, do it now. If I, if I do fuck it up now. No, fuck off. There's no way to escape combat, is there? Like, when you're in combat, you're just in combat forever. Come on, give me something good. What the fuck? No, not, not Sephiroth! Having fun watching the game yet? Oh yeah! Oh, I keep forgetting that I can block. Yeah, that's 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 a thing. So who do I, I like? What's the point of this mission? Who do I have to kill? These guys? So okay, 
for veterans of this game, just for the sake of the stream. Is it possible to complete this game without too much trouble? Without having to do very many of the missions, or at, let's say, let's say you do none of the missions, none of the bonus side missions, just the main combat story missions, and that's it. Yes? You could do none and finish it. Okay. So then, I will keep these to a minimum. I'm just gonna mainly do the material ones then. So I'll just, you know, just for the story, just, just for the story, you know what I'm saying? You will miss the strongest summon if you skip the missions. Eh. It's, it's really just whatever. Thanks for patrolling Midgar, my man, my dude, my guy. I don't recognize you from Soldier. What business do you have here? Huh? Well, well no business, actually. It is the duty of the 18th Squad in Shinra's security department to patrol the streets of Sector 8. Anyone who disturbs the peace will not be forgiven, not even Soldier. Whoa, whoa, take it easy there. This is the perfect opportunity for me to tell you something. Midgard does not need Soldier. What? Wh whose job is it to take lost children to their mothers? Whose job is it to, get to catch the petty crooks who steal small change from vending machines? Whose job is it to scold the young girls who talk too loud on the trains? They are all ours. In other words, Midgar needs nobody but us. Shinra Security Department. And I can see that you're, uh, doing fine work. Hmm. It's as cocky as you're going to be. We'll be holding a joint training session soon. Security versus soldier. We'll see who the true combat elites are. Oh shit. They're gonna throw down. Who will win? The Jedi or the, the random clone soldiers? Oh, hello, Mr. Soldier. Sorry, but I'm not interested. I already have someone in my heart. But... 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 I didn't... Oh, oh okay. We'll just go to the goblin bar and drink our fucking sorrows away after that one. This is a drugs alley. Loveless. A tale of doomed love and friendship. It's a fascinating tale that... It's even been made into a successful stage production every year. I'm a member of the study group, one of the Genesis fan clubs. We study Loveless in order to gain deeper insight into the work that Genesis loves so much. Our members used to be in Red Leather, the other Genesis fan club. <laughs> but we grew tired of how shallow they were, so we decided to spin off and form the study group. Would you like to join study group and learn how truly wonderful Loveless is? Nope. Effective today, Rufus Shinra has been appointed to the vice president and corporate officer. Um, additionally, Rufus Shinra has departed on long-term business trip, the details of which cannot be disclosed for security reasons. This little puppy can hit 140 miles per hour, you know. The engine's great, of course, but there's a secret in the tires. Yeah, there's only three of them. This truck looks very familiar, doesn't it? You can join all three fan clubs, all it does is give you mail. Oh, okay. Fascinating. Someone in chat just said, um... <laughs> Who needs a study group to know what Loveless is? I live it every day. Sorry, Sprybug. If you want to join the fan club regardless, you know, it's like you get to, you know, be with other folk who, who feel the same way, I guess. I was worried when my son wandered off and got lost inside the building. Thank goodness the young lady at the information center was able to help me. You can count on the Shinra company to office service with a smile. Wow, the Shinra building, it's my first time here. I'm surprised they don't just shoot visitors on sight. Oh, hello. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, he's pretty cute. Good day, sir. Welcome to the Shinra Building Information Center. Please come see me anytime you have questions concerning the Shinra Building. Nope! New mission available. How did a new mission pop up between the time I was exploring and now? The fuck? Airship Highwind. That was like... a thing. Like, I didn't know when the airship was built. I guess it really was built a few years before. 
Shinra number 26 rocket. Nostalgia. Oh, it's, it's nostalgia overload, everyone. This is a conceptual model for Shinra number 26 rocket. Shinra has concentrated all its science into the space development department for this project. Once it's completed, all that will be left is to launch it into outer space. We all know how that went. Hardy Daytona. What can I do to make her realize my feelings for... I didn't say anything. It's the world. You can see where Knights of the Round is. Just in that little, it's a little dot. It's a little pixel in the corner there. Exhibit room is now open to the public. You are asked to refrain from any conduct that would inconvenience our visitors. Here's a question. Someone said there's a lady down here who sells potions. Um, where is that? Currently have a special on potions. Oh. There's a fee. I answered my own question. There's a fee for the general public, but they are free to soldier members and Shinra troops. Would you like to buy a bottle? You bet. Or try a bottle, rather. That's what they look like? You feel good enough to weather one beating on the battlefield. Oh, cool. That's just auto-res. Here, I swear it's not poisoned. I swear I'm a Shinra employee. Have it, asshole. I mean, Zack. I mean, I don't know who you are. I swear. I haven't been following you. I'm not drugging you. This isn't made of Rufalin. Gullible. Oh god, it tastes like a mosaic. Hey Zach, finally made it back, did you? Aren't you in the middle of an assignment? You should get going. The Turks guy is waiting for you in the briefing room. Good luck on the assignment. I'll send you a mail again when I have the time. Kunzel. Kunzel. Someone named Butts Frosted said, Did you know that the word gullible isn't in Wikipedia? Wow. That... That sounds great! I should go check it out! Hey Zach, I know how much you love my emails. Let me tell you about everything I did today. Very good then. Here we go. Assignment number two. Ready to go? A routine job, right? No sweat. I wonder. Originally, Sephiroth was assigned to this mission. That means it's a top priority matter. Be alert, or you'll fail. And Sephiroth? Refusing to go, apparently. Oh, what is that? They spoil him too much. <laughs> Why don't you say that to his face? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> solid Snake just gave me some solid intel on Twitter. List of important missions. That have, um, missions that have really good items that I might want to get. So that's that's good. So I can do I can do a lot of those and skip out on a lot of the other ones. Thank you. Thank you Solid Snake. Good intel. Weird looking trees. These are Benora white trees. AKA dumb apples. That means we we're in Benora. Where's Benora located on the map? Angeal's hometown. That is correct. Genesis and Angeal have known each other for a long time. banana above my head right now, guys. The fuck? Nah, it's the auto-res. But it looks like a banana. This one dude... Oh, level up. I was gonna say, this dude's like dead anyway. Well, there you go. This honestly looks like a banan. Yes. These guys, I saw them in Wutai too. So they are here. We haven't seen any of the townspeople. They may have taken control of the entire town. When Genesis deserted, he took a large arsenal of weapons with him. The president's orders are to retrieve or destroy these weapons immediately upon discovery. 
Leave it to me. Yes, it's a phoenix down feather. I, I know it's not a banana. I'm just, Activate just saying it looks like a banana because I, my commentary is trite and boring. I like going back to the beginning of areas quite a quite a lot, don't I? So these this con combat is way easier than some of those missions I was doing earlier, which is the point, I guess. Hey everyone, I got a mail. Maybe it's for my pal Kunsel. It is! Yes! You got an assignment in Benora, right? How is the place? I hear there's a lot of Shinra people there. Apparently the village's main source of income is the production and processing of apples. The rest of their budget is made up of subsidies from Shinra. Now why would Shinra care about such a tiny village? Could it have something to do with Mako? Or there's gotta be something fishy going on there. I'm gonna look into it. Who is this guy? I didn't ask oh, to be yeah. friends with Kunsel. <laughs> He just started because he just like like forced his way into my life, and now Zach is getting emails from him all the time. Hungry for apples? At least the music is a little bit less offensive to the ears. Still loud guitars, you know, because there was a guitar track in Final Fantasy VII. There was like two distorted guitars in Final Fantasy VII, so that means the rest of this soundtrack and many of the other Final Fantasy 7 related things have to have loud distorted guitars in them. Wow, did I do it again? I fucking did it again. Son! I'm gonna hug the walls and hope that combat doesn't happen. No, I'm grinding, I mean. This was all a ploy to grind, everyone. My, I, my backtracking skills are impressive. This is why I like the Metroid series so much. My left ear loves that guitar. Robots. Wait a minute, wasn't this robot in Final Fantasy VIII? In the demo on the on the beach level? Thunder. Thunder is good. The gun is good. A Genesis copy. Where did you hear that? Sephiroth said it. Well, that the wily old waskily Sephiroth was stolen from our scientists. Huh? It apparently allows Genesis's abilities and traits to be transplanted to soldier members and monsters. Monsters. Soldier and monsters were the same. I am my own monster. <laughs> it's not gonna start moving around again, is it? Zack, stop playing around, we have to hurry. No, Song is never... <sighs> never wants to have a joke. Never wants to... have any goddamn fun. It's always so serious. Yeah, this music is a little bit less offensive to my ears. Still, none of that Yumatsu- oh, I should have talked to him. None of that Yumatsu charm, but... Some of the music in this game is good, actually. I, I remember enjoying some this of it. This is Genesis's home. His parents are wealthy landowners. But I never stole from that tree, because the wealthy man's son 
was my friend. <laughs> they weren't mere acquaintances. They grew up together and were best friends. So Genesis deserts and gets his best friend Angeal to join him. Is that it? Sephiroth believes that's the case. There. A gravestone, still very new. Zack, go find Angeal's house. I'll check the grave. Ugh. So Turks always do this stuff. Someone has to do it. Must be rough. Don't worry. We're paid much better than you are. No way! They got that music off of a free music archive. Um, I've been playing a lot of games with apples in them recently. Just Sunday, the Magic Wand game, there was an apple shrine, okay? Then, yesterday, I played 3D Dot Game Heroes. What refills your health? Fucking apples. And now this game, there's... Apples. So that's three apples in a row, which is a sign. I'm allergic to apples. Three times apples equals six, six, six. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh! It means I'm gonna die in three days. Got it. Zach, go and check Angel's house. Should be in the group of houses over there. Be careful. The area may already be under the enemy's control. Oh shit! Dogs. Are these pets? Like, this is a nice, quaint, peaceful town, and then these motherfuckers... Guard hound. Oh, who the fuck would want that as a pet? That is a very... Very bizarre, domesticated creature. Can I help you? Uh, uh, greetings, ma'am. Are you Angeal's mother? Um, my name is Zach. They have the same Are hair. Zach? The puppy? What? Excuse me? <laughs> my son wrote to me once about you. Zero attention span. Restless as a little puppy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angel. You're not here together with Genesis, are you? No, I'm not. Don't worry. What is happening with my son? I'm not really sure. Genesis came back here a month ago with an army of cohorts. That's a cool word. I like that word. And Cohort? they proceeded to take the lives of many townspeople. Not used enough. Genesis, he used to be such a good boy. Is Angeal... He came here. But he left his sword and went off somewhere. Can, can I have that it? sword represents our family's honor. I see. No Does wonder. it? Looks like it was made. He never uses this sword. Really, ever. It looks like it was made in like a technological, like a futuristic you. city. You should go and hide somewhere. Don't be concerned. Genesis cannot harm me. What? Mm. What do you mean? The history of the Buster Sword is rather lame, actually. It's just a family sword. It's been passed down through generation through generation of apple farmers. Because they live in a small little apple town. It wasn't made by, like, like some legendary smith. It wasn't made, you know, in, the, in the, the cheeks of Shiva's asshole. It was just, you know, some apple farmer had a few bucks one day and they, it was like an impulse buy. The Apple Sword. And then Jill, Jill joins Shinra. My husband had that sword made for him. Oh. In the hopes that he would become an honorable warrior. Alright, fine. I was wrong. There's more story to it than that. God. We had to borrow a lot of money to have it made, and then... 
while fervently trying to return all the money my husband succumbed to fatigue. So, he got tired and died? That sucks. Shield, where did you go? What? Genesis copies. Loud rock music. That looks nice. There's a factory on the outskirts of town. I saw a Genesis copy go inside. You think that's their headquarters? Most likely. I'm currently on a cliff overlooking the factory. Being a useless twa- <clears throat> Just observing. A frontal attack is inadvisable. We'll go in from above. Come to the cliff top immediately. Yeah, Turks are sneaky fellas, I agree. They're, they they go in real sneaky deaky like. They tend to uh, avoid combat, but when they do combat, which they do a lot in Final Fantasy VII, they're they're bastards. There are dogs in them. Oh, <laughs> it's just doggos in the house. I just accidentally chose the right house. Activating combat mode. Wow, this this town must hold important secrets. If they have like little like helicopter, expensive looking helicopter turrets with guns on them guarding the town. Like this this is a Metal Gear Solid 4 enemy. Oh, yeah. resolved. This is what happens when you rotate the control stick, everyone. Do you like? I know I come across as a cynical asshole sometimes when I stream video games. That's because well I am. But I also like things, too. I like lots of things. Many things, in fact. Activating combat mode. Many things. Activating combat mode. Do I like this thing? Yeah, I like this thing well enough. Sure. I'm enjoying this more now. I, I know it's probably... ...not as interesting to watch as it is to play, but it's, it's, it's pretty alright. Is that my old buddy? Our new direction. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. Upon receiving a report on an unspeakably tragic incident, I find myself thinking about parental bonds, just as happiness can be found in non-biological ties. Parent and child can be unhappy, even if tied by blood. Alright. The difference is whether or not there are feelings of respect and appreciation. Without them, ill blood is born. Ill blood is prone to lead to tragedy, and ill blood sometimes affects our missions. While soldier must always execute our missions quickly, we must also focus on risk prevention in the future. That's a cold-hearted way of saying don't desert us. <laughs> don't desert us, assholes. We've had problems with people leaving soldier because they quote unquote don't want to die. Genesis Have you seen parents sausage party? Grave. No. Wait, he his own family? We can't expect reason from him. What about Angeal? He wasn't at the house. But please, give me time. If I find Angeal, I can talk to him. If I can convince Angeal, maybe Genesis will come back too. I understand now why Sephiroth chose you. Huh? Genesis and Angeal. Those two were Sephiroth's only friends. He didn't want to fight them. That's why he refused the mission. Well, Angel is my friend too. He's counting on you to bring them both back. <sighs> Time is short. Let's go. Someone in chat, old man Leval just said, uh, this isn't like real email. He's not getting erectional, erectile dysfunction med aids ads <laughs> and penis enlargement ads. I guess aids also kind of applies, but yeah. Infiltration successful. Real sneaky deaky like, just drop through a window. 
Go on ahead. I'll take care of things here. Hey, Zach, it's your friend Kunso. Um, did you know that I'm actually a Nigerian prince? And that your family died on the side of a road in Dakar, Gambia? And by the way, you're owed a sum of 35 millions. Now, all you have to do, my buddy old pal Zach, Prince, Prince Zach of, uh, Babu Land. Listen, 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 my old pal. All you have to do is... A, email me, and I'll furnish you with every information you need. And B, I just need your bank account information, all of it. And then I can wire the sum of 34 millions into your account. Post haste, my good sir. Zach, this way. By the way, if your dick is too small, I got just the thing for you, Zach, my good old buddy, old pal. Oh, uh, oh, and uh, Zach, if, if you could just drop your social security number into the email, that would be fantastic. And I am out of magic. But that's okay, Sephiroth is gonna save me. Oh shit, pictures, screenshots! That's a nice screenshot. I remember that. Remember when Sephiroth did that? Crazy. The absolute madman. Concentrate. Why, Carl? Jeez! What are you doing, mate? Carl, he's not a real Nigerian prince, mate! I can see Carl falling for one of those things. Alright, seemed like a nice bloke, eh? Prince, uh, Babadabu, whatever. Zack plus Shulk equals Zulk. Or Zulk. What? Oh shit, Ifrit? Wait, who's this? That's not Ifrit, is it? No, it's just some go. other rando. Go, go, go! Meanwhile, that sucked. It looks so cool, like, like it was gonna do all this cool shit, but Thunder does so much more damage. It gave me a lot of HP, though. Like, overcharged my, uh, my HP. Looked like Odin silhouette, yeah. I don't have Odin unlocked yet, so it just gives me, like, a basic attack. Looks like the copies are being made here. Check the second floor. Genesis may be there. So, this factory in this town this little apple town where Angeal grew up is a Genesis clone factory. Genesis being a great soldier. And uh, basically, not quite big boss, but like maybe medi medium boss. Is the gift of the goddess. We seek it thus and take to the sky. Ripples form on the water's surface. You know he's deep because he's the reciting poetry. Soul knows no rest. There's your buddy, Gacked. Settle down. Zack, the puppy. <laughs> the grave at the house. We found the remains of our people there as well. It didn't take much to have them send false reports. Just some mild threats. <clears throat> they would have done that anyway. At least your parents would have. My parents betrayed me. They had always betrayed me from the very beginning. Mm, my parents suck. What do you know? Sinra left off! <laughs> <laughs> His new nickname for me is Cocked. K O C K T. Welcome, partner. I see. You finally made your decision. I'll respect your wishes, old friend. However, My parents didn't love me! Can you really live on that side? Angeal's chin hair is, is pretty epic. Angeal! <laughs> you can count the strands. That's how you know it's good. 
I, I missed when epic was an acceptable word to use in a non, like, meme or like, Hey, epic gamers, it's Mountain Dew advertising directly to you. I, I missed the days when presidential candidates didn't spend 50 to 70 to two two hundred thousand dollars on memes on on a meme patrol to appeal to the to the fellow kids and same for like like Mountain Dew and Elio's Pizza and all that shit <laughs> epic <laughs> kids do you like epic food I'm taking it back everyone I I'm taking the word epic back did he leave the factory? So now that's what I would do if I was in a situation. I'd fucking get a cult and just shoot things. <laughs> like, just, just fucking shoot them in the head. There's no time. We have to leave now. We're not gonna go look for those two? All evidence of misconduct must be erased. Company rules. An airstrike will neutralize this town. What? But there's people living here. You sure that nobody's at Angeal's house? Hurry. See, Song cares a little bit. He knew that the mom was there. He was like, go. Genesis and his men have begun bombarding the town. Are you serious? What do we do now? Press X with the right timing to destroy incoming shells with your sword. <laughs> what? Your timing can't be too fast or too slow. You have to focus. Can you do it? I have to do it. Pay attention to the sound of the fuse and the color of the shells. Sound of the fuse? It sounds like this. Keep your ears open. Attack with the sound's timing, but keep the shell's color in mind, too. Alright. That, that could have just been a random-ass tutorial. Wow. I don't remember this at all from when I played this game. I, I like how it just disappears. <laughs> it doesn't even split in two. Zag won't be damaged, but cutting down incoming shells should be an easy task for a soldier. It won't be damaged? Wow, what a, what a beast. Fucking Superman. Or, you know, just fucking get out of the way. Pressing the button at the exact right moment. What the fuck? It's terrible. I don't understand what's happening. I'm, I'm pressing the button when it turns red. It doesn't work! I'm pressing the wrong button? I'm, pre <laughs> I'm pressing the button. Yeah. Victory pose. I did well. The attacks have stopped. That was just atrocious. You can do better. All right. <laughs> Good job. I pressed it at all manners of different times, and I pressed what the X button would have been, which is A on my Xbox controller. I was pressing the right button, I swear. I hope Angel's mom is alright, I have to hurry. Seriously though, I, I really tried. Explain our situation and have them briefly delay the airstrike. That will buy you some time. Thanks, Sung. So that's what those items were? They were items that I couldn't get unless the timer was running out. Um... What the hell did you do, Angel? Is that... Is that your idea of honor? My mother... could not continue to live. And neither can the son. What are you talking about? What's going on here? I told you. You can't live on that side anymore. <laughs> Magnetically Angel! attached to his back. Angel! 
oldest trick in the book, My Genesis. Friend, do you fly away now? To a world that abhors you and I? Shut up! All that awaits you... Shut up! I'm warning you! ...is a you. somber morrow. No matter where the winds may blow. I don't see Sephiroth today, but... Are you gay? It would be, it'll be great if Zack just punched him in the face mid-sentence. Oh shit, Bahamut already? Summon, so that's how it is, huh? Yo, Blizzard is the shit. Look at how good Blizzard is. I don't even have to fucking be anywhere near it. Where is it? Oh. Someone said, Vinny, I think you used up all your luck back on that desert level. You're right, I'm not getting a whole lot of, uh... I I'm not getting a whole lot of fucking slot. Never mind. I take that back. Here's one. Well, it's, it's a shit one, but it was... It, it's a, something leveled up. That's good. MP cost zero. Here we go. Spam. As long as it doesn't happen every three seconds, I don't mind this. Assault Twister's level two, that's good. No Mega Flare, no Mega Flare. Shit. Apologize, Switch. Summons aren't meant to be used like this. Oh shit, they, they became real people. In honor. We are monsters. <laughs> oh dear god. <gasps> see, he's got a wing, everyone. Do, do you see? We have neither dreams nor honor. So you see, he's got one wing. He's like Sephiroth, but this time his wing is different colored. And he's, his parents don't like him. <laughs> Soldier. Doesn't mean monster. However, it does mean that entire towns are leveled. They were dumb apples anyway. Angeal. See? Look at that face. That it's like like a fucking travel catalog. Like it's straight out of like some kind of promo for a, a like an airline. <laughs> 
Come to Midgar Airlines, where we bomb the shit out of your hometown. Angeal. The war is over. Everyone's real happy. As for me... That sword represents our family's honor. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. <laughs> Where did you go? Where did you go? Opens mouth after the word go. Zack here. It's been a while, Zack. Sephiroth! Come to Lazard, Trim. Oh, all right. Just, you, you, you know, when you play Final Fantasy VII, you just don't picture Sephiroth being the type of guy that would give someone a call on their cell phone. Like, it seems like he's maybe got some better things to do, or like, he just doesn't use cell phones, because it's like... You know, he's like too, too edge, he's too pure. Kunzel has said, have you seen a guy wearing a white coat? And glasses with dark hair and a ponytail? That's Hojo, head of the science department. He rose to the top when he established the method of using Genova cells to create soldier operatives. That was more than 20 years ago, and scientists vying for the top spot apparently had a mudslinging feud. Hojo is now in the training room. I wonder what he could be studying. Maybe I'll sneak into the training room later. That's a good time to stop. Two missions in. I'm going to add um, Sephiroth on Facebook next time I play Crisis Core, everyone. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Get to see all those photos. This is when I walk through the fire. This is another time I walked through fire. You can see I walked through fire unharmed. Well, this was one more time when I walked through the fire. But I'm completely unharmed. I don't know if you could see that, but totally unharmed. Oh, and by the way, my sword is as long as my body. Art? <laughs> Time for art. It's such a backwater name. Ditto Nibelheim. Monday night vine sauce. It's here. Low effort vine sauce has arisen. And we begin. Slot simulator. I gotta say, it, it really does get my jollies off a little bit when I see Midgar looking like that. It's like, I, I like this world. Yeah, there we go. There we go, I, I, I pressed the wrong button. Wait, what the fuck? What's the right button? Anyway, hello, um, hi. Avida Zane. Goodbye. Nice to see you. Stream's over. Let's do some squats. Um, yeah, so this is the, the continuation of the Crisis Boar stream. And uh, I, I don't care what anyone says. I'm having fun with this. This game is pretty fucking great in its own dumb way. Um, there, you know, I know there's there's some contention amongst fans, but I like it. And, uh, yeah. So before we do more story stuff, I want to do a few quick missions. I want to find some, uh, okay, hang on a second. I want to find, there's some valuable stuff that's unlocked after chapter two and three. I think the Wutai War missions must be unlocked in chapter two. Can't be played until chapter three. Okay, so I, I think I've done that. Um, starts after returning to Benora. Okay, so there's there's some decent items here. Mission nine five. Yuffie's treasure princess missions. Do we have any of Yuffie's missions? No, we don't. Okay, so these these aren't unlocked yet, and eventually I'm gonna have to. Eventually, I'm going to have to do a few of those missions. Holy fuck, Christ. There's just so many goddamn missions in this game. I said I was going to do some of this off stream, and I will at some point, I promise. But for now, I'm, I'm just going to do a few quick missions. Let's just, just jump in. 
just immediately do some slots. Activating combat mode. I still have the thing over my head. I still have what was a pre previously thought to be Benen. I'm still shocked that this game... Like, Square, like I said, always manages to get the most out of their um, hardware that they, they develop for. This game looks pretty fucking good for PSP. Oh, shit. Hang on a second, guys. Sorry, I was on the phone with Mike. Uh, we're... We're going to... We're going to France. No, we ha we have to we have to choose the album art stuff. It's a long story. Just be sure to tell Mike if you guys go into his chat while he's streaming. Just be sure to tell him never to call me again ever. Go 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 go! And then he's just not dead. The the monster does not die after all that. But tell him in Fran- in French. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. No, I think, um, I'll just say this, the, the next legit album, there's gonna be proofreading and there's oh, gonna be a lot of effort that goes into it, into the booklet and everything. I think, uh, probably end up hiring someone to, uh, help out with that. We're going the Omagoma route? No, we're not. Um, there are many things that need to be kept secret, you understand. Two Aeriths and a Sephiroth. Have I streamed a Deus Ex game before? No, I never even played a Deus Ex game. And I was offered an opportunity to play the new one, and I just, um, I, I just... You know, I'm, I'm busy playing Slot Machine Simulator instead. Also, is this game too loud? Why did you need pictures of a photo frame today on a dirty wall? Is it a bizarre fetish? Yes. Genesis troops. Okay. Now we'll, then we'll get into plot after this mission. Just, just a, like, I guess a few warm-up missions. Apparently, if you hug the wall, fights don't happen as often. Shoto Fen says, good job, Vin. Don't accept free games from publishers. Why not? I've done it before. We Happy Few was free. I, I fucking rage quit it, told, and said it was a piece of shit. It's just, if I'm not allowed to speak my mind about a game, then I don't take it. And, uh, yeah, paid deals I don't do. That, that you have to also disclose. If you look at some Jang Trang videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, I mean, publishers always send me free keys to give you guys and stuff. But, uh, I've damaged my relationship with many developers and publishers because I've shot on their game. It's, it's not a, it's not a... Let's just say the thug life ain't a good life if, if you want free games. But yeah, it's, it's happened a few times. I've actually, like, got some pretty decent free games that I've I've liked. Some that were just complete fucking garbage that I streamed once and never again. And then other times I've given games out as, uh, as raffles. But, you know, it's gotta be something I'm interested in. I'm not gonna play, like, like fucking FIFA 2027. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, that's, I'm not interested in that. I've, I've turned down plenty of games that I, I thought would be horrible streams for me. Hi. This isn't something to discuss publicly, but the science department was researching about making copies of soldier operatives. Do you remember Angeal? I think his mother was assisting the research at the time. Naturally formed materia are extremely rare, but Mako stones are... Mako stones. It just looks like it says Mako. Um, are relatively easy to obtain, and no problem, Shotofen. Glad I could uh, clarify. A Mako stone is crystallized materia made of concentrated Mako energy. It just sounds so much better! By itself, it doesn't have the same effect as Materia, but we can process it into Materia. Soldier members occasionally go out excavating for them. Maybe you should too. Kun Kunsel? No, just a random dude. There's a large anti-Shinra organization wrecking havoc all over the world. They're called Avalanche. I hear they're avid students of Planet Life. Planet Life? That sounds like Blur's next album. Planet Life! Must call upon your conscience to decide whether you will enter or not. That was a convoluted way to say you cannot enter. But you, know, you could enter anyway if you really want to. You know, Angeal and Genesis are both from the village of Benora. I found out something else by accident while looking at Soldier's Investment Report. Did you know that Benora's budget was being paid by... Paid for by Shinra? It's 
crazy. We hear black, we hear black, the clan, the end of the war with Wutai. Worthy of note is Sephiroth, sir, uh, soldier first class, whose contributions were instrumental in bringing about a peaceful resolution with a minimum of casualties. Um, the end of this war marks the beginning of distribution and further development of Mako throughout all regions. The Shinra Company is dedicated to these goals and will continue to achieve them by any means possible. So that's the end of the war. Soldier members, I thank you for your hard work your hard daily work and your long work, hard, long, hard and long work. I gotta read. Let me take my time. The long war has finally come to an end, all thanks to the heroic efforts by Sephiroth and everyone in Soldier. However, the air around Shinra remains tense. Threats from, from powerful armed forces and anti-Shinra elements are too numerous to list. We could deem these dis distortions born out of Shinra's meteoric rise to, to glory. Oh. And we, as members of Shinra, must always face these distortions with integrity. I hope you keep this in your hearts as you continue in your duties. Distortions, they call them. So Avalanche is a distortion. For those that have played Final Fantasy VII, you'll you'll remember um, Avalanche as being Barrett's group. They ain't no getting off of that train. Hey, Zach. So the war is over. Yeah. Did you hear all? Did you hear about all I did? It's a weird way to say that. The company reports don't mention you at all. And the TV news only talks about Sephiroth's remarkable bravery. Hmm, but Sephiroth was with B-Unit! Heroes are often chosen by the media. That's just how it is. Ah, thanks for crushing my dreams. Zack just got sacked. The dude that did most of the work. Um... Just gonna go for a little walk around the neighborhood. See what's going on out here. With uh, all this lovely air pollution. This is Sector 8. Lots of entertainment around here. Well, I'm officially satisfied that nothing is going on out here. Oh wait, the fangirls. There's just no way, I don't believe it. Our dear Genesis? Killed in action? Has to be a lie or some kind of mistake. I just can't stand still. Sorry, I'm afraid I lost my usual cool. I should get back to work. Would you like to join Red Leather? Genesis's fan club? Yeah, okay. Thank you. I bet Genesis is smiling from up above. Ah, a mail from headquarters. I I'm now a member of Red Leather, which sounds like some kind of fucking, like, jabroni B BDSM fucking, like, leather club two blocks down. Red Leather Media. That's my favorite kind. We have received word that our dear Genesis has been killed in action. Though we still find this report hard to believe, members are planning a get-together for one last farewell at the foot of the bridge in Sector 8. During the event, we will be selling Apple jewelry, created as an homage to Genesis. Please buy the apple-shaped accessory, wear it, and let us always feel Genesis inside our heart. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Leatherhead. Shinra News is reporting that two first classes, Angeal and Genesis, have both been killed in action. That goes to show that Sephiroth is Soldier's greatest. He's going to be more popular than ever. What's this kid doing? What are you, what are you doing, kid? Angeal's been killed in action, right? I saw it on Shinra News. His name is Sun. I thought the news would make Mom snap out of it, but it looks like she still wants to be a groupie. Meet your father, son. Alright. Well, I joined a fan club. I'm happy. Oh, thank you, Jaja. Jaja, ja, whatever your name is. It's good. Pop, pop, pop in the butt tonight. So I've been told that if I go into that room, the training room, I unlock some things. So I'm going to go in there. I remember Angeal would always talk proudly about growing up poor. Genesis would always read me a quote from Loveless. I wish they would come back soon. I miss them. What if like, you notice how like Zack is just named Zack? Like every other like soldier, like Angeal, Genesis. Sephiroth. All these like edge names. And then just Zack. Hi, I'm Zack. Have you played the game, KY? KY says, Is it bad that the fucking menu sound effects are my favorite part of the game? <laughs> Not really. It's a, a sadly a valid opinion. Ah, there you are. Let us begin the experiment. Experiment? What experiment? Ah, never mind. Just go into the training room. I can't go in without knowing what for. Explaining my experiment would be a waste of time. 
since you wouldn't understand its brilliance, but I want to verify the virtual data extracted from a certain soldier operative's comrade results. Comrade results is Steve Brew. You are going to help me validate my data by participating in a simulated combat. Okay. Now, oh, my precious data. Destroy the Saudi sample and prove my greatness. Did you say something? Nothing at all. Let us begin. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Yeah. It's a simulation, but it looks real. Yeah. I got a banana above my head. Oh, well, that looked rather convincing for a fluke. Did I get the data settings wrong? Asian, German, Russian. That's correct. That wasn't a fluke. That was all me. This is a mad scientist voice. Duh. A sample needn't be so assertive. Whatever your claim is, you need to back it up with data. So here's your chance to prove your abilities. Go and fight the next monster. <laughs> These settings should do the trick. What did you say? Nothing. Let us begin. Activating combat mode. You gotta keep in mind too, like, when I voiced Hojo in Final Fantasy VII, I don't remember how I did it, but it was something stupid like that. It was just like typical mad scientist jabroni. Hojo! What's the name of. Uh, was the settings off again? I was nothing for a soldier operative. Soldier, I see you're a member of soldier. Then give the next program a try. This one shouldn't be a problem for someone in soldier. I'll fight everyone, everything you throw at me. Cause I'm Zack and I'm overly positive all the time. I do squats. No, he's actually got like real, it, there's, there's like a spectrum of emotions that Zack goes through. <laughs> he's not just like, overly depressed or overly positive. So that's kind of why I like him a little bit better than uh, some of the other fellas. Um, I didn't notice you're a soldier. The world is full of useless classifications. Did I hear you say something? Yeah, you've heard nothing. Let us begin. I'm just, just killing like virtual dogs for Hojo. I really would love if there was a skip button for this roulette phase. That would be just swell, wouldn't it? And then it tries to trick you out. It's like, oh, oh, you might get it, you might get it. No, you're not. No, no just two Aerith and a Sephiroth. Hmm, impressive. I think you have what it takes to be a study sample. Whatever it is, I don't think I want it. You should be very proud of yourself. It's only once every couple of years that we get someone like you. Gee, I'm glad to have beaten those odds. While we're here, how would you like to have a go against an extra special program? An extra special program? It is a powerful program that I directly modified myself. Professor Hojo, you're not pitting a human against that program, are you? No, not that one. Please say you're not serious. That would be a great match for a wonderful study sample such as yourself. <laughs> Okay. You have to listen to me. That program is no joke. Do not go in there. It may cost you your life. The program is not safe by any means. Yes. I'm Zack. Check me out, motherfucker. <laughs> you have worthy sample in studies in... Go fuck yourself. You've become valuable contribution to science. Now, oh, my precious program, show him why I am great. All shall bow down, powerless in your presence. Bring it on. Oh yeah, giant monster. Well, it's big. I can't help but do Sonic voice during this because Zack sounds like Sonic. Not, not all the time, but en enough of the time that it, it just makes me feel like a little uneasy. Like, why does he sound so much like fucking Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, here we go, here we go. I know who that is, that's Cloud. Oh shit, Cloud, Cloud, Cloud! What the hell does that do? Oh, level up- Oh, Thunder's better now. You know, Thundaga. Here we go! 
Go, go, go! Watch this attack do like no more than a regular attack. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy. Come on, Ifrit. Go, Ifrit. Yeah, Ifrit. One Ifrit, two it. Yes. Oh, and a level up Ifrit, too. Yes, Pachinko machines. Here's a little movie that you get to enjoy on your PSP. D weren't there movies released on PSP? I never had a PSP, I only borrowed one. They're like, what, UMDs they were called? Yeah, that didn't really work out too well, huh? I mean, Sony ended up getting Blu-ray, which worked out really well for them. Over HD DVD, I think even Xbox, yeah, Xbox One has a Blu-ray player now. The slot machine system is so fucking stupid, KY, I'm with you on that. I don't know, like, there's hidden level up system, right? So, I found out that you're leveling up. You're getting experience. Oh, come on! That's three in a row! Let me play my game, for Christ's sake! You know, I found out that there are stats, like, for leveling up. Go. It's just given go, to you, go, it's hidden go. from you, and then given to you as a stat. Or in a slot, rather. It's, it's a really, really odd choice. Oh, uh, here we go again. It slows down the gameplay so much. Here's a screenshot of the game that you're playing. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Oh. Is the nostalgia for Final Fantasy VII the main driving factor in me liking this game? No, I liked the game when I played it. I actually did play the whole fucking game and I liked it. And I'm dead, alright. Oh wait, right, 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 that's a thing. Never mind. Okay, good news everyone, I'm not dead. The slot machines, you know, it's just a thing, it's- it's kinda dumb, but it- it's- It's not a game- Like, it's not a game over for me, it's not a deal breaker, it's not a- It's not enough of an annoyance where I just won't play the game, like, I actually do like what this contributes to the Final Fantasy VII, uh, story. And I like, um, some- I actually do like the combat. This is- this is impossible. Wait, I have a new hypothesis. Yes, I am a genius, after all. Uh, I believe you were saying something about my remains? Yes, with my knowledge and skills and inspiration, you and I are going to develop a special relationship. Actually, I think I voiced him more like a G-man. Hello? You're not listening, are you? Creepy motherfucker. I think it was like... Yes, with my knowledge and skills and inspiration, you and I- That was more what I did last time. I think it was that. Ooh. Come to see my- My monsters again sometime, Mr. Zack. We got new missions from, uh, Papa Hojo. 3% progress. Jesus. We're gonna do some story now. Star pendant. Well, you work for Shinra, so you're gonna get items every now and then, I guess. Ever since the war with Wutai was declared over, Director Lazard's been holed up in his office. I don't know what would keep him so busy after a war. You can use the elevator to the soldier. You can use the elevator to go to the soldier director's office. You call yourself a member of soldier? I'm sorry, sir. I don't think you understand the most important thing about being a soldier operative. You better start thinking about it now. PPMD. Um, who's PPMD? People are telling me to say hello. Hi. What's going on? You don't look very familiar. You must be a new third class. I'm Zach, nice to meet you. Oh, a Smash player? Okay, hello. Yes, sir, I, I joined Soldier just last month. PPMD is not in chat. Oh, okay. Good intel. Good information, fellas! <coughs> I- <clears throat> I'm okay. I can't seem to get anything right. I'm only getting in other people's way. That's why he was yelling at me. 
You're gonna let a few mistakes get to you? Stay strong, you're in soldier. He said he was gonna fire me if I screw up my next mission. Oh, I'm so done for. Come on, don't be such a wuss, buck up. I know, but I, you're a bundle of nerves. Tell you what, I'll go on your next mission for you. What, you do that for me? Just don't tell anyone and be sure to watch and learn. You got it? Yes, I'll, I'll try. Is that, um, storm? Stormy weather? Is that, <laughs> is that precipitation? Come on, bird up. Do I keep entering the same goddamn- Oh, here we go. I gotta get to the elevator. Why are soldiers not allowed to have faces? Because the, the helmets look so cool. Only if you have sick hair like Zack can you be free to not wear a helmet. Look, it's normal, non-psychopathic, wanting to take over the world, moment, Sephiroth. You're promoted to soldier first class. Okay. Huh. I thought I'd be happier. Understandable. Too much happened too fast. Zack, I'm afraid I need your assistance again. Are you pushing another assignment on me? My apologies. Whatever. I'll fill you in on the assignment, but before that, we've got a dance magic dance! Go to the briefing room and change into a soldier first class uniform. What's the fucking difference? Isn't it? Just like got one shoulder. It's uh oh, it's like stripey. It's a little more stripey. All right, now that's that's necessary. More materia. Are you Zach? That would be me. With your promotion to first class, you're now authorized to use materia fusion. Authorized? Is this Metroid other M? Whoa, so what do I do? Right, look on the main menu, you should now be able to select Materia Fusion. Try fusing these two Materia, that should give you an idea on how it works. Let me know if you have any questions. Fire. Thunder. Fuse. Blizzard. Yeah, you know, fire plus thunder equals blizzard. You know, you know how you know how it is. My boy Mofongo will tell you all about that shit. HP up plus HP up equals. That just ten percent. It's the same thing. Why would? All right, I was like really just trying to process this. It it <laughs> it's just a waste of one of them. That's it. All right. Well, I have more materia now, so I'm gonna get on some... What's this Libra shit? Enables detection of status and a power attack. Stagger. Yeah, we want that one. That's a good one. And I also want to get fire back. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, yeah, here's a fire. Or I could just get an HP up 10%, but let's, let's go for fire. Let's go for speed and comfort. Director Lizard. I'm not a lizard. You get a different result if you level up the HP materia before fusing them. Hey, are you sure you learned enough about materia fusion? Yeah, I got it. Materia fusion is still under development. We don't know all the answers to what combination yields what kind of materia. So, we want you to try all kinds of combinations, and if you ever get an interesting one, let us know. Good luck. Someone who's just totally fucking bored with their job at Shinra. Are you done changing your outfit? Yeah, I just got a crash course in materia fusion, too. And report back to, to the director's office. I being the director, of course. <clears throat> I will brief you on your assignment. Yes, sir. Angeal Hewley. Killed in action. Genesis Rhapsodos. Does this, um, Shinra Tower remind anyone else of fucking Chronopolis from Krungo Krog? Did I ever play, um, I've played Dirge of Cerberus. Yeah, I've played that. It was alright, I streamed it. It wasn't terrible. It's just kind of, just kind of okay. I like this a little bit better, actually. Genesis, KIA. Yeah, right. 
Who do they think they're trying to fool? Just got back from seeing the stage production of Loveless in Midgar. Genesis was a big fan, wasn't he? I usually don't care for classic drama, but it was pretty damn good. Guy is the hero in the original, but the play was more from the viewpoint of the girl who helps the guy. When I heard that last line, of course I'll come back to you. Even if you don't promise to wait, I'll return knowing that you'll be here. Oh man, that's when I lost it and just started bawling. Scrungo Krung. The company exact. has decided to eliminate Genesis and his cohorts. This includes Angeal as well. And you want me to do it? No. The Shinra army will handle it. What about me? They don't trust you. They believe your emotions will hamper your judgment. Well, of course. Of course. That's why I'm going too. To kill them? Someone in chat just said, wait for the red leather media review for Loveless. <laughs> Sephiroth, the president. Zach, entrance. Yeah, you got it. Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm Jay, and this is Red Leather Media. Ow! That's the sound of the dudes in the background getting whipped because it's like, like bondage. No, it was garbage. No, I'm just kidding. The word is garbage. What the? It stopped. Goodness. Please do something about that quickly. That. Oh, fuck. Roomba is out of control. We just wanted them to clean for us. Then they were like, what is my purpose? Thanks, you're a lifesaver. What was that? You've never seen one before? That was a shield. Shinra building. A shill. <laughs> that was a shill. That was a Shinra building intruder neutralization mech. Intruder neutralization, so why is it attacking Shinra's staff? Just suddenly went out of control. They're stationed in other areas too, can you go check on them? The director told me to go to the entrance, but... You clean the floor! Oh my god. Hey, are you alright? Behind you, huh? Activating combat mode. Combat mode resolved. Why are things that clean the floor trying to kill me? The Leather Club has its own robots. Did that mech get you? P pathetic, isn't it? A soldier member getting be beaten by something like that? Even soldier members have bad days. Um, well, this is a good day for me. To be honest, I'm not really fond of fighting. Come on, pull yourself together. You're a soldier. I apologize, sir. I'll be on my way now. This isn't much, but please take it. Um, I'm gonna join the army, and um, but I don't like to fight. So, um, I was just hoping that I could hang out with Sephiroth in the training room when he's, like, getting changed. Someone from Soldier in there? Fine Sauce, any advice for overcoming childhood emotional neglect? Yeah, stop smoking. Shinra employees, what are they doing in there? Pizza is my answer, for real though, for pizza, definitely. Get away from them. If you weren't here yesterday, someone asked me how to quit. They're like, Vinny, do you have advice for my friend who wants to quit smoking? I was like, yeah, tell them to stop smoking. They were like, thanks, bro. What were you guys doing in here? Also, this is definitely a good place to ask <laughs> for help. I got you, bro. Well, the science department had the training room all day, so we're here for um, maintenance. Just two of you? M maintenance? P please, you mustn't tell anyone that we were in here. I won't tell anyone. Stitches get stitches, right? Snitches get stitches? Good man, please take this as a token of appreciation. 5,000. Vine Sauce, how do I get past my overwhelming grief of over Harambe? Well, the Cincinnati Zoo had just issued a statement that they want you to stop making memes about Harambe. So, listen, hear my words now. Listen to the Cincinnati Zoo, stop making memes. The Streisand effect isn't real. This isn't going to triple the memes, this is going to make them stop. Zack, where are you now? Oh, Director, I'm sorry, I'm on the soldier floor. You have to head to the entrance immediately. We have been massively compromised. Massively? Alright, I'm on my way. I'm counting on you. 
Oh, we have been massively compromised. Holy shit, this place sucks. How do I get over these spontaneous Roomba attacks? I lack a big sword. Stop smoking. Why are Shinra weapons attacking the Shinra building? Oh, is Genesis responsible for this? Gotcha. Damn, they're everywhere. What's worse, guys? A sentient Roomba with a knife? Or a lobster with scissors? I see a lot of Roomba answers. But the thing is, the lobster... The lobster doesn't even need the goddamn scissors. The, the Roomba sentience teaches it to pursue. The lobster will merely defend. That's good information, mate. I like that information. I, I understand now. Alright, so if the, if the Roombas rise up, then we have a problem. But lobsters, if they learn how to use scissors properly, I think all you have to do is just not fuck with them. Like, don't try to boil them. Don't throw them in a pot. Don't, you know, just leave leave them. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. That, don't touch them. No, no, you're touching it. You're touching it. Stop poking the lobster. I'm, I told you seven times, goddammit. What about crabs with pubic crabs? That's- that's a threat. That's like a sci-fi original. Wow, these motherfuckers do not die. Well, now I get it. When the fight's almost over. Look, it's like a rocket ship. It's amazing. I hate it. Double five, level up! A bird with a knife. Nah, I see, I'm not afraid of a bird with a knife. However, a bird with herpes? Yeah, that's- that's scary shit. That's scary shit. Fly by herpes. Uh, uh it's not good. Alright, how about a drone with a scone? But the scone has AIDS. That's scary. That's scary. I wouldn't want a drone with a scone. Sephiroth. The intruders are Genesis copies. Hollander must be behind this. Who's that? A Shinra scientist who vanished after lifting the copy technology. Are you saying that this Hollander and Genesis are working together? But who's more powerful? Hollander or a lobster with a knife? Perhaps. What is it they're after? Hollander lost his bid for the leadership of the science department. He has borne a grudge against Shinra ever since. Revenge is most likely his objective. That's just petty. You telling me that Genesis is supporting that idiotic cause? I would prefer not to believe it, but... Then don't believe it. Very well, I won't. Now, Zack, Genesis copies have been sighted in Sector 8 as well. Let's go. But why is he wearing, like, leather bondage shit? Like, Sephiroth, that is. Like, just a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Whoa, this is some serious trouble. We should split up. Famous last words. Understood. He's part of the Red Leather fan club. Red Leather Media, his favorite. Hold on, I'm a coming. Yeah. Sector Eight is Turk's jurisdiction. Slick. Do you know whose voice that is, guys? That's Raiden. That's Quentin Flynn. For real, by the way. You've got to be kidding me, Song. Do something. There's no need for concern. Huh? Okay. The other areas. Midgar's just crawling with nasties. Soldiers having difficulties. Reno, rude. Just say the word. Go. Yes, sir. So <laughs> cool. Rude talks without looking. Like he just faces his back and turns his head slightly to the left and then he talks so to you like that. To the Turks. Wearing sunglasses Sergeant at night, by the way. There's a manpower shortage. You're a Turk, too? I'm Cisne. 
I'm Zack. Pleasure to meet you. Zack, aren't you on assignment? Same objective. Need some help here? I appreciate the offer. Oh, but... how generous. Well, Sung, Zack, I gotta go. Like I said, random, like, random name generator. Just, just, just pop it in the random name generator and hope for the best. Cisne has been added to the DMV. I spent a total of three seconds with Cisne and now she's a part of my roulette. We're looking for a man named Hollander. If you find him, apprehend him for us. Random name generator. It's a good Wilco song off their last album called Star Wars, by the way. I love that Wilco is just getting really like fucking weird. Like they haven't always been weird, but they're they're getting extra weird now. Like their last album was called Star Wars, and it was just a picture of a cat. Their new album that's coming out in a few months is called Schmilko. Not kidding, by the way. I want to hang out with Reno more, by the way, because Reno is, uh... He's voiced by Quentin Flynn, and I'm a big fan of Quentin Flynn. He, I think he played Paul McCartney in a Beatles parody. And, um, obviously he's riding... Roger Schmilko. <laughs> I, I think most of the post-Final Fantasy VII stuff is just, like, really just forced nostal nostalgia. But, um... Some of it's pretty good. I, I'm not gonna lie, like, there's some aspects of Advent Children that I like. Even though most of the time I watch it, me and my friends just make fun of it. Um, I do like a lot of this game. I think some of the Vincent Valentine game was pretty okay. Here she is. That's cool, right? Isn't that cool? <laughs> that attack in particular? Conflict resolved. Conflict enabled. Thank you. A little while ago, this nice girl in a suit helped us back there. And after that, a scary looking man with a big gun came. And the girl went to face him alone so we could escape. Please, mister. I'll give you my favorite treasure, so please help that girl. Please! Okay, that wasn't meant to sound like that. <laughs> the word please was actually I had I had a little a little gas, right? And and when I said please, it turned into like the gas came out. <laughs> it was really that was really weird. That was really weird. What do I do? Vitality plus 30 or spur plus 30? Um H plea, H plea plus 20. Let's do H plea plus 20. That sounds pretty good. Activating combat mode. Well, what's actually chat or any any crisis core experts in the chat? If so, what item is best item for me right now? Thanks a lot. I thought I was done for. Like I don't know what spirit and vitality does. Um, so a guy down the street looked like he could have been the leader of those masked guys attacking the city. You're a soldier, right? Thrash that guy for me, won't you? Vitality protects against physical spirit from magic, so let's go for Vitality and Iron Bangle. That, that seems like a pretty good combo. I thought that was a pretty, pretty good remix of that song, as opposed to many of the other remixes in this game, some of which are embarrassingly bad. And then the original soundtrack, if you could call it that, you know, that's some of that stuff is real good. Another copy. It's like this one's a cut above the mask, you guys. He's cool. He look, look. He's so cool. He doesn't even have to face me. He just aims his gun and shoots, and he's got a baton. Toofring. It, yo, it's my boy Gacked. Red Leather Gacked. 
You can do it, Zack. Yeah, I'm on yeah, fire now. I'll run in place. It was not very effective. It's a buff. Oh. You can do it, Zack. No, I don't want to watch Zack run in place again. Step. Oh, it's it's a buff. All right, so now this is all my attacks too critical. Gotcha. Hey, like the combat system or not, I think this is this is going to be kind of similar to Final Fantasy VII Remake's combat system. The original one-winged angel. Except I would just probably end up calling him a one-winged asshole. Zack agrees. Zack the sack. Fair. When I was a kid, I always wanted to have wings. Not like, holy yeah. shit, why does this motherfucker have wings? Let, let's go on a diatribe about how when I was a child I wanted to fly. Wings, they'd be monsters. Brilliant. Br Please brilliant dialogue. Symbolize freedom for those who have none. They don't symbolize monsters. <laughs> and then suddenly the end of the voice acting. Soldier first class indeed. A very impressive show of force. Unlike the Turks, we folks at Soldier are paid to fight. Take this, a token of appreciation for helping me out back there. Well, I'm off to my next job. Don't you have another assignment too? Uh, assignment? Yeah, I do. I'm sure we'll see each other again. One sector eight is clear. Come to Mako Reactor Five. Did you find something out? Angel has been sighted. Uh, so it's search and destroy. The army is mobilizing, but there's still time. You and I will find them before they do. And and what? Fail to eliminate them. For real? <laughs> yes, for real. Excellent. Uh, probably. I'm getting like heavy Ezra vibes from Star Wars Rebels. And also Sephiroth not having any any sense of humor. Yes, for reals. For realsies? Yes, for realsies. Yes, LOL. I gotta be honest, in, in the same way I enjoyed streaming Final Fantasy VII, so I could kind of make fun of it a little bit, as well as show my, my extreme love for the game. I'm enjoying this stream in the same exact way, guys. It's, it's, it's great. The, there, are, there are things I love about this game, and there are things that are so bad that I can't help but laugh. I love it. Activating combat mode. Yes. Pop, pop, pot, pop in the butt tonight. That's what you kids say, yes? Hey, here's a question for anyone who's, um, especially go, go, go. a big fan of Final Fantasy VII. How fucking old is Sephiroth in this game in particular? Does anyone know? Does, does he even have an age? I mean, he's, you know, manufactured, but... Vine Sauce, do you like Rich and Jack from Red Letter Media? Yeah, I do, actually. I interviewed both of them. 20 to 23. Mid twenties. Shields face. Gotcha. It appears Genesis isn't the only one who can be copied. The company training room. Hmm. We used to sneak in there for fun, when the seconds were out. Genesis, Angel. 
and I. You guys were pretty tight. Hmm. I wonder. Infinite in mystery is the gift of the goddess. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready for it. Thus and take to the sky. Ripples form on the water's surface. The wandering soul knows no rest. Oh yeah, reading poetry. Acoustic guitar Lovers music lightly brushes one. against our our <laughs> You remember our earlobes. How can I not when you've beaten it into my head? Don't take Sephiroth lightly. <laughs> Noted. Gacked and other Zacked. Attack. Square was like, hey, we need more money. Bust him out again, quick. Put him on the cannon at Junin. Is that the best you can do? All hail Sephiroth, huh? And Jill, stay back. I'll take Sephiroth alone. They're so Genesis. good that they're not even out of breath. The world needs a new hero. <laughs> Come and try. So smug. But for how long? Why is Sephiroth's sword not like twice the size of his body? Wasn't it? Seems a little shorter in this game. The Masa Mune. Figured out how to say it, guys. They can fly. Wow. Stop. You'll destroy us all. <laughs> Why is he flying? No Why to is he flying to? Broha. <laughs> They cut the cannon in half! That's gonna cost Shinra so much! All for training? This is just them fucking around. To send a bill to Sephiroth. Fuck the cannon, fuck Shinra. Let's just destroy the entire town. Oh, here we go, one winged angel, everyone. All oh, right, it's it's virtual reality. It's training. It's the hollow deck. That's how, I'm assuming that's how they can fly so easily too. And Geo, out of my way. Genesis! If his name was Caleb, it wouldn't have quite the same impact. Caleb! Just a scrape. I'll be fine. Don't worry. His arm falls off. Just a flesh wound. His sword sounded kind of wet when he picked it up. It's like... Even if the morrow is barren of promises, Nothing shall forestall my return. Computer, end program. So, was everything all right? Yes. As far as Genesis was concerned. But, as for Angeal... Angeal? What happened? <laughs> Later, 
I received one of his famous lectures. About what? Always the same. Discipline, dreams, honor, etc. Huh. <laughs> one of those, huh? Some old Zach Seffi bonding time. So it's true. They're in league with Hollander. How could this happen? And Jill, what is it you're up to? I have to look for clues. So this is um, Mako Reactor number five. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the, this one destroyed by Cloud and Barrett at the very beginning of Final Fantasy VII? No? Which one was blown up? Three? Oh, th three? Everyone's saying a different one. There's like, it's your every number. Holy shit. Alright, well, we're <laughs> never mind. When it comes to numbers, it's, 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 yeah, that information's just not happening, huh? That was the most inconsistent. I mean, we had eight choices, guys. And that was the most inconsistent me asking the chat for advice I've, I've ever seen. Also, notice Zach's psyche is, is, uh, is really high right now. He's on a combat high. He learned from Snake. Avalanche blew up Reactor 1 first, then followed up with Reactor 5, where President showed up to greet them. So the, you're talking, um, that's the one where Cloud falls off into Aerith, Aeris's, uh, church, correct? So it was one and then five. It sounds about right. All it needs to do is just say, Le you leveled up. Why is it gotta give me slot machines to level me up? Come on, bro. Oh yeah! Conflict resolved. Dog. Wait a minute, dog, dog, there was uh, Sephiroth dialogue up there that I missed. Is there a way to run from combat in this game? I was like right next to the dude, I don't know why I didn't talk to him earlier. It's over now. I would imagine the path with the most effort is the one that I have to go for extra, extra, co extra content, extra bonus items. I will say, um, really, again, nice use of lighting. Activating combat mode. I know the game isn't on a very overly powerful system, it's on a handheld system, but uh... Square it just always does a really great job. It looks great. The game looks better than uh, a lot of 3DS games that I've played. It also has something to do with the resolution. PSP had an okay resolution, and now I'm like fucking over overclocking the, the resolution. Okay. Please do not. Please not kill. Please not kill. Am I playing Deus Ex? No, I'm not playing Deus Ex. I will. I will not be streaming Deus Ex. Sorry. I got an offer to stream it, but it's just, uh, I don't- I've never played the series as much as I've wanted to. It was one of those games, or one of those game series that I've always wanted to try, but the time was never right. I just never, you know, I never, never had the games. But I hope whoever ends up getting it enjoys it. It, it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. It appears this door isn't powered. Power source is Mako. Zach, go open the valve on the lowest level. That should restore the power flow. Okay, let me fly down there like you can, Sephiroth. I, I swear to God, that was the funniest thing I've seen in in at least since yesterday, <laughs> since yesterday's stream. It was it was amazing watching Angeal like fly up to stop their fight and then get punched in the face with power. Here's a letter. I got an email. Oh, I hope it's from the Red Leather Club. Treasure Princess. I'm looking for someone who would go on treasure hunts with me. How would you like to team up if you're interested? I want you to prove yourself first. Somewhere out in the fields, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's General Affairs Department. If you manage to find it, I'll let you in. You can get your hands on some really rare items by becoming a treasure hunter. Not a bad deal, is it? No. no I didn't think so. Good luck. It's, it's Yuffie. It's Poopy. Yuffie is... Like, I can't say the name Yuffie without thinking of, like, like a baby. It's like a baby's first words. Yuffie. I, I've always said Yuffie too, and then Yuffie was a late addition. I, I remember a lot of people were like, say Yuffie. What the fuck is this?
Now it's just showing me a clip of the game. Oh, I guess because it's memories, guys. Memories are activating to show you how much Angeal means to Zack. Infernal baby noises. By the power of Angeal, I invoke you to- I- I-, I therefore- I Move thenceforth deem you dead. You will now die. So, you have to wonder, like, how much of this game being good was us being blinded by nostalgia when it first, you know, when we first played it. Because that's real, you know, being blinded by nostalgia and getting tricked into thinking it's a good game when it's not, that, that's real. Um, I, I am enjoying this playthrough a lot, but not, Activating combat mode. you know, it's the best game ever? Nah, not really. It's kind of trash. But it's a good trash. And then I had people in chat the other day saying, some consider this to be the best game on the PSP. So, uh... I just, it's... Here we go. Really? It's good. I like it. I just didn't think this was, like, best of the system worthy. Then again, I oh, this is the only PSP game I've ever played. Oh, here's a good question. What's the best game on the Vita? Pat upon... Oh, on the, uh, PSP? I gotta check that out. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, oh yeah, Monster Hunter is on the on the PSP. Vita? Someone had just said Vita? What is what is this Vita you're speaking of? The Vita still sells well in Japan. Gravity Rush, I see um Patapon, um Uncharted, Persona, Gravity Rush. You know, I was looking at sales charts. The Xbox 360 sold one console in Japan for, for like, a, a full month. I think it was the month of July. It's like, Xbox 360 sold one. Xbox One sold 78 or something like that. It's like, you could count that many people. You, you just line them up and count them. And just, you know, get them by name. Wouldn't be hard. Vita is doing amazing compared to the Xbox. It's crazy. Apparently, it's really supported um, highly in uh, Japanville. <laughs> I didn't know that. I had no idea. And it's selling. I think the Vita is actually even selling better than the Wii U. So that's that's just uh, yeah. That's, that's some crazy. Uh, I did not expect that at all. Someone in chat just said, the Vita is a weeb machine, Vin. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, 3DS still sells really well. The Wii U, I, someone said Wii U is a failure. In terms of sales, it was, it was weak. It was very weak. That's why we're getting an NX that we know nothing about in like nine months. It's, it's crazy because even though the Wii U sold, sold like crap, I really love- I love my Wii U. I've had so many good experiences on the Wii U. Aside from PC, it's- it's the- the thing I- I had the most fun with. Cool. Oh, the cure just- yeah, the cure worked afterwards. Cool. Oh, Crisis Core, eat a dick. Yeah, eat a dick. Why do those guys do so much fucking damage? How long has it been since I saved? Alright, the bridge is up. So that's good. Um, that, that dude was ridiculous with, with the amount of damage that dude, those guys just hit me three times and I died. Gonna try to hug the wall. Oh, this is where Sephiroth is. Fucking Christ! Uh, I wish I had that feather above my head. Dracula X Chronicles, Maverick Hunter X. I, I am unaware of these games. There, there is more games than I could ever stream in a lifetime. And more keep getting released every day, it's unfair. But I, I really, really do miss Castlevania. Uh, this again, huh? I was so hoping we were gonna get, like, a, an amazing Castlevania game on the 3DS. Similar to, um, 
Circle of the Moon and Symphony of the Night and Aria of Sorrow. I was I was so hoping that would be the case. And then whatever that fucking game was that came out on the 3DS, the the um, I, it was so unmemorable. I don't even remember the name of it. Mirror of Fate, I guess. I never even finished it. I couldn't finish it. it. Didn't it? Didn't it? Did so little for me. Yeah, Bloodstain. I'm excited for. I think Bloodstain's gonna scratch that itch. Also, I'm gonna look and see if I can buy a Phoenix down, possibly. Nope. No such things exist. Activating combat mode. No. Don't let me. Let me. Let me leave. Combat exited. Deactivating combat mode. <laughs> God damn it! They they hit for a lot, these little fuckers, and it's so hard to see what's happening. Please, Angie, you'll save me. <laughs> Assault titty twister mess. I've mastered the, the the art of the titty twister. Run away from enemies until Zack stops moving, then you'll exit the battle. Is that- oh, really? I didn't know that was a thing. I just assumed that you couldn't leave battle. And I was- I was just kind of like... expecting to have to fight everything. Ever. Forever. And ever. And, until we pooped. Until we pooped sounds like a great indie band. Like, album or song title. Like, they're... You know, they're just sick of it. Right? They're just sick of writing serious songs, and they realize that the only way they're gonna get fans is to release their- their joke album. Let's say Blood Bit. uh, let's call it Until We Pooped. No, 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 hua. I can't leave! It won't let me leave! It's a jape! This camera sucks! I can't see what I'm fighting, and I'm, I'm taking so much damage! I'm already almost dead again. Oh my god. It wasn't a jape. It wasn't a ruse. I'll try it on an enemy, like, you you know, on, on like, after I save, I'll try it. You have to keep running into the wall for, like, five seconds. It's absurd. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it another shot. Don't worry. Okay, good. Those, those little fuckers had me worried. Because they did a lot of damage. Okay, let me, let me run from these bayonet-ass looking motherfuckers. Yeah, it, it is actually possible to run from combat. It just is very weird looking. And it's kind of like, why is this working? When is this working? Don't know, did I just come from here? Where, where's Uncle Sephiroth? Where is he? I can't, uh, Uncle Sephiroth is down this way. There's no map for this area. Yeah, I'm pressing the map button. Oh, whoops. I'm, I'm pressing the map button, but nothing happened. All right, I guess I'm fighting this dude then. Yeah, no map. Even though I thought I pressed the right button, I think I was thinking of 3D Dot Game Heroes, but... Uh, wrong button. However, I, it, there's still no map. Alright. Let us go. Into the land of the ice and snow. Where the chill wind blow. Zack from Final Fantasy VII was actually born on August 23rd. You would wish him a happy birthday. Okay, happy birthday, Zack. Are you serious? It's really his birthday? <laughs> Let's find out. It says here that Zack was born in 1984. Wait, what? The fuck? Was Zack ever given a birthday? Not that I know of. Um... We know he was born in 1984, two years before Cloud. Why do I only notice japes? I don't understand. And also, Sephiroth's mouth is still moving. <laughs> He's just going, wretched sight, 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 wretched sight. It's wretched, it's a wretched sight. So wait, Final Fantasy VII takes place in what year? <laughs> like seriously, what the fuck? 1984 in Final Fantasy VII land, right? Yes? Let's check out the wretched site. Little does Uncle Sefi know that this too would be his fate. There's a monster inside. 
Is this where they make copies? He likes to read Sephiroth. He's, he's a smart one. <sighs> These are highly confidential research documents that Hollander stole. The stolen documents were in regard to the Project G. Degradation and Ancients. Some of them may have been left here. Search this area carefully. Oh, is this where he first learns about the Ancients? Implant the cells of an ancient into a human fetus to imbue said fetus with the ancient's abilities. Ah. It was Hollander's experiment. The result was a normal child, which meant he failed. However... I don't get why there's just like... Some, did they really need to cut? It's fucking Square Enix. Did they really need to cut corners and not hire the voice actors for all the dialogue? It's like, effectively, half of this game has been voice acted, then the other half is just text. Just- just spend the extra money! Report on Soldier Degradation Phenomenon. The heightened abilities of soldier members are maintained by a delicate balance of various genetic factors. A change in this balance could only be caused by a leak of genetic information. But this is not possible under normal normal circumstances. The phenomenon is unique to soldier type G. Feeling woozy. It was before Genesis deserted. Oh yeah, there's the issue of memory too. Uh, it takes a lot of memory for voices. I mean, they could do what they did on the N64 and just compress the shit out of them. But I guess that's not as cool. Um, it was before Genesis deserted. The wound was superficial, but for some reason, Genesis wasn't healing. The man who treated him was Hollander. Professor Hollander, how is Genesis? The problem is the Mako energy that seeped him through the wound. This voice acting's good. Is it treatable? First, he'll need a transfusion. You aren't viable. Why couldn't I be the donor? They just disappear. <laughs> A soldier, type G. In the end, they were both just ghosts. Nothing more, nothing less. The reason Seth got denied is because he couldn't help out. He couldn't give him the transfusion. It's because Sephiroth is made of stars. His blood is too volatile. Little does Shinra know they created a fucking god. The Ancients Project outline. It is now an undisputed fact that the life form excavated from the Earth is indeed of the ancient race spoken of in legend, furthermore, the history history records that these ancients channeled the power of this planet to tear the earth asunder. But the life form excavated from the earth was Genova, and not an ancient, actually. Um, using the cells of the unearthed ancient, we have begun research on creating and mass producing a race with comparable abilities. The primary objective of this research is to significantly reduce Mako excavation costs. Project G gave birth to the man we know as Genesis. Project G. Project Genesis. Contrary to this report, Genesis showed clear signs of change. Degrading? Not only that. Copies? Hmm. Abominations. S Sephiroth. Hollander, I thought I'd find you here. The degradation process. Only I can stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at the moves. The moves. <laughs> Genesis. You won't take Hollander. <clears throat> uh, but 
Zack, go after Hollander. But yeah. I don't- I want to leave. <sighs> it sounds like, um, the fucking Charlie the Unicorn dude voice acting Hollander. Only I can stop the process there because I'm no damaged. Way. Only joy, for you are beloved by the goddess. Hero of the dawn, healer of worlds. Loveless again. You never change. Three friends go into battle. One is captured. One flies away. The one that is left becomes a hero. A common story. If we were to enact it, would I be the one to play the hero? Or would you? It's all yours. Indeed. After all, your glory should have been mine. How petty. In hindsight, perhaps. Now what I want most is the gift of the goddess. He won't get away. <laughs> Not before he tells me where Angel is. I, I like how an attempt was made to give Sephiroth some uh, some character. You know, like like I, I always wonder what are, what what were his hobbies before he became a genocidal god. You know, what was he like? What kind of food did he eat? Did he like macaroni and cheese? Like, wh how regular of a dude was he? And in this game, you kind of see like he was kind of not a terrible person at first. You know, he he was um he 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 liked to kill a lot. That was that's a good hobby. He liked spinning. That's a good trick. Yeah, it just it like once he started reading, that was the real problem. So there's a lesson here, kids. Don't read. In Final Fantasy VII, Sephiroth starts reading a lot, and man, it just shit gets fucked up. But I mean, you notice how he said he doesn't want to be a hero. You know, I think the the way they tried to write him was like he's not in it for the glory. He just does it because that's what he does. You know, it's he's just he knows who he is. I mean, kind of, not really, but he he's not in this for like to be the most amazing soldier. He's not a braggart. He doesn't show off like Genesis. He doesn't like do fucked up weird moves. He just kind of walks around. And sometimes he'll, you know, he'll stab you in the face. So yeah, there there is some level of of like, oh, this this dude has some some personality. He wasn't just a psychopath the whole time. At least that's my interpretation of it. I don't know the rest of the work. I don't- I don't know how much of an ego Sephiroth really has on him. Does he really think he's as good as everyone thinks he is? And yeah, the scientist just japed the fuck out of me. He juked me! The problem is what he was reading. Emo poetry does that shit to you. Yeah, I suppose it does. There's your memes, chat. He- he said it! Laters! And someone else in chat just said, maybe he was reading Mein Kampf. Holy fuck. I never even considered it. I gotta go back to the Shinra fucking mansion. I gotta read through that library, and I gotta find out if someone had a copy of Mein Kampf in there. I like how you guys pretty much... If I really wanted to just, like, be an automated, like, reading bot, what I would do is I would program my voice into a series of, like, like, utterances so that everything I could possibly say, I could program to say, um, a computer to say. This is getting convoluted needlessly. The point I'm trying to make is I could just have the computer read the chat and that would be enough commentary. It's good shit. Just leave it at that. How high are you, man? Nah, did you ever, like, wonder if the sounds you're hearing sound the same to someone else? Like, you know how, like, colors look different for every human? Did you ever wonder, um, if, like, sounds sound different? Like, a fart sounds like an elephant to different people? 
Yo, what if the dress was really blue and not gold? Dude. Yo, if you were born in India but wanted to be a Christian, could you... Could you... Could you do that? Yo... Notice that Zach's, um... Meter says sky high. <laughs> Apt. It's quite appropriate. Sky high. Yo, yo. Nah, dude, I'm I'm smoking um oregano. You know how like they tried to sell like like spice that was giving people like brain damage or whatever the fuck was going on with that shit. Yeah, bro. I I'm going all natural. I'm just smoking. I'm just smoking parsnips and oregano, dried out, and put into a freezer bag. I don't want a cutscene that I saw already. Yeah, I do remember though, one of my friends... Let's call him... Frank. F-R-O-N-K. Let's say that he has... Um... Let's say that this particular friend was a friend that, you know, was a bad influence. I'm sure we've all had a bad influence. And he liked to smoke a lot of weed. But I remember I was like a really dumb kid. And he, you know, he was like... Because I didn't know anything about weed at the age of like 15. And he's like, yo, we're going to go to Wendy's. I got a guy that I've, I've known for years. He's going to sell us weed. And it was just like dirt and like fucking parsley like or oregano just in like a little baggie but the dirt was still like it was dirt it was it wasn't even made to look like weed it was just dirt <laughs> i remember he tried smoking it on his own first and he was like yeah i don't think this is weed I, i'm not i'm not getting high bro and he smoked the whole thing <laughs> i was like wait a minute how well do you know this guy he was like i met him once it's like yep yeah he's your friend like I was wondering why the dude was making fun of him behind his back. And then it then it occurred to me. Here we the go. Gullible. Go, go. Yeah, my my um my friend Frank was was uh, an amazing stoner. Just an amazing stoner. Like like all the like <laughs> weed culture. Like he wasn't about weed culture, but he the stupidity was there. And um there was definitely some aspect of like him losing brain cells. I believe that's real if you smoke enough dirt. He had theories, just bizarre theories that made no sense. And I just hear about them constantly. Um, I'm sure I had my own stupid theories, but some of his were, were classic and I just, for I forgot them. I forgot all of them. Hollander, there's no escape. Oh, I wish I could remember some of his, his dopey things that, I I'm gonna do some, um, soul searching and I'm gonna try to remember some good stories. Damn you, stop meddling in my affairs. What, meddling? What? That's a word you hear every day. I just remember there was a Burger King situation where he thought the cops were after him and he was planning on exiting his car and running through the bushes and like jumping over fences into people's um, backyards because he thought that the cops knew he was high and we're out and we're gonna get him. So he was like 30 seconds away from abandoning his car and running away in full view of police officers. That one I remember. Yeah, that, that was, unfortunately I was involved in this story. Yeah, I've told that one. I was involved, I, I, he got me so paranoid that I was ready to start running through the bushes with him. Yes, that's the same guy that ate a joint. Very good, genus. He did eat a whole joint, correct. That's Frank. He saw a light like a pier um, while he was in his car with, mind you, tinted windows and um, like um, a cover against the sun. And in the distance, he saw a car that he was convinced was a cop car. It was like a Range Rover, but he was so convinced it was a cop that he just went and like ate a lit joint. Just, just fucking like down the whole thing. It was like 80% still intact and he just ate it, it lit. Yep, currently a police officer, by the way. Keeping the streets of New York safe. Wow, you guys remember the Frank stories, holy shit. Good memory. He also, um, couldn't look at straight porn, because he thought if he looked at a penis, it was gay. So he, he could only- he- I remember him, like, unceremoniously telling me how he only masturbated to lesbian porn. 
as if I needed to know this information. So, uh, that's, that's a pretty, pretty severe level of homophobia. No, it's not the one who ate glue for Super Mario 65. That's not, not him. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure that's more of a common thought than, than you would imagine the only lesbian porn thing, you know? I, I would assume that that's something that others have experienced, but, uh, you know, New York's finest. Yeah, yeah, he's protecting us! Does he not look at his own dick when he jacks up? <laughs> I don't think he does. I, don't, I think that's that's just too much for him. He can't look at his own dick. Go. Go, go, go. Anyway, this is bad territory. Let's get out of let's get out of dick territory. Holy shit! It never ends. Yeah, he's like a Tobias Tobias Funke uh, never nude. I'm trying to think. Um, Oh man, I, you know, he had- there's so many good stories, and I, I know some of my- my friends from back in the day remember better than I do. My memory fucking sucks for- for cool shit like this. Here we go again, on the roulette of life. Why are these enemies not dying, though? Goddamn right, I got a chocobo omelet, motherfucker. And a powerist. Wow, that took forever. Hollander, do you understand what you're doing? <laughs> Working for Hollander now? <laughs> what is it you're after? World domination. That's not even funny, man. How about revenge? For what? Angeal! They blew up his mom. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. Oh, he's got a wing, too, now. I've become a monster. A monster's objective is usually world domination or revenge. You're wrong. Those aren't the wings of a monster. Well then, what are they? They're the wings of an angel! You're like an angel, Angel's Padme! Wings. I see. Then what should an angel fight for, Zack? What do angels dream of? <laughs> Carl, you're an idiot! Play a record! Angel. Angels dream of one thing. Please, tell me. To be human. <laughs> it's like we need more story. What do we expand upon? The the fact that Sephiroth had a single wing. We we need Defend more of yourself. that in Crisis Core. Please enter disc two. Save, delete, do nothing. I'll just do. I'll just leave it on do nothing, and stream that for twenty four hours. I like how many people are getting like fucking either a, a bored <laughs> or triggered by this game. <laughs> this is this is one of the most amazing streams I've ever done. <laughs> it's so div it's so like divisive. Friend, but I don't know how I can do it. Hello? Mom? Hello? Hooray! Here we go. Heaven? Not quite. Church in the <sighs> slums. Hmm? An angel? No, I'm Aerith. See, they even call her Aerith in this. You fell from the sky. It's one of the other reasons I named her Aerith in my playthrough me. of Final Fantasy VII. So you saved me, huh? Not really. Hello. That's all I did. 
<laughs> Do you like the Keith Urban rendition so of uh Aerith. of I'm Aerith's Zach. theme? I have to repay you somehow. Don't worry about it. No, I like how no. Zach felt the exact same way that Cloud did through the uh -huh. church. Hey, how about one date? What is that? Don't be silly. But... <sighs> what is what? A date? They're dates! You eat them! Stop! Don't step on the flowers. Excuse me? Normally, people are more careful with flowers. Well, I guess I'm not normal. Oh. You don't see a lot of flowers in Midgar. They're like luxury items around here. They only grow here. Although, I planted some outside my house too. <laughs> if I were you, I'd sell them. Hmm? Midgar's full of flowers, your wallet's full of money. And my puss is full of, full of cunny. I regret that. Full of money? Immediate regret. That's the worst thing I've ever Never said on the stream. And I've said some shite. I've said some fucking bollocks. Some real tripe. Now, it would have been better if I said cummy and not cunny. But, you know, I'm not that smart. Nice knowing you. Thanks for watching the streams. That's the end of the, the vine sauce thing. The experiment is over. Stop! I asked you not to step on the flowers. Oh. I just stopped the stream just right now. Just like, shut everything down. Disable everyone's access to their Twitch account. Delete everyone's YouTube channel associated with Vine Sauce and be like, It was just a prank, bro. And then delete my channel. On the day I got verified on YouTube, just delete it. Just a prank, bro! It was all just an experiment. And then I go to working on my true passion. Yogurt. Yogurt lubricant. The exit. That door over there. Going already? No. Okay, stay and look at the flowers a little more. I looked at them. There's not much to see. Man, it's just amazing how, how good Yuimatsu was at, at making music for games that was both memorable and emotional and, and uh, just had great loop you know, was very loop. Uh, and then, you know, some of the music in this game is pretty good. Some of the original OST is not bad, but it's just so not as good as the, the original soundtrack to Final Fantasy VII. I mean, that dude took the best aspects of, like, like you know, prog rock. He took the best aspects of classical and even pop music and just, just threw them, jammed them all together and... and then took, you know, made midis that sounded great. It's amazing. Made it, limited use of his sound palette to create these incredibly expressive and memorable songs that have honestly stood the test of time. Also poop. So, are you always here? Yeah. Hey, so where are you going? Hmm, not really sure. I'll take you there, okay? Where? Hmm, I'm not really sure. You just want to spend more time with me, right? I wish there was voice acting for this part. I don't want to do this. Yeah! Whoa, are you just- you just- uh, This must be under the plate, Sector 5. This is the slums. Yeah. If you walk a little, you'll be in the central slums. There's lots of people, and you can go above the plate from there, too. So, I'll walk you over there. If I can get out onto the streets, I can figure things out from there. 
Okay, lead the way. I mean, listen, whatever this music is, it ain't no under the rotting pizza. Okay, I'll show you the way to the central slums. If I remember correctly, there's a lot of um, invisible walls in this area. Just, just bizarre surf music, piano. Most folks here around, around here hate Shinra. What do you expect? Shinra people don't care a bit about anything below the plates. We're not in the central area yet. Here, you know what? I'm gonna do something that some of you will thank me for. That's the name of the song, by the way. The, the slums theme from Final Fantasy VII, the actual name of it is Underneath the Rotting Pizza. That's what it's called on the soundtrack. One of my favorite songs from this soundtrack. Here it is, enjoy. This will make this section a little bit better. It's a cool uh, email we got there. I like it. It's good mail. Now we have nostalgia. Folks above the plate throw stuff away all the time. It ends up down here. They may be trash to you, but for some of us, they're a valuable source of income. Vine sauce in a nutshell, I guess, right? I don't, I don't even really know what that means, but I'm sure there's something in there. Ah. Monsters. Ah, here we go. Zack, let's run. Don't sweat it. I'll protect you. I'll handle it. You can? Just stand back so you don't get hurt. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll just go ahead and fight. Yeah. Power surge. I'm, I'm just gonna let this song run, run its course, just to take a little bit of a break from the game's soundtrack. Okay, why'd that happen? It's scary, I don't want that to happen again. Cloud's the only one we haven't met yet. I feel so safe with you, Zack. Is that right? Yeah. You can beat up monsters, you're so strong. Strong, huh? Something wrong? No. I am strong. It's nothing. Anyway, those things weren't tough at all. So... Did I look cool? A little? Hmm. Hmm. Beats me. Aerith, in these types of situations, you should be more... Hey, Zach. Let's go, okay? What the fuck is this interaction with these characters? It's, it's so weird. I mean, this was such a safe bet if they wanted to make a Final Fantasy VII game. Like, the story of Zack. It, it not only do you meet, like, Cloud and Aerith, but you also get some time with Sephiroth. Um, I feel like this was, like, the perfect topic. It, it's almost as if this game was always, was always, um, just kind of waiting to be made. Those who hate Shinra, those who idolize Shinra, I'm the latter. Someday, I'm gonna get me a Shinra executive so I can live the good life. I have to get to the central slums before more monsters show up, but I guess you're with me, there's nothing to worry about, right? But I feel like you also have to, like, hit all the check marks. Okay, Aerith and Zack relationship, check. Sephiroth, check. Monsters, check. Dudes with one wing, check. Slums, check. You know, it's like a checkbox. Did they do a good job with the material? Mostly. Yeah, I feel like it was, you know, they did the best they could. For 2000... What? When did this come out? 2008? 2008 Square Enix did the best they could. So the central slums are this way. Yeah. Hmm. What is it? I guess the slums are built just like any other city. Of course. Many people have lived here for a long time. Inside that gate, there's a marketplace. It's fun because there's so many stores. There's also a guy who are sick in that marketplace. You can go above the plate from there, too. Walmart. You're in the slums of Sector 5. An economic boom never did us any good. 
Beyond the gates is the market, and down the street is the church. The other way beyond the rubble is Sector 6. There's a park near there. With a slide cat face. It's a cat. Cat slide is best. Slide. I hear the Shinra companies have been uh, having... Shinra companies been having a lot of problems lately, like having two first classes killed in action. Not that it has anything to do with us. Does the slums seem strange to you? I grew up here. It's kind of shitty down here. Uh, stuffy down here. Really? It's always like this, though. I know what it is. You can't see the sky. Uh, duh. Who wants to see the sky? I don't, that's for sure. Wouldn't you normally miss seeing the sky if you lived under a plate all year round? I guess I'm not normal. Well, living under a giant plate, there's no rain, at the very least. Do you want to talk about it? This guy frightens me. I feel like it's sucking me in. <laughs> wow. It's like... They got the worst fanfic. Anyway, I'll stop. Uh, weird, huh? Normal is overrated. Think so? I have an idea. One day I'll take you to see a beautiful sky. The real sky. It's not frightening at all. I know you're gonna love it. Hey, wait. Hmm. Looks like an interesting place. Maybe I should take a look around. Whoa, watch out. Child, please. Zach, you didn't just um, lose something, did you? Like any of your belongings? Did I lose something? I don't think so, huh? Dag! My wallet! It's gone! Is that kid? I'm gonna hunt him down. Zach, wait, I'm sorry, but I know that boy. You know him? There has to be some reason. He would usually never do something like this. Whatever the reason, stealing is wrong! Yeah. And I'm gonna find him and, and let's ask him why he did it. I'll bring him here. Hey, Aerith. Ah, oh, she's gone. I have to look for him too. There's a lot of people here, I guess I'll ask around. Well, first I'm gonna actually... St uh... First I'm gonna stop playing this game. But yeah, there's the, the Guy R. Sick cave somewhere in, around here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's late. And, uh, I started late tonight, I apologize guys, but I'm really fucking tired. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna fake off! We will return, we'll find the wallet. It's a hell of a cliffhanger. Will Zack... Will Zack ever find his wallet? Will Aerith ever make sense? Will she see the sky that she's heard so much about, but hates anyway because it rains? Um, and will Zack and Aerith yogurt get together with the, the lube yogurt that I was talking about? Will Vinny, will Vinny ever stop talking shit? Find out next time on Who Gives a Fuck. All right, um, got art for you guys. Is good. Let's check it out. No, but it's such a backwater name. Ditto Nibelheim. We're going to begin the squats of Zack Fair. This game has definitely had some detractors. There are some people that are just not interested in it at all. And then there's a very, very loyal like group of people that just keep messaging me about it constantly. <laughs> Vinny, when's Crisis Core? Vinny, when's Crisis Core? Please, Crisis Core now, please. Every game has its fan base. And, and to be fair, this game does deserve a fan base because it is actually really good. I th I'd say it makes a better mobile game than it makes necessarily a streaming game, but I still I still really like it. So let's uh let's do this. Crisis Core. Even when I'm streaming Crisis Core, people are like Vinny one Crisis Core. When Stovacore. Speaking of Stovacore, I, I was watching some of... I am still sick. Um, my throat still sucks right now. And uh, I, I was mentioning before how I was in the... Um, how I, I, my medication sounds like it was... Someone banged their head on a fucking keyboard and came up with it. Siftener. But I was watching um, some documentary about Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner. 
And uh, there's a real documentary called For the Love of Spock coming out in like a few weeks. I'm excited for that. It's um, made by Leonard Nimoy's son. And then I ended up watching a few episodes of um, the original Star Trek series. And what a fucking cheesy show that is. Holy shit. Also, Captain Kirk calls them Klingons. Klingons. Not Klingons, Klingons. Also, he really does say sabotage. If you watch the original series of Star Trek, he fucking says sabotage. Okay, anyway, here we are. Crisis Core, I'm back. Um, I guess I can't. Oh, actually, I'm Zack, I should say. I, I have to... What do I have to do? The number guessing game? I'm a carpenter traveling all over the world. This lumber is mine. No one steals from me. Wow, you're interesting. Children in the slums. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. On the ground beneath our aerial city of Midgar, and in the shadow of its plates lie the slums. They also- what a timely email this is. They also symbolize one of Shinra's distortions. They are, there are reports of children forming gangs in the harsh environment they call home. To look away from this will surely cast a large shadow on Shinra's future growth. It is my hope that we members of Soldier can rise up to address this distortion. What do you want to do? Fight the kids? Propane and propane accessory. Just move me right the fuck out the way. So you can go out this way. Hey, you there. Did you see a kid running this way? A kid? Can't say that I have. This path leads above the plate. Children would never come this way. Damn. Looking for someone? Yeah, this dude looks like way too well dressed for the slums. And you lost him. Yeah. Was your wallet stolen or something? How did you know? If you want to catch someone here, you'll need some assistance. Assistance? You can't find anyone alone in this place? You should ask people on the streets for help. People on the streets, huh? People on the streets! Beat on it! on it! Beat on it! Freddie Mercury's signature noise. I saw a Freddie Mercury action figure that was $80. It looked amazing. But the only way it could be better is if it had a button on the back where if you press it, Freddy goes, Beat on it! Beat on it! Beat it! Do you guys have to fucking YouTube Freddie Mercury, like, working the crowd? And he makes the crowd, like, like, um, mimic. He, he had, Freddie Mercury was one of the few performers, wouldn't say few, but he was one of the best at, at really working a crowd live. Like, the dude would, would have the fucking crowd eating out of the palm of his hand. And he would go like this, he would go, All right, sing with me, my dears. And he would go, um, Deed up! And they would go, Deed up! And then he would go, Beat on it, pop! And they would go, Beat on it, pop! It's like, are you people, like, okay? Do you need assistance? Is your brain all right? Do you need to replace your brain stem? Hey, could I ask you something? I'm looking for a kid who stole my wallet. Have you seen anyone who looks like this? And he's, yeah, he, oh! I haven't seen, no, wait, no, I have. Yes, really, yeah, he ran that way. Wait, what, that way? Yeah, all the way down. Beat up. He's over that way. Well, now he's not. It's a big idea, huh? Beat up. Beat on it, on it. People on the streets. It's all right. I'll try looking elsewhere. Zach. Speaking of needing assistance, Aerith needs some serious assistance. Her dialogue needs assistance. Did you find the kid? Not yet, but we'll find him soon. I promise. The mini game here is that you just talk to a bunch of kids until you find the kid, or people. Hmm. Hey you, you wouldn't happen to be the kid that stole my wallet earlier, would you? You got some nerve accusing me. You know that I've been here the whole time. Ah, yeah, I guess I was mistaken. Sorry about that. Well, could you help me then? Sure, you want to find the kid who took your wallet, right? Okay, then I'll trade you the information I have for a potion. Trade? Nothing around here is free. I promise I have good information. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, hey, right there. He's right behind you. What? Well, he's not there anymore. Now then, can you tell me some places where this kid might go? Hmm? I just gave you the information you wanted. If you want more, it'll cost you another item. You gotta be kidding me. Look, over there, he came back! For real? I don't see anyone. Oh, look at this. I, I know Zack's pain right now. I, I've never related to a video game character more. I know all about japes. Getting, uh, getting some sick japeage. You're not gonna tell me? You're not gonna tell me that was your hot tip, are you? Of course it was! Do you wanna know the next bit? Trait. He came back! No, thank you. There's only someone trustworthy enough to ask for help. I wonder if Aerith is still looking. 
Did she really catch her, him by herself? This guy are sick. Hey, you got a minute? Welcome. Looking for a gift for your girlfriend? Uh, no, I'm not here to shop. Oh, you're not a customer. I'm looking for a kid who stole my wallet. Can you help me catch him? He looks like this and he's about yay tall. Eh, I guess I can keep an eye out. Thanks. I'm gonna have to look around this area. If you see the kid, catch him for me. Titch. <laughs> I, I never know how to read that out loud. Where did he go? Just looking for my water. There he is. Hey, you! That's the kid. Get him for me. Whoa, whoa. Slippery little one he is. What are you doing? Ah, he's gone. Sorry about that. I'm not a very fast runner. Yeah, right. You didn't even try to chase after him. Well, I wouldn't say I wasn't trying. It's all right. Oh, look, I'll try looking elsewhere. All right. I'll come check again, maybe. Oh, Aerith. This, is, this seems like an unnecessary part of the game. Did you find the kid? No, I can't find him, but I will promise- I promise I will, trust me. Is it okay in Shinra, in Midgar, rather, to stab children? Is this- is this an appropriate thing? Hey, you got a minute? I'm looking for this kid. Uh, yeah, I know that kid. You look pretty desperate. I'll go find him for you. Seriously? You can wait here. Alright, thanks. Wow, there's a lot of people in chat that are pro-killing children with a blade twice the size of the child's body. Sure, taking a long time. Here, well, while Zach waits, I'm going to grab my water. Hang on. It's a good jape. Be, be fun japing. Be fun. Be fun streets. Be on it. Be on. Be on it. Is this the jape life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a jape slide. No escape from reality. Hey, that's the kid who took... Darn, you should have kept quiet. You're so close to catching him. You're trying to help him get away? It's so mean, you're saying you don't trust me? It's alright, I'll try looking elsewhere. Zack. Oh, Aerith, did you find the kid? I see him, but he runs so fast, maybe I can't catch him by myself. The blade up, blade up, blade up, blade up, blade up. I'm okay. As this happens, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna have a chill stream while my throat's fucked up. And then, inevitably, somehow Freddie Mercury gets brought into it, or the Shockmaster, or fucking this is Kangaroo Court, and then I'm fucked. Aerith, there you are. Zach, gonna look around a bit more. Actually, no, I'm, uh, do I need to? Hey, you got a minute? What is it? Uh, I'm looking for a kid who stole my wallet. Can you help me catch him? But what's- what is the point of this segment? Is this to build, like, some kind of character development with Zack and Aerith? Where did he go? It's just, like, padding the game. I guess this is to show you how shitty the people of Midgar are. Haha, <laughs> I tried to catch him, but he stole my most prized material before I was able to do anything. Once he used that, there was no way I could catch him. You didn't even try to chase him, did you? No, you got me all wrong, buddy. It's alright, I'll try looking elsewhere. If there was only someone trustworthy enough to ask for help. I wonder if Aerith is still looking. Did she really catch him by herself? Take off the cuffs! <laughs> I mean, they see what's going on. Like, Zack is soldier, right? He's in a soldier uniform. So he's he's a richin' from above the plate, right? Everyone down here is poor, and most people down here hate Shinra. So, of course they're not gonna help him. There, there you are, Zack. Looks like you've had no luck either. You don't have to be so glum. It was my wallet that was stolen after all. I'm sorry, but there has to be a good reason. Well, if he's gonna use the money, he would still be inside the city, right? Yeah, I'm sure he is. Then help me find him, Aerith. We won't get anywhere unless we catch him, right? Yeah, but if you do catch him, you'll have to hear his story out. All right, all right, I'll ask him why he did it. Wait up. Okay, then I'll help you. Okay, I guess Aerith can stay around here and I'll make another round on the streets. People on the streets. Beat up. Blade up. <laughs> Blade up. <laughs> That's a good word, but you gotta say it just right. You gotta go. Blade up. If you can make that noise, then you got it. Aerith, he's running towards you. Uh oh. Hey, you. No more running. We got him. You sneaky little runt. Stealing from people is a runt. Zack, a very, very bad thing. So, tell me, why did you do it? It's none of your business. 
When you stole my wallet, you made it my business. You promised me a long time ago that you would never steal again. Are you in some kind of trouble? Expressionless face. It's like a kid was in the ring. If you're in trouble, just say so. Now you've got Aerith all worried. My own wallet was eaten by a monster, which is not entirely inaccurate when you live in the fucking slums, I guess. But I have to buy medicine and get home quickly. Medicine. I'll get your wallet back from the monster. R really? Leave it to me. Yeah! But it's dangerous. No worries, it's not the dangerous. May I talk at any time? Monsters in the area are no, are no match for me. Besides, if I don't do this, he's gonna have to steal again, right? Then I'll help too. No, no, it's okay, Eric. Really, I'll, I'll take care of it. Stay here and keep that kid out of trouble. But the monster should still be on the street that goes to the park. Here's your wallet back. Get whatever you need before you go. I gotta stop. Lay it up. I really gotta stop that. Also, someone in chat just said, give him poison instead. Hey, you there, get back behind the gate right now. Hmm? Legions of monsters have appeared at the park. The park? Oh, that's gotta be it. What do you mean, okay, everyone's evacuating. It's too dangerous. You have to turn back. I'm sorry, but I'm an edgelord. I, uh, those guys owe me some money and I have to go collect. What? You're, you're talking nonsense! It's alright. Don't worry about me. You, on the other hand, should get back behind the gate. Zach Eastwood. Is this where Cat Slide is located? Here we go. This must be them. Their, the wallet must be in one of their stomachs. It means I'm gonna have to. Gross. Gotta love this job. What's that? You wanna fight something? Nope. Too bad. Slots. Thanks! Fuck off! I swear- I swear to me fucking Jacobs, mate. I just wanna know who composed the music for this soundtrack. And if they still have a job at Square Enix. I wanna hear Vinny do an impression of Freddie Mercury doing an impression of Mr. Dink scatting. Very expensive, Douglas. Terrible. Just, just terrible. Just god awful. Or as the, the wall says in the game, no. The inside's still intact, right? Whoa, There's a whole lot more than what's in my wallet. You really got it back. Having worked, can confirm they have a job because Square keeps mediocre people on and fires people that actually work their asses off. Holy shit. Hi, first of all, hi, Azurite. How you doing? But, are you fucking serious, dude? Ugh. What is with the mediocrity lately at- Uh, well, you know what? That's a whole story for another time. Quit complaining, you should be glad you have it back. Zach, were you hurt? Not a scratch, no problem whatsoever. Now to deal with this brat. Get ready for the longest lecture of your life. That's what I'd like to say, but you can go. You're in a hurry, right? Thanks, mister. Next time you're in trouble, don't steal. Come talk to me first. I appreciate the offer, but I think I'll pass. I thought you looked pretty rich, but your wallet told me another story. Don't mock me, Junior. I'm gonna be a wealthy man soon. Earth and I are gonna sell flowers, huh? We call it Operation Midgar Full of Flowers, Wallet Full of Money. I think Rare was the... the kind of best example of losing most of its talented people and keeping all, like, the interns on. Aerith, are you seriously doing this? Yes, I'm gonna try anyway, so no stealing. Come talk to me if you're in trouble, okay? Alright, I'll come talk to you. Well, I really do have to hurry. Thanks, Aerith, mister. You should be more careful on the street unless you want your wallet taken again. Obnoxious little brat, get lost already. Thanks for helping that boy, Zack. No, it was nothing. Hey, Zack, were you really serious about selling the flowers? Of course. And they turn back now, after all I said. I have an idea, let's make a wagon. A wagon? Yeah, a flower wagon. If we have a wagon to put the flowers in, we can cart them all around Midgar, selling them! This is, again, dialogue I'd probably much prefer reading to myself. That's true, that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I agree, Des, that, that pose is in, like, fucking every Square game. Kunsel has more info. It seems Hollander's favorite t-shirt is the one with the logo of Benora's famous canned apples. Can a guy love apples that much? 
hungry for apples? Or do you suppose he has other ties to Benora? Apparently with all the confidential information they handle, guys in the science department aren't allowed to leave the company even if they screw up or lose out in the rat race. That puts them under a lot of stress. Maybe Hollander's t-shirt helps him relieve some of that? Red leather. Ah, oh, shit, the leather club. Finally, attendance read from Loveless. Prayed for his soul. We're happy to report the Apple jewelry was a smashing success. And sell them online to those of you who could not attend the event. If you would like one, please reply to this address. Supplies are limited. Order now. So they have email. Do they- wait a minute. They have internet in Final Fantasy VII? Is that canon? What is happening with Aerith? What is this? Quality animations. What is this quality animations? She only registers one speed. Full speed. But that's how the ancients walk. That's how the ancients walk, Vin. Oh, my imaginary level up counter leveled up. I wonder if the dude that voiced um, Angeal ever ever regrets his work. Do you think he even remembers voicing this game? Thank God. Oh man, we needed Cat Slide. Cat Slide is the best part of this game and Final Fantasy VII. We're playing Soldier. I'm Sephiroth, Soldier First Class. Come and get it, monster. Little do they know, in a few short years, Sephiroth would turn into the evil Leatheroth, where he goes around smacking butts with a paddle and dropping meteors from assholes. It's not fair. He always gets to be Sephiroth. I hate playing the monster all the time. Oh, that was in an alternate dimension. I'm sorry. I meant Sephiroth becomes the ultimate evil. He turns into fire. He controls Cloud. And, uh, grows a wing. I really like this part, too. Maybe my favorite place after the church. There are no flowers, but there's lots of children. Don't you think it's a little brighter here? The music was better here in Final Fantasy VII. That's for goddamn sure. You know, I know it... I know it'd be like, called lazy, but I really wish they would have just used the, uh, the music from Final Fantasy VII in this game. I know there's some remixes, some of them are pretty good, but I would have been totally okay with an entire Final Fantasy VII soundtrack remix. Or not even, you know what? I don't even need a remix. Just, just keep it as was, as is, and I'm okay with, with that, because I'll tell you what, as Azurite said, mediocrity need not apply. He didn't say that at all, but I'm, I'm putting words in his mouth. The guy who voiced Angeal went on to provide voices in Call of Duty games, amongst other games. This is new information. Someone in chat, so this is the first um, Final Fantasy. I say someone in chat because I don't feel like um, learning how to pronounce names, and also I, I prefer the quality of the information as opposed to you know, necessarily making someone a star, so to speak. Because, uh, it's- I really just- there's, um, attention horsing is very real. And I can be the only attention horse, because I am streaming. That's all there is to it. Oh, hi, Aerith. Is that your boyfriend? Hmm. I I'm not sure yet. Hey, aren't you- you are! You're the guy chasing around that kid! Heard about you from the neighborhood, folk. thought you were just some dumb outsider, but it turns out you're a pretty good guy. Sorry we misjudged you. This is just a small token of our appreciation. I have to say though, where is the... Uh, you're not gonna find a decent, honest, kind how to get like this very often. This one is my stamp of approval. I hope you're very happy to get together. I don't know what the hell that voice is. He, he's not my boyfriend, I just met him. But maybe there's something there. Maybe. Oh wait, can I take a look inside this store? So, what? The whole reason you wanted to go out was to shop? Then I won't. I'm just kidding! You know, look as long as you'd like. Thanks. Just for a little bit. I promise. You guys like that Xbox One Pro controller that's like 150 bucks? 
that's just like shipping all over the world and it's just they're broken. There's just fucking tons of broken controllers being purchased. You really like this store, huh? Yeah, it's just, it's fun to just look around. Hey, Aerith? Mm-hmm. To show my gratitude for that hello that woke me up, I'll buy you something. Oh, you don't have to. You're repaying me with one date, right? You said don't be silly. Well... And consider it a one-day anniversary gift of our friendship. Oh, man. I wish this part had voice acting. I really wish I didn't have to do this. Positive. I would probably voice Zack a little bit more like Sonic. But okay. I, I just I can't do this that. One. My wish right. came true. I'll go buy it. I'll be right back. And now I regret it. How's that? Did you put it on right? Will it stay on? It should be fine. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you, Zack. I'll always wear it from now on. Forever. I'll even shower with it. Hey, do you still have some time? I guess so. Why? Where'd the voice acting go? Why don't we go to the park? Well, that kind of sounds like a date. Uh-huh. Okay. So, ever meet any soldier members? Maybe. Do you think that they're happy? What do you mean? Heroes to children. Protectors of the peace. But, they're not normal. They get some kind of special surgery. Don't they? So they say. Normal is best. I think so. At least. Wow. Normal is best. Soldier good. people are kind of good dialogue. Weird. They're weird, huh? And they're scary they fight and they love it actually I'm with soldier <gasps> I'm sorry forgive me but I'm, I'm just busy checking my phone at the moment If Zack could just do squats during every cutscene, this game would improve by 5%. The face? <laughs> the eyes. You like them? Then take a closer look. Eyes infused with Mako energy. Yep. A soldier it, trademark. It's canon. It's pronounced Mako. Which, I'm sorry, <laughs> sounds a lot less cool. The Color of the sky, right? Mako sounds cooler. Uh-huh. But... Not scary at all. I'll admit, things haven't been normal at all lately. What about you, Aerith? How's your life going? <laughs> I was thinking it would be a normal day. But then suddenly, some guy fell out of the sky. That's not all that bad. Hmm. Oh. Zack, return to the Shinra building now. Genesis has attacked us. Uh, flip On my phone. Way. I'm sorry, but duty calls. Did they even know Zack well, was alive? I guess I should get going then. Will I see you again? <laughs> of course. I hope that your friend's okay, Zack. Huh? You talk in your sleep. Yeah. It'll be fine. 
I know that now. I don't like sand. It's coarse. It's rough. And it's everywhere. Hid Joker Dreamer. I like that guy. That's a good guy, that guy. Hid, hid High Joker Dreamer. Wait a minute. I can't go out the back here. You guys know the Gorilla song Stylo? There's a point where 2D is singing. He goes. When the Mako flies. All right, I'll say it. When the Mako flies. So I just looked up the lyrics during that cutscene, and it's spelled M A K O. So Damon pronounces it Mako. The question is, what the fuck is Mako? Is that a word that exists before Final Fantasy VII, or or is this? I don't I don't really get it. Mako shark. Oh, right, right. Mako shark. M-A-K-O. Shark. Yes, Mako shark. That's how it's pronounced. Mako. Mako is a person. Well, he says when the Mako flies, Mako often refers to the ocean. Give dactyl. I'm just wondering, because the song Silo is kind of about the overuse of electricity and, you know, the, the computerization of society and we have all the items you need, she says, as she refuses to unlock a shopping dialogue box. Flying shark fits in with the whole plastic beach weirdness. Mako's also an EDM producer. So, I thought, because when I hear that song, I think of like Mako energy <laughs> from Final Fantasy VII. I know it's r absurd, but I, I really do. Okay, so I'm doing a foot race now. So I, I just picture, when he says when the Mako flies, I picture like a Mako reactor from Final Fantasy VII spewing forth like sparks of Mako into the sky. It's just for money. Why would he hire Zack for a job this pitiful? Welcome back. 20 materia, that's very fast work. Um, 80. Oh, that's it, just 80? This guy doesn't pay well. All of these, um, people are offering, like, shops and... Like, oh, we have the best items around. And then you, you try to buy something from them and there's just nothing. Star Trek VR game? I hope it's good. Even though I don't have VR, proper VR at least. Oh, hey, the little thief from before. If it has online, it could be amazing. I just don't see how it's going to be feasible or fun to get four people with um, a Vive together in one room. So it's got to. I think that Star Trek game has to have online for it to really be good. There's no reason to buy from them since your phone has a shop. That's right. I didn't know you were going home so fast. I'm glad I caught you. I wanted to give this materia to you. I'm never going to steal again. That's why I want you to keep this for me. Obtained steel. Well, I'm always happy to serve as a role model. Someone in chat just said, Currency of gill. Resemblant of gill. Mako sharks have gills. What kind of deep meaning does this have, Vine Sauce? It means that you've been banned for conspiracy. <laughs> Mister, don't use that materia to do bad things. Of course I won't. Well, never mind that. I actually wanted to tell you something. You're a really good person, mister. A perfect match for Aerith. Where did that come from? It's between you and me. Aerith is pretty sweet on you. I'm rooting for you, mister. Come talk to me anytime you need anything. See ya. Well, well, looks like I gained a lot of trust. <clears throat> Guess I'll hold on to this materia then. Damn you, Genesis. What's wrong with you? I'll stop you once and for all! Here we go. Some cool music, cool visuals. This is... This is good. Sounds like the music is going blade up! Can you hear it? Every now and then it goes blade up! Blade up! Good luck, good luck never hearing that. <laughs> You're gonna hear that forever now. <laughs> they don't waste any time. I'm in a hurry, so back off. Let me play my game, for Christ's sake. Alright, gotta move. Yeah, gotta move! 
Next up we have mechs. They look pretty adamant about not letting me pass. Well, I'm pretty adamant about busting through. Just wanna- just wanna play my game for Christ's sake. Being a Vine Sauce fan for years now it made me think of simple things differently like bees and Freddie Mercury. I mean, that's- that's the point. The point of Vine Sauce is that it's a mind virus. So that you associate, like, like really mundane shit with bizarre trains of thought that I or the other streamers have come up with. Particularly me, though, because I do come up with some really, really fucking bizarre things that I, I really... I mean, I don't really do drugs or anything. You know, I maybe do cough drops from time to time. Especially now, those shits are like, oh man, if you could overdose on cough drops, I've done just that. Um, that said, this brain of mine, it does all the talking. I don't know what that means. Pitched! More of them? Enough already. Oops, now I'm surrounded. It's like an army of ants or something. Take you all down at once. I remember one time I was talking about dolphins possibly being aliens, and then I found out later when I was abducted that they are in fact aliens. And then if you check out the cranberry sauce video, you're gonna find out that there's a real place called Pepperland. If you lick the stamp, you get LSD. That's my planning. I watch bizarre videos and then sometimes bring them to you. I don't know. That's about it, really. <laughs> Was that, even, was that even supposed to be? <laughs> the two cat has arrived! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Sorry, something in chat. This is taking longer than I thought. I better get moving. Oh, it's the thing from Hyrule Warriors. I guess life's just not that simple. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to remind me. That stung a little a cut above the usual riffraff, are we? But you are going down. Someone in the chat called me an idiot because I believe dolphins are aliens. Well, if, if dolphins aren't aliens, then I don't want to live on this fucking planet anymore. I'm sorry. Run the credits, because that's got to be the end. I'd better hurry. Zach talks to himself a lot. So do I, actually, if you think about it. I'm not really talking to anyone. Oh, it's everyone's favorite. How does that w one single wing sustain flight? Do you? Honestly, what are you thinking, Angeal? I'm not really sure myself. <laughs> At times I feel as if my mind is mired in fog. But Zack, no matter what happens, I have to protect my honor. As it's not a dumb I name. Angel isn't a dumb name. Sword. He's an angel. Jack, Subtle. Join my battle. I just don't know art. All that creates suffering. All right. I'll help you. His name isn't dumb. His name is cool. Think about it. Listen, listen. His name is Angel. I'll carry you there. No, wait. Angel. I and Geo. feels pretty so good. So cool. So his wing, his single wing can sustain flight for not just one, but two, two folks. And, and he just won Zack over to his cause in 1.7 seconds. Sorry to keep you waiting. Just fucking Kojima. You're late. Sephiroth, have you lost weight? Humph. On to business. It is safe to assume Hollander has ordered Genesis to eliminate Hojo. Hojo, the director of the science department? Yes. He believes Hojo robbed him of his rightful position. And they'll be targeting the science department floor upstairs. Forget about Hojo. You're in your usual mood, I see. Sephiroth, take the floors below. I'll handle things outside. I can fly. Zack, you go up. Hojo will be your responsibility. Understood. Right now, I have no idea what Angel is up to or what he's thinking, but we're fighting side by side again, and that's good enough for me. All right, the science department is down this way. Okay, I like the classic menu select sound, but does it... Is it grating on anyone else that every time I press the attack button, I have to hear the menu select sound? The little chirp? Uh, I usually like burbs and chirps and all that stuff, but it's like... Every time? 
Konami just announced Metal Gear Solid 5 Definitive Edition. Isn't that the version that's already out? Doesn't, there's no, like, DLC. I don't understand. What's the, what's the difference here? Does it come with fucking Metal Gear Zombos? I think that was, that was a J- Metal Gear Online in the three costume packs. I didn't know they were costume packs. The news isn't in J, but Konami making it is a J in and of itself. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I guess there's- it just never struck me as a game that needed a definitive edition because the version on the PC is more or less the, the game. I mean, but you didn't- Metal Gear Online wasn't a paid-for thing. So that- the definitive edition is just costumes then, I guess. I'm going to be skipping through some of the reels. Yeah, and Chapter 3 is not happening. Oh, TPP- I forgot- I forgot about Ground Zeroes. I know Ground Zeroes, like, was a free promotion at one point or something. Those cells, weren't those the cells that the Final Fantasy VII characters were put in? And this is a room that Cloud and everyone gets- gets to, where they see a monster in the thing, they, like, where they were storing Sephiroth here at one point, or Genova? Or is that a different room? Like this, right here, this tank. Hojo. Oh yeah, this is the- the other room, I think Red 13 was in that. Right there. Now oh, you're safe. Shh, please be more quiet. I'm not doing the German thing anymore. I think this is closer to how I did him uh, when I played Final Fantasy VII. The building is under attack by the Genesis Army. They may be after you, Professor Hojo. And you're all my protection? In any case, we have to evacuate. W will you come with me? Raiding monsters had nothing to fear. Talking about Genesis? Indeed? A memento from an unenlightened era when men could deem any unclassified life form as an ancient classified life form. G Genova, the calamity that fell from the sky. Your ignorance is of no consequence. Soldier's duty is not to think, it is to protect men who think for them, like me. It appears you're not keeping very busy. I wouldn't say that, but... Did you say I, I may have unwanted company? Prepared to defend this brilliant mind with your life? Of course I am. I'm prepared. Come and get it, it's what I say. I'll show them the power of a next generation soldier first class. <laughs> Most encouraging. I don't know what that fucking voice was. I'm, I won't abide any losses to some second-rate scientist creation. How did Lucrezia- well, what did she see in him? Here. Oh, that's his, that's how they voice him in the game, huh? Hollander sent you, correct? You think that if you obey Hollander, he'll stop your body from that's, degrading. Is that it? That's Paul Eating pitiful. doing the voice. Just pitiful, Isn't it? I say. That's, that's uh, Colonel. Colonel's Genesis. the voice of Hojo. A second-rate hack like Hollander couldn't cure a cold. Genesis, that's enough. Ah, what do we have here? My friend, the fates are cruel. There are no dreams, no honor remains. The arrow has left. The bow of the goddess. Okay, it's fucking beat poetry the hour entire now. entire cast of Hollander's freak show. Shut up, you! Loveless. Act four. Where the two friends challenge each other to a duel. <sighs> An ancient epic. I read it thinking it might aid my research, but pure drivel. Did this need to be a How video? How does the duel end? This cutscene? Unknown. The last act is missing, and yet to be discovered. There are various theories. It is Paul eating. It's confirmed. The mysterious gift of the goddess. What is the meaning behind it? For us, at least. Hey! Hold it, Genesis! <laughs> I love I have my own personal chariot in the sky. It's just Angeal with a single wing.
my soul corrupted by vengeance. <laughs> Hath endured torment to find the end of the journey in my own salvation and your eternal slumber. He's summoning again. Zack, I leave this to you. Huh? You can do this. Trust me. Uh, don't leave me here. Stop. Come back. Uh. Aerith? Listen, can I call you back later? I have some company. Don't keep your guests waiting, she says. <laughs> I, uh... I hate everything, <laughs> but I also kind of love this. I am so conflicted. <laughs> yeah, screenshots. Yeah. I, I really don't do a whole lot of damage. All right, let's keep keep that modulations. Wait, 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 I just got my slots together. Oh, please tell me it's going to destroy the moon. I don't remember this at all. I'm, I'm assuming... <laughs> wait a minute, is it using the moon as, as like a focal energy point? Um... Dear God. The scientific ramifications for this entire event just make my head hurt <laughs> so much. Guard, it did nothing. My eyes, the goggles. This this happens a lot in Final Fantasy. Me. Planets are I often blown it. up, moons are destroyed, crushed. Meteors crashed. It's funny because of all the crazy ah, celestial yeah. shit that happens in Final Fantasy 7 and in the series in general It's it's kind of funny to me that the ultimate enemy The ultimate like bad shit that could happen in Final Fantasy 7 was a giant meteor crashing down to the planet When in every other situation There are no lasting results. It's just for shits and giggles. Meteor in Final Fantasy lore has been consistently the strongest magic as seen in particularly Final Fantasy 4 and Final Fantasy 7. I said uh, top info, but thank you. Top info. That is true though, you are correct. I remember that. Where is everybody? I just got a fucking planet crash down onto me. Truly, this this option here is is the best option for when it comes to playing Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Well, yeah, Ultima. Yeah, Ultima's. I mean, the strongest magic. Sure. There's there's many magics. Some stronger than others, of course. But Meteor is one of the top ones. Come on, pick up. Who are you trying to call? The Ghostbusters! Bosting makes me feel good. <laughs> Sephiroth, I haven't been able to reach him in ages. Haven't you heard? Mr. Sephiroth has shut himself inside the data room and hasn't come out. Handsets are prohibited in the data room, so there's not much you can do. Data room? He's apparently researching the history of the Shinra Science Department. Oh. I guess this is his first inclination that maybe he's a little different. Aerith, what's up? Um, I wanted to ask, when will you make it for me? When will you make it for me? What? Make w Oh, flower wagon. Or did you forget? No, of course I didn't forget. Hold on, I'll be right there. Really? 
Gotta go make flower wagons now. Where's Kuncel? I need information. I need some shit posting in gossip form. Gossip is just like just shit posting in tabloid form, I think. I think that's that's my Carl quote of the day. Vinny, someone's going to get really angry about that. There's nothing I could physic I, there's nothing I could say on this planet that wouldn't get someone pissed at me. I'm not gonna let it stop me from saying things. <laughs> Sometimes things need to be said. What can I say? Here, here's one. Rabbits are assholes. Now that, I would say, there's an intention behind that. And I'd say that that's a very, very pointed topic that, that, that is designed to offend rabbit fans. But here's one. Ice cream is delicious. Someone out there who hates ice cream, who thinks it's unhealthy garbage, is going to think to my- Wow, Vinny's such a weak. He's so weak because he likes ice cream. He should just be eating like muscle milk and like fucking vegetation. Yo, if he doesn't eat fauna only, then we done. So yeah, there's just anything. Anything I say. So I just say it anyway, I think. I feel like the point of handheld games weren't fully realized and then later on, like, okay, here's one, Super Mario Land. But that game doesn't have a save system or a password system. Fast forward's gonna come in handy. Tetris was a good mobile game, that's that's correct. I 100% agree with that. You know Thundaga? From a hot treasure hunter. Treasure princess. Gungaga's a little bit later. Also, speaking about Gil. The dude that I first watched play Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah. And one of the main reasons that I, I really wanted this game, or fi well, not this game, Final Fantasy VII, was that I watched... I had a friend that was pretty, that was pretty rich. Um, we, we were only temporary friends because he threw a bottle of suntan lotion at, a, at my fish tank and broke it. So, uh... That sucked. <laughs> and he totally did it on purpose, too. So that, that ended that friendship within like a year. But, um, we, we were friends, he had Final I'm Fantasy trying. VII, he I'm played trying. it on his big screen TV. And the fucking gold saucer theme in, embedded itself into my head on that day. And we played the mini games oh, yeah. and he showed me the, the battles and I just thought it was the coolest, I thought it looked so fucking cool. Having already played Chrono Trigger, I was like, I would probably really like this. The, the money, the currency, Jill, and so I just assumed that it was Jill. Activating so I called it Jill home. for years, until I streamed for the first time Final Fantasy, a, a Final Fantasy game, I don't remember which one, and people were like, uh, are you, are you? I'm still not sure if it's Gil or Jill. Has it ever been determined? GIF or GIF? It's- it's Gil like Gilbert. Okay. So like GIF. You're having a go, mate. It's like, that's it for the monsters. Uh, there's the treasure. Why did he throw something at my fish tank? Oh look, it's Yuffie. Two delivered dreams to her homeland. Three- uh-oh, here she comes. Hi, I'm the treasure princess. Hear me roar. You- you're that weird kid I saw in Wutai. Sucker, I can only guess what you were expecting, you pervert. What? Hey, now, I'm no sucker. I'm certainly not a pervert. My name is Zack. So are you lost? By chance. You want me to take you home? I'm not lost. I'm here to take your treasure. All of it. In the name of Wu Tai's restoration. Har 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 har. It's okay, kid. You can be honest. You're, you're lost, aren't you? I'll explain the fish tank story in, in a bit. I want my treasure. What? The max leveled ones are best to fuse. What did I do? Maybe I should have gone along with her shtick. Who is she, anyway? Wait, so you're saying if I level up... The, um... You're now my ally is my ally. You better start working somewhere in the ravine. There's hidden treasure by Shinra's accounting department. My fish tank that I kept tree frogs in. I didn't have fish. I didn't actually have fish. I had, uh, tree frogs. We kept them in there. And, um... For a few years in a row, during like the, the spring into summer into fall, I had the tree frogs. This this kid came over, and he was a year older than me. 
he got left back, so I thought he was like just the cool. He was the cool. Promoted to back to fifth grade. <laughs> he was so disruptive that he had to end up Activate leaving schools combat. though. He was a real he was a real troublemaker. Um but I you know, he liked a lot of the same stuff I liked, including video games, and that was cool. Later he liked drugs. I didn't like those as much. But I, I had only heard the stories of his capers. But he was just he was just a, a real fucking like de devil child. He was a real bastard. He was just whatever he could destroy at the school, he would do it. He would drop kick vending machines. He, his his purpose in life was to destroy, was to take things down. For some reason I end up becoming friends with this kid. Let's call him Briss, which is definitely not based on another friend name, which might be say Chris, but uh Let's call him Briss. Like, like, um, Brisket. I had a few Troublemaker friends that just were pretty cool with me. Like, we didn't necessarily go out and fucking wreck havoc. I don't know, we, we just play video games and hung out and, uh, we'd ride our bikes and shit. I guess he was starting to get kind of annoying. Like, I, I don't think I was cool enough for him. I think he wanted... I think he wanted more from our friendship. Like, he wanted me to, like, break shit with him. <laughs> That's my assumption. And, um, I remember one time he he purposefully put, he wanted to download an AOL prog onto my computer and he purposely put a, a virus onto my computer, which was then caught by virus scan and, um, I was getting ready to, like, not be friends with this kid, but he apologized, he said it was an accident. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. We hang out again. He finds in my garage a bottle of, like, suntan lotion. He- and my fish tank is in the back of my garage. He winds up like a fucking Major League Baseball pitch, and he throws it with all of his might into the fish tank and then says it was an accident. And that was the last time I ever hung out with him. That's it. That's the story. That's the end of it. Um, he lied to my- my- I remember him lying to my parents, too. Just an accident, bro! The frogs weren't in there. It was empty. The, the fr it was off-season for the frogs. There were no frogs. He ended up getting picked on pretty hard because he, he made so many enemies in our grade, including myself. He ended up having to transfer schools because he had a grade a year younger than him picking on him. No, none of the girls wanted to talk to him. He became known as the dude that would destroy a fish tank. <laughs> What an asshole. Just, I guess just kids are dicks. But that's the problem though, you start out as a dick, as a dick kid, and then you turn into a fucking drug-addled sociopath. I bet he thought he was bullied for no reason. Um, he wasn't really bullied. No one really, like, bullied the guy. He, he just, the kid, sorry, he just... No one talked to him, and people just were, like, calling him an asshole when he was being an asshole. I, we don't choose who we are, we're molded by our world, and then we are. I wish Briss peace. Yeah, this is- this is the age-old debate. Obviously, there's nature over nurture, and all that stuff, and... The idea that, like, at what point, when you're getting older, do you realize... You know, I was a huge- I was a huge asshole. My environment, or my parents, or my friends, turned me into an asshole, and I took the bait. And then you- you change. You know, I'm, I'm a bit of an optimist. I do believe people can change. I'm cynical to the extent that I know that... Wh where am I going? What, the invisible wall game is fucking strong in Crisis Core. It's like that one Tame Impaler song. Yes, I'm changing. <laughs> Would I say memes have formed me as a person? They've helped. They've definitely helped. They've contributed. Kids are growing up a meme culture these days. I know. It, it's, um... You know when, when people are like... These damn kids. You never think you're gonna get to that point. And I'm so entrenched in the world of- of internet culture that it doesn't seem too weird for me, but I'm also- I- I choose to be an act- like an observer for the most part, too. Like, you know, I'm not- I'm not like going around my daily life memeing, you know, my- when my friends come over, we're not memeing on each other and shit. It's just something that's there, I'm aware of it. Probably a little too aware of it. You know, it's it is what it is. But there there are, you're right, there are kids being brought up on memes. <laughs> the memes are the babysitter for the parents. And I just um not to sound like these damn kids and their damn memes. 
But seriously, I'm, I'm wondering what that's gonna be like as we get even older. Late game crisis core is just costly punch. How do you get costly punch? Yeah, just keep taking my goddamn shit. I seem to remember costly punch being great. Fucking Yuffie and, and her shit posting. Cool noise. Thanks. Let's do one more mission. Shimuri, that, uh, or Shimurai, whatever your name is. That's, that's one of the reasons why I like streaming late. Chat is generally pretty readable and helpful around this time. I mean, there's always times where it's gonna be shit. But it depends on the game, too. Like, this is, um, this is a game that kinda, I mean, look what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm fucking going through menus and killing the same enemies over and over again. I, I mean, not a whole lot of exciting stuff is happening. During the totally accurate battle simulator stream earlier that I did, the chat was going a little crazy. And that was much harder to read, of course. Have I ever done a 24-hour stream? No. I think my longest stream was like eight hours. I, I couldn't do 24 hours. I, I, you know, never say never. You know, may maybe at some point in the future, it could be like for a charity or something, but I, I really... Man. Man, that would suck. Activating combat mode. Uh, no. Nope. No, I don't want this combat. This is bad combat. And yeah, I see why, why these missions are now labeled as hard. Because these enemies take fucking forever to kill. Yeah, I don't remember doing all this to get costly punch last time. Do you take a nap during a 24-hour stream? I, pretty sure Fred and Rev both did a 24-hour stream. And uh, I don't think they napped. They just, they just kept going. It is po like it is humanly possible to be awake for 24 hours. It's not fun. Look at him, he's too cool to react. He's, he's only cool enough to die. I think I'm gonna stop now, actually. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done. It's pretty... pretty late, and uh, I'm ready to stop. But I, I definitely will do more Crisis Core. Like I said, and I keep saying this, I want to do more of the story than, than the, the grinding. I definitely don't want to farm, but I, I really want that fucking costly punch, because that, that is amazing. So there's a porn bot in the chat, I think. I'm not sure if the porn bot was banned. Gort saw my pussy in my sight. Look profile now. It's a pretty good pitch. Who's Gort? Why do, why do I care? Was not banned. All right. Like you've been there. I have it. But there's a reactor there, right? And welcome to the super early stream. Here early in, in the AM, 1.43 AM Eastern. You may remember this as Black Hair Cloud's adventure in becoming a real boy. Oh wait, that's Pinocchio. This is something different. Well, before we... I don't really even know where we are in the story, but here it is again. For people that have actually played this in the past, maybe you know about this, maybe you didn't. But you'll notice that my HP is much higher this time than it was last time. I have an HP up plus 210%. So that's pretty insane. I kind of formulated, based on a guide, I was able to then formulate my own strategy. So you go into this mission right here. What's this? Okay, so I go like this. Wait a minute, that's not how that works. Kill me. Okay, good. We need to analyze why Zack's face doesn't look like Zack's face in this image. So I'm going to spend two hours explaining this to you. It kind of looks like Squall had like a weird kid with Laguna from Final Fantasy VIII. I don't like it. It's very strange. And you'll notice now I have like 5,000... 572 health, which is way more health. So there you go. I am now cheap, Zach. Getting costly punched this early is is very difficult. If you have any personal errands, uh, okay. So let's do costly punch. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer because the missions are just getting really hard. Is this my dude, my Kuncel? No. Director Lazard seems down in the dumps since the attack. With Genesis behind the incident, he's taking the heat from the security department. <laughs> don't cheat. Don't report me to Twitch for cheating on stream. I swear it's legit. It's allowed. Could you imagine? 
like, if you use Game Genie on Twitch, they would ban you so quick. So quick. Sephiroth's whereabouts. You were complaining about not being able to get in touch with Sephiroth. He's in the data room. Looks like he's going through all the research papers. A series of experiments called Project G. Hmm. As well as other experiments conducted around the same time. But Project G took place over 20 years ago. And Hollander has already taken or has taken some of that data with him. I even hear that the really important data isn't even here, but hidden away in some other place. Shinra Mansion, anyone? I don't know if anyone is ever going to understand the full scope of those experiments. Project G-Spot is to teach the soldiers how to really please. This is not that project. This is Project G as in, like, David Bowie, the director, is going to tell everyone how to become a real G, a hard nard, the hard ward G. Hello there, Zach. Hello there, Zach. Did you want to talk to me about something? No, not really. I'm sorry, but I'm rather tied up at the moment. <laughs> the attacks on our building have created far too many issues I must attend to. The security department, department is hounding me because Genesis, a soldier deserter, led the attack. I know who he is. Sounds like a hassle. Security is busy getting ready to annihilate both Angeal and Genesis. Annihilate, not murder, not... Eliminate, not kill. Annihilate. Wait a minute. You do know that Angeal was in the battle trying to protect the Shinra building. He's still a risk factor. At least that's how the company views him. I can't believe what I'm hearing. If that's the way things have to be around here, I'm leaving the company. There's always a high price to pay for freedom. Have you ever thought that, Director? Have you ever wanted to leave the company? Never. Not once. Wow. Bravo. I guess that's why you're our... When you're trying to realize a truly worthy goal, obstacles and difficulties don't amount to anything. What sort of goal are you talking about? Never mind. That's enough chit-chat for now. I must get back to work. Now let us engage in some shit chat. Tell me, what's the largest loaf you've pinched? Did you take a picture of it with your cell phone and send it to your friends? If so, that is a bannable offense and you're out of soldier. I went to, um, I made the mistake of going to a mall today. I'll tell you a little bit about that experience. I forgot today was Labor Day. Also, um, well it was Labor Day. I, I have a Labor Day song that, um, we improved at, at my old... TV job uh, on a show. It's the Labor Day song. I'll show you maybe later. Hey, girl. Oh, Labor Day. Jersey Gardens, if anyone knows what that is. Never have I thought to myself, like, I was, I, I was vomiting internally. It was like a zoo. It was just a disgusting zoo. And people were, like, cutthroat about parking. Oh, don't forget about the flower cart. Okay, let me go do that, actually. I have to go do flowers. Aerith wants me to build flower cart with her, so I'm gonna go do that. I saw a, a very interesting parking strategy, okay? Check this out. The car in front of me went too far to get a spot. I guess he let his girlfriend out of the car, and the girlfriend came, and I was waiting on the spot for, like, maybe a good 15, 20 seconds, so not that long. But the girlfriend goes and talks to the people who were getting in their car to leave because it was that packed like no one could find spots and the girlfriend talked to them and I was and I was like Are, can I get in they're like no no and so I lost my spot it was crazy and they were like they just were I guess they they had reserved a spot I didn't know you could do that I didn't know. And now I know that's a strategy I'll have to have a, a person with me at all times to reserve spots by speaking to the appropriate people. So that was cool. Um, that was only part one of the uh, experience. I've had, I had kids running into my crotch at full speed, you know, and adults too. Well, not my crotch, because they're not crotch sized, but it was, it was rather disturbing just to see like people behave like animals because I guess there was Labor Day sales 
And, um, the mall sucks, by the way. It was absolute garbage. And there was nothing there for me that I wanted. Maybe buy a shirt or two, but I didn't really find anything. It was just too packed. And, um, just a lot of screaming kids. And a lot of, a lot of coughing. So yeah, it was absolutely... Just, I wouldn't recommend going to a mall on the holidays. Uh, you know, I'm glad I had this experience. A cheeseburger. Like, they were just walking through the mall eating, like, a gross... Like, like, greasy cheeseburger. I was like, well, you gotta, you know, you gotta save time. You know, just, just walk around eating a cheeseburger. Like, it was like a double cheeseburger, too. What mall was it? Jersey Gardens? That was you? Oh, what's up? Oh, hey, Donna Cooney. What's up? Holy shit. You know about- you know about Jersey Gardens, I'm assuming. Being of the Jersey resident variety. To the slums. Analysis of the Midgar attacks. The recent attacks came in two stages. The first stage was an attack on headquarters in the entire Midgar region. Our forces were dispersed to respond to these initial attacks. The second stage consisted of additional attacks on the headquarters as we attempted to recover. Although the damage dealt was costly, its overall impact on company operations is minimal. Heidegger. Hi, yes, I'd like to buy a ticket to the slums, please. What is what is this? Where the fuck did you come from? Angeal, where have you been? Apologies, but I'm a busy man. I'll just voice it like he did. Yeah, whatever. I haven't been able to contact Sephiroth either. Has something happened? Not really, he's just been holed up in the data room, reading old reports and such. Let's see. Hey, now where are you off to? I just don't know with you these days. These days? Genesis. Genesis and Hollander are in Modeohim. You came to tell me that? Are you actually working? I'm still a soldier at heart, I suppose. I've informed Lazard as well. They'll come pick you up soon. But how does the wing support all of his weight? How does he not, like, spiral? Hello, Zach. Why- how are people getting my inbox? Is this is just like my real life. Just random people... ...emailing me. Just to tell me what they ate for lunch. That's true, by the way. I do get people that just like to... ...like, tell me what they ate for lunch. That's it. I'm Lugzier. Soldier second class. We just met on the second- on the floor... ...of Soldier. I'm the one who told you about Sephiroth. I wanted to say that I have a lot of respect for you. Your strength and spirit comes through in the way that you never seem to lose your smile. And that's why I want to assist you in any way that I can. Since you're always on the go, I thought you might be like to be filled in the goings on in Midgar. Zack, I need you in Modeoheim. I know. Just give me a minute. Aerith isn't there. <sighs> Problem? And how is it you know Aerith? It's complicated. What did you eat for really? lunch today, Song? Did she tell you anything? Not a thing. Then... I won't do that. Hmm... Well... Whatever, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Best delivery. I feel like for- for a good chunk... Like, 50% of the Final Fantasy VII character cast, they just chose the most monotone voice actors they could. Oh, wow. So, I guess that was a budgetary constraint right there. We went from Midgar <sighs> to Ice Place, well, Modeoheim. So fine. How do you do? Immediately crashed. I didn't skip anything, by the way. That's actually how the game progresses. Song. Hey, guys! Well, some of the characters have decent voice acting, I, I, I feel. But no some of them are out here. just very, very monotone. And Jill comes to mind. Except for when he said, What well, do angels live for? Or whatever he said. One piece. We'll be all right. Thankfully, we have someone used to this kind of terrain. Yeah, yeah. I'm a country boy. All right, then. We would have reached Modeoheim by now if we hadn't crashed. 
Fortunate so, everyone's we're going fine. to need to make up for lost time. Even cracking jokes about it. All right, follow me then. Is the pilot dead? Who's who's piloting that? Also, there's a famous scene coming up very soon. You guys will enjoy it. So this is um this is fine. Just traversing ice mountains. Activating combat mode. And fighting. <laughs> what are these things? They're like fucking ostrich things. So here's a town up in the fucking Himalayas. <coughs> Probably the most inhospitable place in all of this world. Aside from where the gold Yo, saucer is. Don't fall too far behind. At least someone's keeping up. Here you go, everyone. Well, Famous I'm a scene. Country boy too. From where? Nibelheim. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Me? Gungaga What's so funny about that? You know Gungaga? No, but it's such a backwater name. You know Nibelheim. Like you've been there. I haven't. But there's a reactor there, right? You know what they say. A Mako reactor outside Midgar usually means nothing, nothing else out, out there. there. <laughs> Good news, Song! Me and... Cloud. Me and Cloud here are both backwater experts. Why, why is the oh, mountain... Yeah. like... glitched? Good. Why can't... <laughs> on, why can I see through the mountain? The mountain just got cut in half. There's nothing else. I'm assuming because I'm playing this on a perfectly 100% legit do not steal, do not infringe arena PSP. That that's happening. Or it was an overhang. Oh, it was an it was an arch. Now I thought that that it was just a glitched mountain. Would anyone have really been surprised? So anyway, that's everyone's favorite edgelord, Cloud. From before he was an edgelord, we now finally form a relationship. He who is named after... after the weather. It's still a really stupid name. I mean, we're used to it. Oh, because his memory's cloudy, I get it. Why not just call him, like, Tim, and just give him a cloudy memory? Why does his name have to be cl Like, is there not another name for, like, a character that has a cloudy memory? Maybe something in, like, French? Or in, like, ancient, like, Spartan? <laughs> Like Clogus. Uh, I'm used to it now. I don't mind Cloud so much. It's it's kind of it's almost actually a little endearing. <laughs> for ghetto, someone in chat just said. <laughs> I like that. For ghetto or Clyde. Hang on, let me see some of these names. Purdue, Dinglebob, Lightning. Hey Zach, uh hmm? Um, what's it like to be in soldier? I don't quite get the question. Um Well, once you join, you'll know what it's like. If I can join, that is. Hey, don't sweat it. If I can do it, you can too. Amnesio. Actually, I mean, this is Cloud before Final Fantasy VII, right? So you get to see what he's like before. I really don't like what they did with Cloud in Advent Children. I think he gets a lot of shit for being an edgelord, but the circumstances, we, you know, I streamed the game last year. The circumstances kind of make sense, and he's not that edgy. He's actually a pretty okay character most of the time, I feel. I know the translation got a little screwed up, so I don't even really know the full extent of it. But in Advent Children, holy fuck, that's a Mako excavation site. I'll go check it out. Our primary objective is to investigate Modeoheim. We can't afford to lose people here. At the same time, we can't ignore the activities of the Genesis army. Therefore... Infiltrate while avoiding combat, right? Exactly. You're all just, like, heighten everyone's voices. There's an entrance at the back of that warehouse. Once you're inside the facility, you can do as you like. You got it! I'll prove that Soldier isn't all about muscle and brawn! You watch carefully too, Cloud! In this blizzard, you're going to have to watch your body temperature. If you stand still for too long, your temperature will decrease rapidly. You get your body temperature back up and do your usual thing. My usual thing, huh? Yeah, I get it. Fucking Sonic Zack is OC, but I like it. It's almost- it should be legit. Oh yeah, the usual thing is just Zack doing squats. 
How does Zack keep his sword on his back? Rare earth magnets. Here's some instructions on how to perform a squat. <laughs> when it drops to 26, you will become numb and unable to move. I've become so numb! If enemies detect you, they can- well, I mean, Linkin Park is the Final Fantasy VII of video- of music. I don't even know what that means, actually. Immediately boned. All I did was turn a fucking corner. Someone give me a cardboard box. Oh, these motherfuckers take a treasure chest away each time I get caught. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. I don't really like this part of the game very much. I can't look around while I'm squatting. I'm a dude with a, with a fucking medieval sword. Fighting guys with machine guns. This is fine. You think they would give the people in Soldier... ...like a sidearm of some sort? As far as I'm concerned, I'm done here. I don't even fucking give a shit. That was the whole infiltration segment. I mean, the rest of it was a side quest to get the items, but I don't really give a shit. I lost them anyway. <laughs> what? The power of soldier. Meteor shots. This is Cloud's ability. The power of meteors. Even though nothing we've seen so far of Cloud indicates that he has this power. Fortunately, squats are no longer available. How about let's not have Kate Sith here and say we did? Oh no, what a shame. We didn't get Kate Sith. I'm sorry, Cat She. Cat shit. What's the meaning of this? You need me, Genesis. Remember that. If you get rid of me, who's going to stop the degradation? So this degradation just affects the his outfit. Cells. It makes his red leather turn into like, <clears throat> like scales. Stop! Cloud, good work. He was useful, almost. But nobody knows where the Genova cells are being kept. Not even Hojo knows. You'll never find it. Then I shall willingly accept my fate. But I'll take the world with me. He's got grayscale from Game of Thrones. Cloud, go! It's a generic techno metal now. Yeah. Can you two just kiss already, please? The sexual tension is so palpable. Activating combat mode. Already? Howl in terror. Shinra lapdogs. All right, it's a good, good move, dude. I need MP. Yeah, this this dude got me. He stole my MP, the motherfucker. Okay, there's there's actually a little bit of stuff happening here in this fight. All of my crazy amounts of of HP that I have can't, can't save me from this. No! Excuse me, that was a sneeze. <laughs> that was a sneeze mixed with words, and it just didn't it didn't work out so great. You know Thundara? So yeah, that Gungaga thing, someone made a video like six years ago, and it was on our old autopilot. Famous video about knowing Gungaga. Stop with your black leather and red leather and leather club two blocks down bullshit, dude. Wow, Cure is not working all that well on me. He's got some- he put a spell on me of some kind. I gotta buy more remedies. Wow. Well, there goes my revive. Oh, come on, really? You mean to tell me I died before I killed him? Dreams of the morrow hath the shattered soul. Of course, bad poetry next. 
Pride is lost. I mean, good poetry. That's what I mean. The end is nigh. Well, this dude could have been like on Broadway. Such is the fate of a monster. We're not monsters, you hear me? We're soldier. You hear me? Where's your honor? <laughs> Genesis Even moves, the sound of leather stretching is barren of promises is heard. Nothing shall forestall my return. If this world seeks my destruction. <laughs> It goes with me. All we hear is Radio Gun Gaga, Radio Gun Goo Goo, Radio Gun Gaga. Genesis. Wait, so he's dead now? Okay, goodbye. But he's got a wing. So he could, I mean, he could fly out of there. I've seen, I've seen these characters do crazier things. So I'm not convinced he's dead yet. And no, I don't re remember very much of this game. Song. Mm, Cloud's gone too. Hmm? I guess this is the way to Modeoheim. Well now Zack, being a member of the Red Leather fan club, only he knows the truth of Dren Drenesis' true fate. He's got pictures of him on his wall. Snowy village. So you're in Modeoheim, eh? That near Icicle Inn, the permafrost area. It must be freezing cold out there. That area was once a candidate for Mako excavation when it was abuzz with construction workers and scientists around the Shinra facility. But after the plans for a Mako reactor were canned, the village was deserted. That is, until reports of disturbing ap activity started popping up recently. The seclusion and harshness of the environment must make it a convenient location for anti-Shinra groups. It's Mako as far as I'm concerned. Activity it just sounds combat. better. Gif, Jif, Mako, Mako. Activating combat mode. Oh, come on! We just got out of a fight with birds! Or, as Aerith once famously said, Dilly Dally Shilly Shally. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that was Tifa. I apologize. I got my, my characters wrong. Tifa said that. What a great quote that is. What kind of combat is this? It, it's almost action-based. It's turn-based mixed with action. It's, um, almost Kingdom Hearts to some extent, but a little bit more turn-based. It just looks like it's an action RPG, but it's more turn-based RPG. Shinra's Shadows. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. Shinra's rapid growth has given birth to distortions in many parts of the world. Didn't we see this? They're Shinra's Shadows. Dark entities that the President and Vice President must confront. That, in turn, may define us as victims of Shinra Shadows. However, we as employees of Shinra Company must act with accountability, and I trust that you will do just that, even without my leadership. Good luck and thank you. Yeah, this area looks pretty nice. This game does have good graphics. I'd say this is one of the prettiest looking PSP games I've ever seen. Voicemail messages on a payphone. Okay. You have 23 new messages. Message one. Are you guys closed? I'll try back another time then. Message two. Uh, yeah, party of eight for tomorrow. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's their voicemail. Message three. My stomach's twisted in knots ever since I had those drinks at your place. I see you in court! I think I left my bag at your place. I is it in the lost and found? Eh, <laughs> too close. You're not out of business, are you? Can I reserve some front row seats? It's closed. What's the point of this, exactly? It turns out you get the best sword in the game if you just listen to all of those voicemails. The final voicemail. The General. That's right, the General from Midgar. Who helps you revive Eris. You save the sick guy. He tells you where to find the best sword in the game. So I'll tell you the story of the General once again. While well, I do this, because I, I actually didn't mean to quit out of this. So the General was a rumor. There were lots of fun rumors back in the early, uh, in the late 90s. 
like for example, how to get the Triforce in Zelda, Ocarina of Time, um, how to play as Luigi in Mario 64, the Ice Key in Banjo-Kazooie. In Final Fantasy VII, the big rumors were how to revive Aerith, or Eris. And um, I remember there was this one really elaborate rumor about getting the key back to Midgar. And then going back into Midgar, and, and finding a dude named the General. Yeah, then the General, like, you had to kind of heal the sick guy, and then you would see a ghost in the church, and then it would turn into this, like, quest where you had to find, you had to dig up another thing. Like, at, at Fossil Rue, or whatever the fuck it was called, like, that fossil place. And then, yeah, and then, like, you would do all this crazy, like, outlandish shit, and then you would revive Eris. The problem is, the main character of this, this rumor, of this story, of this, this, these instructions, the general, did not exist. He was fake. So that kind of put a damper on the whole process. You know, however, had the general existed, then it would have been fine. Did you guys... <laughs> did you ever hear the story about how they put the full game on the demo disc? There were, <laughs> there were rumors back in, in, uh, like, I guess seventh and eighth grade, when I was in seventh and eighth grade, there were rumors that every now and then you would get a demo disc. Yeah, there, there's Kate Sith, everyone. Yay! You get three whole claps. Oh, well, I gave him four. That was a pity clap. Yeah, there was, um, I, I'm pretty sure it was like, oh, my brother's friend's brother's cousin got the whole Crash Bandicoot game on the demo disc. They fucked up. They made a mistake. Then they put the whole game on the disc. Unrelated screenshot of said game that you're playing already. My uncle works for Sony and he said that one out of every 10,000 demo discs has the full games on them. Did you know that Final Fantasy VIII on the demo disc, that the whole game is on there, you just have to unlock it with a code? And I'm not making this up either, they're like, er people believed everything. I just got a Cura. Even though I, I just made a Cura. An Angeal monster. Is the real Angeal here too? Oh, oh, this is interesting. Someone in chat just said, Monkey said, there was actually some action RPG game they played at GDQ. That was a demo disc version where they bypassed the end of demo trigger and the rest of the game is, in fact, in there. That was a real thing. Sometimes it was easier to put the whole game in and lock than to make the demo from the ground up. But then you'd have to figure out a way to to bypass them. You, you know what I mean? You'd have to figure out a way to bypass the, the lock, the lock mechanism. Which, I mean, if you're a kid in the late 90s, you, you don't know how to actually do that. Also, the Applebee's establishment is a very confusing establishment. I don't know if I want to run away or fuck it. Because I'm allergic to apples and it's hip to fuck bees and all that. Do you get it now? Whoa, do you get it now? If I get, like, the closer I get to the microphone, the higher the chance that I will bust through your computer screen and your and your speakers and headphones and I will, I will be in the same room as you. This is not something you want, trust me. Hey! Eh. Yeah. Cloud, talk to me! We're, we're alright. Song! Song! Down that way, you have to catch Hollander. Jill is waiting for you. Activating combat mode. Oh, come on, don't no more doggos. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. it's me. Oh, yeah. Which Final Fantasy 7 spin-off game haven't I played? This, I've played Vincent Valentine game and I uh, that's it. So what did I miss? I missed the cell phone game or something, right? Where you play as the Turks. Dissidia? That doesn't really count. That's a, just a Final Fantasy game in general. I've already streamed Dirge of Cerberus, so I'm not, I'm not playing through that game again. I streamed it years ago. See, voice. <clears throat> my voice, man. 
This sucks. As someone who broadcasts, you know, it's the last thing you want voice cracks at the age of 31. It's a good thing I kind of don't give a shit. I can get over it. <laughs> I can get over it even though it keeps happening. I can get over it. It just takes me like, like 15 seconds and then I'm over it. Crack compilation. Edited by ComJ. So where the fuck do I insert this thing? I, I have a, a valve that I could use to turn that steam off. Blade up! Blade up! Sorry, that was a request. The steam has stopped. Just doing my vocal exercises. Swarming up everyone. Don't mind me, just swarming up. Just doing the Freddy- it just, if you'd repeat after me, that would be great. Just go, uh, dee-do-dee-do-dee-do. Freddy- Freddy bless. Freddy bless. It's Freddy's birthday? Are you serious? No, it's not- is it Freddy Mercury's birthday? What? No shit. People are saying it was his birthday. How did I not know this? It was the fifth. Oh man, so it was- it was... A few hours ago, it was Freddy Mercury's birthday. He would have been, what, like, 70? I actually did not know that. Wow, when you type Fred, F-R-E-D-D, -D, in Google, your first results, like the, the first suggested result is Freddy Fazbear. Sorry, Fazbear. Followed by Freddy Prince Jr., and then Freddy Mercury, and then Freddy Krueger. And then Freddy Fazbear Pizza. We need to fix this. Freddy Mercury needs to be on the top, always. Who's Freddy Prince Jr.? Um, well, Freddy French Jr. is actually pretty cool. He streams, I believe. He is the voice of... Kanan in, um, Star Wars Rebels. And he's a big Star Wars fan, very protective of the legacy. He streams on Twitch, and... Yeah, he's, he's a cool dude, actually. I, I was, uh... I would love to talk to him one day about streaming and games and, and his work on Star Wars, actually. That was something I considered doing. But he was like a teen, not a teen heartthrob, but he was like in a lot of, like I think a lot of rom-coms back in the 90s, if, if I'm not mistaken. And he played Fred and Scooby-Doo, that's right, that's right, I forgot about that. They were like, the, the producers were like, gosh, we need someone to play Fred. And another producer was like, well, we gotta get someone named Fred. And then the director was like, no, we don't. And then they just shut him up and removed him from the project. Only a Fred could play Fred from... Scooby-Doo. It should have been me. I should have dealt with Genesis. Yeah. Then why'd you send me? To prepare you. For your next fight. Have you lost it? <sighs> Stop it! Someone's waiting for you, no? Someone needs to give Angeal... Don't do this. Some, uh... Electroshock therapy. <laughs> Motherfuckers got problems. Good, We're friends, then we fight. Exact vengeance for our family's suffering. Family? No! My father is dead! <sighs> Fine. Then do it for your mother. My mother's shame made her take her own life. <sighs> shame? How terribly misguided. She should have been proud. Proud that she was the namesake of our experiment. Project G, or should I say, Project Jillian. Whoa! Don't Another evil scientist! <sighs> Jillian, the woman implanted with Genova cells, Genesis, who had her genes mapped onto him during the fetal stage. Yes, Genesis was a failure, I'll admit it. This, this guy's you, voice actor, holy shit. Jill, you were actually bred inside Jillian's body. Body. You, you are perfection. <laughs> I am perfect. A perfect monster. <laughs> My cells can absorb genetic traits and pass them along to others. A two-way conduit. Genova's power has passed on to you completely. Zack, do you remember what I said <laughs> about our enemy being all that creates suffering? Yeah, but you're not one of them. But I created my own suffering. Oh, oh God. Zack, let me show you. 
Stop it! You don't know what you're doing! It's like they, they borrowed a fanfic from 1998 and then just like slightly modified it and then the, the, the director of, of, um, of screenplay and the script was like a six-year-old. Damn! At least one sample! <sighs> it's like, it's fine! I want to play video games now. I would say it's more of a 15-year-old that, that wrote the script. No offense to 15-year-olds out there, but you know. That's when the weight of, of what it means to be alive really starts hitting. And it's like, oh, things suck. And then, then that's when you get a job at Square Enix. But Angel was my friend. Why is he now a monster? I don't like this. Angel, what happened to Honor? It won't speak to you now, Zach. It's a monster mesh. Angel plus like seven monsters equals Angel monster. Don't you know? I am my own worst enemy. <laughs> or, no, 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 what was the line? I am my own monster. This, this Angeal character has really not, not ever felt like believable or much like a person, in my opinion. I mean, we've, we've learned now that he wasn't a person. He was an angel slash monster fella. How many more edges could a trident have? What do, edge, what do tridents dream of? She can remove his shields. You may notice that having a fuckload of HP does not necessarily make the game easier, or does not necessarily speed the game up. Instead, it just means that you use the cure spell a little bit less. I don't have power attack on, on this character right now, so I can't even use power attack. But power attack was never all that amazing. I guess it kind of removes the shield, though. You know, Oni did a really good cartoon about Final Fantasy VII. It was a really funny one. The Pointy Bits, I believe it was called. Or something like that. One thing I like about Oni was... Um, he's not really shy about his love for Final Fantasy VII. I think it became kind of fashionable to hate on Final Fantasy VII after a certain time. Like, I, I still like this world. I still like the, the characters, for the most part. The music, the, you know, just the, just the vibe of Final Fantasy VII still strikes a chord. It's not God's gift to mankind, as some people have made it out to be over the years, but I, I, I don't think it deserves its more recent derision that it gets. But yeah, Oni, he loves it. He, he absolutely loves Final Fantasy VII, and he's not afraid Move to say he does. To me. Hey, Chris, check it, out. it does, Chris. You're right. It does have a special place in gaming history. Love it or hate it. If the Final Fantasy VII Zach, re- oh. yep. You have my thanks. <laughs> Even his clothes are cracking. I wonder if, if the clothes were part of him being cloned. You. <laughs> I don't think laughter was the intended effect of the scene. Protect your honor. Always. But why are his clothes degrading and cracking? Like he didn't- he wasn't shat out wearing those clothes, was he? Are, are they like, bio clothes? Embrace your dreams. If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams. And honor. Oh, 
All right, listen. The uh, timely rain trope that needs to stop happening. The sky is closer in the city above, right? Honor. Honor. Kind of scary, but the flowers might like it. Maybe. <laughs> All those moments will be lost. Tears in rain. Time to die. I liked that trope in Twilight Princess. Oh, I don't remember that. I guess I changed my mind. Whoops. sad moment so let's let's play some let's play what almost sounds a bit like country music but yeah the uh if I liked it in Twilight Princess it was probably done better in Twilight Princess but I don't I don't know I just don't remember I'm a hypocrite what can I say Hypocrite to the core. The crisis core. <laughs> so you want to be in soldier? Hang in there. So, is everybody here now? Sir! You're all rookies, right? Sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> One piece of advice. No. In order. Don't use a sword this big. It's cumbersome, clunky, and it gets everywhere. Oh, wait, that's sand. Never mind. Embrace your dreams. And whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. Got it? Sir! We're all coming back here alive. You hear me? But, um... Let's go. Does this organization have honor? Because they're kind of like murdering the planet for energy. And building like super weapons and, and mutants and monsters and stuff. I, I guess, you know, have honor with it within the scumbag or organization and just like turn a blind eye to all that other stuff. Got it. I apprehended Hollander and Modeo and turned him over to the company. After that, the company put me on standby. That was a while ago now. Shinra is apparently in disarray right now. The Turks are hanging around me every day. They say our vacations overlapped coincidentally. Yeah, right. But none of them ever mentioned Angeal or Genesis, almost as if they'd never existed. Is that how little soldier is worth these days? What do I have left to fight for? What is soldier honor? Well, I could tell you what Klingon honor is. Can you get this ripped just doing squats? Oh, he's skinny ripped. Suntan lotion? No. <clears throat> Never mind that. <clears throat> what is this? Are they putting me out to pasture? You could use some R&R. &R. Even I'm on vacation, bored. this dude's doing squats. I'm calling him. Director Lazard's not in. He's been missing for a while now. It was Lazard who was funding Hollander's research. Final Fantasy VII Beach He's Volleyball when? Money. Are you serious? We're interrogating Hollander, so we should learn more soon. What's wrong with them? Hmm? People. 
What are they all thinking? The truth lies within each person. But even truth seems suspect. Once it leaves their mouths. <laughs> Sisne, go do something. Calling Aerith? How do you know that? Am I being watched? No, she's the one being watched. Huh? That girl is an ancient. The only one left in the world. Is he learning this just you now? You didn't know? She never said anything. The only one left in the world, huh? She is one of a kind. Heads up! Genesis copies! <laughs> what? <laughs> They're in scuba gear? <laughs> <laughs> it's like some shitty James Bond henchman. This umbrella is doing more damage than my sword was before. I was gonna say earlier, like, if the Final go. Fantasy VII remake go, go, go. is really successful and people, like, dig it and it, and it becomes, like, a thing again, and Final Fantasy VII becomes huge again. You know, we're gonna see more spin-offs. Like, Square is a little bit in trouble lately, from what I understand. I, again, don't quote me on that. I don't have good, reliable, researched sources. But my last indication of Square was that they were in a little bit of trouble. I'm assuming the Final Fantasy VII remake thing was like, okay, we need something. We need something. What do we got? What do people want? Scoobs. People in chat have taken to calling them Scoobs. I like that. That's a good nickname. Yeah, could you imagine your vacation cut short because a bunch of dudes, a bunch of dudes in scuba uniforms came up upon the beat on the beach? I like the sound of that. I don't want people in scuba gear ruining my fucking vacation. These guys are still around, but Genesis, maybe Genesis is still around too. When the soul leaves the body, it returns to the life stream. Yeah, and the river of souls that circles our planet. Perhaps Genesis's soul is controlling copies from the life stream. Is this what you're telling me? It was merely a supposition. They needed a better music director for this game, I swear to God. In any case, our vacation- your vacation is over, Zack. Junin is under attack by an unknown force. You're going there with me to investigate. That was quick. This is terrible. Genesis copies here too. They're just running wild. Activating combat mode. Just thrown right into the middle of combat. The umbrella was as powerful as the Buster Sword. So that's how you do it. You give the character the, the strong, cool sword that everyone loves. But before you can use it, you give them an umbrella that has the same attack power. It's not over, is it? We'll begin evacuating the residents. I'm, I'm sorry, I meant- We'll begin evacuating the residents. Zack, you find Hollander and make sure he's kept safe. Making me babysit Hollander? Don't you think I'd be put to better use on the battlefield? Hollander has access to top secret information. The president insists that his safety be priority one. After Director Lazard's sudden disappearance, Soldier's chain of command has been shaky at best. This attack is an attempt to exploit that weakness. Zack, you must protect Hollander. Hollander is currently being held in a detention center on the 8th level of Upper Junin. In other words, follow the linear path to the detention center. You'll be there soon enough if you go straight. A lot. You can use the emergency elevator to go up, but it's at the end of the path. Zack, we're counting on you. Hollander is still being inter interrogated. He can't fall into enemy hands now, understood. I'm gonna hug walls and avoid combat as much as humanly possible. You know, not for nothing, I, I could just do these battles like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to fucking do anything. I'm like too overpowered for most of these battles. I can just fast forward through them. Oh shit. Genesis. No, it's a copy. How do you know that though? There's, there's clones of this guy everywhere. It's almost like they ran out of like character models in the budget. Like they, they couldn't afford different types of enemies. I don't know. No, it's it's story related. I'm an, I'm just being a jerk. There's stories. What? Stole diarrhea? Did I just steal diarrhea? Oh, it's in Trina. Hollander has escaped the detention center. What? They attacked the detention center? 
No, but security was spread thin after the attacks in the city, and he used the opportunity to escape. He found his way to escape on his own. The timing of that attack was just too perfect. It's very possible that Hollander is getting outside help. Which way did he go? Which way did he go, George? Security cameras on the sixth level have a positive identification of Hollander. This just so happens to be on the sixth level. So he should be somewhere ahead. Lower Junin and Upper, Ju upper Junin are connected by a central passageway. To proceed to Upper Junin where Hollander is, open the central passage gate. Thanks. If you can tend to the wounded, it'd be a great help. Where are you getting Drano? Does this game want me to drink Drano? I don't recommend anyone drink Drano. Zach, where are you? Soldier operatives are being sent out because we're getting attacked from all over the place. I'm on a chopper myself on my way to an assignment. You were on vacation, weren't you? Did it get sh cut short? These recent attacks may spell real trouble for us. What's worse, the chain of command is in shambles since Director Lazard suddenly disappeared. Nobody seems to know where anyone is. Activating combat so Genesis has a, a prototype gunblade that would later be seen in Final Fantasy VIII. Chocobo mode! Conflict resolved. Hollander, stop right there. Dirt! Titch! Titch! You're not getting away! Hey, watch it! I'm in a hurry here. Don't get in the way! Let me show you my true strength to fast forward through battles. Stop. Hollander. Humph. So why does Hollander have access to this machine? It looks like a tank from Battlefield 1. Or, or a tank from Peace Walker. It's got a new tank. Damn that Hollander. How did he make this tank while he was in prison? That wascally rabbit. Is this where the general lives inside this tank? Can he help me revive Aerith? I wonder if the voice actors for this game and any Final Fantasy VII project had any fucking idea what they were talking about at any point. Because the dude who just Cloud was in General Hospital. I, I forgot his name. Someone I knew from the public access days actually knew that guy and interviewed him and actually ended up kind of becoming friends with him. Steve Burton. Yeah, that's his name. And I remember wanting to to meet the guy, and it never it never materialized. Incidentally, I wasn't I wasn't surprised. One thing I learned from public access television is that um, people lie a lot. There's always like a big break, a big opportunity, you know, a network that's like just just around the corner that's been eyeing them down. They always know a friend of a friend who has a connection. Like I remember this one dude for five years was telling me and everyone he knew that he had a friend that worked at NBC and was gonna get him a talk show. Five years. Y you learn about these things. You, you, you kind of just learn to agree and nod and say, well, you know, good luck. But most of the time, there's a lot of braggadociousness. Audacious. We've been able to contain the enemy. I couldn't read that. If we lock this door, we can hold the enemy off. We'll move the evacuated residents here for now. Looks like things are going smoothly on your side. I, on the other hand, let Hollander escape. I should get going. We're counting on you. I haven't arrived at my post yet. Could the director's absence... Absence be having this much of an impact on operations? Lack of finesse. By the way, how was the beach? <laughs> Good topic change. You looked awfully stressed before you went out. Did the waves and the sun help you at all? I'll ride a wave, bro. Soldier members are being deployed in response to the simultaneous attacks that have been hitting everywhere. I'm mailing you from the helicopter that's taking me to my assignment. By the way, I just heard about what you told the rookies on your first mission after you changed your hairdo. Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. I was so moved when I heard this. It's been my personal motto since... ever since. I'm following you till the end, Zack. Zack is finally getting fans. He's gonna go back. The Red Leather Club is going to be replaced with, uh, what would Zack's fan club be called, everyone? The Zack Attack? Hey, are you alright? Like, we needed three question marks. Like, we don't know who that is with that feathered chocobo spiky hair. On the helicopter, I get a little nauseous. The Squats. Ah, oh, there you go. The Black Leather Club? Squat Squad. I like that. Squat Squad. A 
few people have said that at the same time, actually, so that's pretty perfect. Hey, you're Cloud. Ah, oh, you remembered me. Of course I remember. Happy to be working with you again. Yeah, although my work is a little dull. What are you talking about? Rescue work is an important task. Anyway, once we're all done, let's go grab a bite to eat. My treat. Really? That would be great. Once I'm feeling better, I'd love to go, but right now... Just thinking about food is making me... Uh, I'm sorry, Zack. Don't worry about it. Hope you feel better. See, there's like a little... little bromance... ...happening. They're... they're... they're getting... That's another word that I'd like... ...to be eaten by Jaws... ...and then diarrhea it out into the ocean. Bromance. However, it's... ...the best word I could've... ...used at that time. Ha. Uh, 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 I'm damaged. Are you sure it's me you should be concerned about? If you don't stop these things, what will become of Junan? Damn you, underhanded snake. You're destroying the gate to attack civilians? I won't let that happen. And Hollander. When I catch him, I'll deck him, but good. You notice how Zack is becoming friends with Cloud? He doesn't really talk to Kuncel a whole lot. Like, I feel really bad for Kuncel, because that was like... You know, he just wanted to be Zack's friend. Zack is saving all of his... his friendship tokens for Cloud. Because that... I'm telling you, it's because that blonde hair. No one else can get their hair even as close to as spiky as his... Well, you know what? No, Zack has some pretty spiky-ass hair. Yeah, but Kuncel has, like, some confidence. The dude provides intel. You know, he's, like, really... He's really up-to-date on all the happenings. Cloud is just a fuck-up who gets seasick. But they're both country boys, so that's that's why they're friends, I guess. Cloud is a kid. How old is Cloud in this? In, in, um... I think he's, like, 21 or 22 in Final Fantasy VII. So he's, like, what, 17, 18 in this? Wait a minute, no, Zack is older than Cloud. I was almost positive. There's no way Zack is 16 years old in this. This is maybe five or six years before Final Fantasy VII. So I guess he's about 16, 17. I have played this before, but years ago, I don't remember all the little details and the dilly-dallies and chilly-shallies and all that. I'm seeing conflicting reports. I'm seeing some people say that Zack was in his... was 21 when this game started. I'm seeing other people saying that Zack was in his mid-teens, or uh, mid-twenties mid to late oh, yeah. 20s by the end of the, you know, by the end of the game. Oh, yeah. So it just feels to me like, like, Zack is, like, a few years older than Cloud. Cloud's probably, like, you know, he's a new cadet, he's inconfident, he's 16, 17 years old, he's still kind of overwhelmed by all this, and Zack, being 21, has a little bit more experience, not just in Soldier, but in life. That's, that's my perception of all this. We need exact ages. Birth dates and social security numbers of all the characters in Final Fantasy VII. I look in chat and, and someone says, Why is Vinny getting attacked by faulty Roombas? As I've once determined, Roombas are very dangerous. A Roomba with scissors on it. That's, that's crazy. I think I said, um, would you rather fight a Roomba with scissors? Or a crab with herpes. Hamster knife fight? I think I have. Yeah, I think I have seen that. It sounds very familiar. Or oh, is a lobster with herpes. Okay. A crab with crabs, a lobster with herpes. What would you what would you rather fight, guys? Would you rather fight um, a Dyson Airblade? <laughs> a Dyson Airplane with anthrax? Or would you rather fight Gyno Rhino? Just remember, you can't necessarily fight anthrax with your fists. However, the Gyno Rhino has weaknesses. It's, it's still flesh and blood like the rest of us, and it has a job to do. Excellent, looks like I got them all. Damn you, Hollander, I won't let you get away with this! Actually, I'm kind of curious. A clam with chlamydia? Oh, fuck that. That's scary. Wouldn't it be nice to fight a rhino with explosive diarrhea? For music purposes, you gotta say diarrhea. You guys are, like, creating, like, STD Mega Man X bosses. Fucking gonorrhea goose, chlamydia clam, tetanus turtle. Turns out Mega Man X is just penicillin. Sepsis snake. I need a good one for a scorpion. Yeah, apparently Zack is 16 at the start of this game. What the fuck? And Cloud is 15. What the hell's going on here? What? Why is this a thing? Hi, Genesis. Show me the true power of soldier. Mind your own business. The 
cringiest thing I've ever done. Oh man, that's a question. And I've told some stories um, in the past, but I'm trying to think of some particularly embarrassing moments. Hollander must be that way. Man, enough is enough. Remember that time you voiced Draggy? That's far enough. <sighs> yeah, that was definitely one of them. Really? You sure? Hey! What is he? This fucking game. Should have known. Mission failed. This goes on your permanent record. Uh, huh? Sephiroth? Long time no see. Let the Turks take care of the rest. I was on my way to Modeoheim, but I heard you were in the area. Lucky me. The situation is not resolved. Genesis copies have been sighted around the world. That Who chose Sephiroth's outfit? We wiped out those Genesis copies. Did Genesis really die? Uh. They've been sighted in Midgar as well. I see. The slums too. My cringiest moment was starting this game. Permission to return. Grant it. Uh, uh, yeah. Take care. You too. So he's actually somewhat personable, Sephiroth. He wasn't always hey, what's an asshole edgelord. The device Hollander was using has been stolen. Genesis? Probably. We'll meet again soon. I'll hold you to that. One of my cringy moments was playing Trolls and Goblins for the first time in, in front of an audience of SVA students. There you go, there's one of them. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface. Quietly, but surely. What a twist. What the song is great, what happened? Well, we, we were... At the time, it was a different band, and we didn't really have songs, so I just scrounged up some random songs that I had, and um, it was basically just me doing that song alone, for the most part, with drums, while my friend went doo da da doo dee doo doo this, this story is all documented, but the audience was expecting some, like, you know, this SVA students, they were expecting something, like, slightly more substantial than some idiots with second-rate hack songs and one about a bunch of trolls and goblins. It was just, it was not a great performance, but the song itself went over like a fucking bag of sinking bricks. It was really, really bad. And we didn't have a bassist. It was just two guitars and a drummer. So that, that was a pretty, pretty rough moment. Didn't put me off to performing though. That that same band, we we did a show, and again it was like we we started. We were like, yeah, let's start jamming, and then within like two weeks, one of the members, I forget who, booked a show, and it was like, well, wait a minute, we don't even know if we work as a band. We didn't. And there was this really bad song that we did on a TV show. The footage is now long gone, but it was just I was like, hey. it was just like I sounded like that when I watched the footage. Hey. I don't even know what that is, but it was it was pretty rough. Thought I felt some kind of presence. Was it just my imagination? It's the general. No, it's actually just Johnny Five. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Zach. <laughs> oh. 
And then geocopy? Uh, the bomb disposal unit is here. Thank you. Was it protecting us? Yeah. Probably. It's a friendly monster. And now it's dead. <gasps> Looks the like rules. it's degrading. Poor the thing. rules of these clones. Very confusing. Does this mean Angela is out there too? It was so, I don't know, sad. What do you come here to do? It's so, a, grapefruit. a flower wagon. Let's make one. Hmm. Yeah, but... Don't worry. Can you hear me? Stay right where you are! I'll... I'll take care of things. So... That flower wagon. Let's do it. Just so many bizarre cutscenes, one after the other. Just, like, something's always slightly unhinged about this game's cutscenes. And, and, like, somewhat <laughs> disjointed at best. <laughs> like, sad dog bird destroying random Shinra turret, followed by Aerith wanting to make a flower cart. And Zack, I guess, talking to the flower- the dog bird? I don't- I don't know. Human face dog bird, man? What? I don't know. Hey, Aerith. Uh, it can, is there a safe point? When the wagon's done, you're gonna go sell flowers above the plate too, right? Yeah, but I'm still a little scared, so... I'm using tilt controls. First, I'll fill the slums full of flowers. Come on, Aerith. When you go above, I'll go with you. There's no need to be scared. Let's get started on that wagon. I'll go gather the materials. Aerith, you wait here. Okay. I guess Soldier is in a state of utter chaos without Director Lazard. It's certainly more than the President can handle. So now he gives us- he now he gives us Turks all the work. Even just the other day, I had to cut my vacation short. Well, that last one I guess you knew all along. That was an assignment. I'm sorry. How are you doing these days? Still smoldering, I bet. Why don't you try the beach again? You need to take a break once in a while if you don't want to put- if you want to put in the quality work. Hmm. I wonder where you might be. Wait, let me guess. You're hanging out with that Aerith girl again, aren't you? I bet you're wondering how I get that information. See, I know everything about you, even if you never tell me anything. In other words, it's no use keeping secrets from me because I know how you get information. So talk to me, Zack. You can tell me anything. Tell me about all the things that are wearing you down. All right, so this is why Zack is friends with Cloud and not Kunzel. Cloud is at least chill. Kunzel has no chill. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Give him a- give him some space. Give him a little bit of room. He needs to breathe. He needs to let his balls air out. At least- again, at least Cloud, like, sure he's vomiting on planes and shit, but at least Cloud is, like, kind of quiet. And he knows about Gungaga. They shared a, a jape on the ridge. Cloud seems like a low-maintenance friend. All the, also, this song. This is a good one. I'd say that's one of the better ones. It's a very sparse arrangement, but it, it works. It's just two instruments. The simple is- is- Usually, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of simple. I don't need complex, long, winding, crazy melodies. I like just kind of straightforward, simple, you know, and, and uh, a nice kind of open. It seems like the whoever composed the, the soundtrack or wh however many people composed the soundtrack for that game. I mean, there's so much just droning nonsense and just a lot of fiddles and craziness. But every now and then there's a nice track like the Midgar or the Shinra building is kind of nice. That's kind of nice. So yeah, there's there's some stuff in there that I like. I, I think that's kind of the game for me on a whole. It's fun to make fun of it. Same way I, I made fun of Final Fantasy VII when I streamed it. I actually do like these games. 
We did a stupid Cut Labor it. Day show. It was so Make stupid. Sure and we're grilling some. Enjoy, enjoy yourselves. And uh, before we so get out. Enjoy, enjoy yourselves. So okay, this is what uh, my friend Paul, who I haven't seen in a while, but we did a yeah, we did a show. This is fucking five years ago now. I can't fucking believe it. But we did a little show, public access, and it was just us with Fruity Juice, and and I think this is where Fruity Juice came from, for the first time ever. And, uh, yeah, his mustache kept falling off, and we just pretended like we were cooking, even though we weren't. We just cut a watermelon in half, and, um, it was awful, but a good awful, I think. And he surprised me when he said that we were going to sing the Labor Day song, because we did not uh, have a Labor Day song. At no point was it agreed upon that we would sing a Labor Day song. So, this is just, uh, me being caught off guard completely but here it is here's the official labor day song and i'll leave you with this happy labor day and um i don't know get some sleep later and uh before we go i think it's time we sing our our traditional labor day song as we leave you guys tonight sure that's right now we do this at every grill party this is called labor day labor day oh labor, labor day. day labor day Cutting some watermelon on Labor Day. And we're grilling some food. On Labor, Labor Day. Day. And we're cooking some meat. Here on Labor, Labor Day. Day. And I'm catching squirrels and putting them on my grill because I'm fruity. On Labor, Labor Day. Day. And what can you do this holiday? Labor, Labor Day. Day. And what else is good for this day? Mustaches. Mustache it Labor rides. Day. And finally, heat up that grill on Labor Day. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great holiday weekend. You sing the song, you do the grill. Good night, everybody. You just got cooked. That's right. What's cooking, everybody? A Mako reactor outside Midgar usually means nothing, nothing else out there. And welcome back to Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. This game is very, very emotional. Did you know that angels don't necessarily have two wings? What was that guy's name? Ajambe? <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? Okay, here we go. So, I think last time I played this, I was commenting about how nice the music was in this church. Also, the visuals look fantastic. I, I just have to comment for a second. The lighting is great. I mean, the polys are low, but this right here is what in some ways separates this game from a lot of other nonsense. You got some really great music in this one part. You got Zack. He's got the buster sword. The church looks beautiful. And then you talk to Aerith, and then it's like... Dilly dally shilly shally. Quality text. You're going to get materials, right? I'll be here tending the flowers. All right, actually, this isn't so bad. <laughs> that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's fine. Yeah, that was Tifa. That's right. I'm just, it's, it's the... Um, so this is happening. Uh, question, did people not get the announcement that I was live today? From that nice piano ballad with all the cool little, like, subtle textures and... You know, it's just a great little song, and then it's like... Okay, you did get it. Alright, cool. Just checking. <laughs> I'm trying to do my animation, and these things are fucking... Knocking me to the ground. A new automated weapon. Mobile weapon. They automatically detect and attack monsters. You're a monster, Zack. Oh god, I am my worst monster. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not the quote. I am my own monster. Arms Development deployed these in Midgar as an anti-genesis copy measure. These new models were able to eliminate most of the copies inside Midgar, apparently. That's pretty impressive. But why the heck was I attacked then? Because they can't tell the difference between soldier operatives and monsters? Currently? No. Well, that's annoying. They'll fix it eventually. By the way, Song, I'm annoyed with you too. You were spying on Aerith again, weren't you? No, I don't- I don't like her. I have to turn my fan on. Activating fan mode. I have like a little silent-ish fan that, uh, 
my, my compressor and my limiter and my volume, uh, my noise gate kind of eliminates, which is great. I'm able to kind of keep that on me. That, that's, that's, coming, that's coming invaluable during the summer months, I can tell you that much. If you want to go play with Aerith, you're welcome to do so. I'm just fulfilling my duties as a Turk. Hey, I'm not playing with Aerith. My, I'm fulfilling my duties as a soldier to protect and... Oh, Mr. Soldier, I heard you were making a flower wagon. I'll help you make it really fancy so you can surprise Aerith. No, no, this isn't what you think. This is for her protect. Hey, Song. I need four things. I need tools, wood, tires, and instructions. <laughs> what? If you need instructions to build a flower wagon, look around Shinra Building Sector 8 and Sector 5 slums for items. Perfectly useful stuff just lying around here. Like pylons and beams and aids. What's this on the ground? I should take a closer look. It'll be a scorpion. Now, why would a Shinra mask be here? Wait a minute. Cloud could be under the ground. Of course, I'm in the slums after all. Why does Zack care about Cloud? They met like once. Or twice. Oh, wait, now you know what? They have a bond because they're from Bumpkin Towns. Remember Gungaga? T S E N G. I don't know anyone named T S E N G. That's weird. It was on that day we learned that Zack was illiterate. Obtained tools times one. One times tools. Oh, it said could. I thought it said cloud. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I thought, could it be cloud under there? I was like, wait a minute. Why would cloud be under the rubble? It seems like there's all kinds of shit just lying around anyway. But most of this stuff fell from the upper pizza plate. You know, it, it fell a long way. That counts as wood, right? That's a crate. Personnel announcement. This is an official notification of the change in status for the following personnel. Lazard... Whatever. Director of Soldier. Killed in action. Hollander, Science Department. Killed in action. So, wait a minute. I don't remember what happened. Wasn't Lazard just missing? What's Barrett up to? He's forming... Wait, what, what is Barrett up to? Isn't he in the coal mines right now? Over in Coral? Coral! He was missing. Could be a cover-up. Uh, yeah, Barrett's... He's, he's, he's got his arm. And, um, scary monsters. I heard, uh, she said scary monsters. Super creeps. I'm a carpenter living in the Sector 7 slums. I'm here in Sector 5 to buy some materials so I can give you some of my wood. Really, that would be great. Yeah, just, uh, <clears throat> just put on this blindfold and come to the corner with me for a sec. But on one condition, I'm building um, a bar in the Sector 7 slums. I want you to come up with a name for it. I've been racking my brain for some time, but I can't seem to come up with anything hip. A piece of paradise in Sector 7. Mm, it's simple, and it's a nice concept. Yes, I can picture it. Maybe there'll be a young girl tending the bar. That sounds good. Yes. With a big bosom and long legs. Just a killer figure. Her, her! That's Tifa. Yeah, now you're talking! And underneath the bar is a secret room, an underground hideout. Now that's a perfect slums bar. Would make a perfect base for an anti-Shinra group. Kind of work for Shinra's soldier, in fact. Anyway, I like the name. I'm getting all sorts of visuals from it. Thanks, sport. I'll give you some of my wood, as promised. Just talking about Tifa, that's all. Just take me to Cat Slide. Take me to the Cat Slide. You got an email from your friend. Falling apart. Those copies Hollander made that attacked Shinra. Did you know that Director Lazard financed Hollander with the money he embezzled from the company? Seems revenge against the company was his motivation for both of them. Kunsel's gonna be the ultimate enemy. He's going to be the man- the enemies- the enemy of mankind at some point during this game. I- I- I can feel it, even though I've played this game already. It's gonna happen this time. I swear. I can understand Hollander wanting revenge, but why would Lazard climb up the ladder when he was still young? He was always a decent guy. What could he have had against the company? I do remember him writing about ill blood in one of his mails. Speaking of climbing up, the president's son already made vice president. Lazard was after the VP chair. Zach, where are you? Have you heard that Director Lazard passed away? He was such a good man. May he rest in peace. I wonder what's to become of Soldier's chain of command. I'm actually a little worried about the future. Who do you think I should follow? I think you. With your sunny disposition, with the main and 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 would be the man to look up to for leadership in these uncertain times. I'll follow you to the end, Zach. <laughs> Jeff said, when I hear Lizard, I just imagine lizard people. Alex Jones is always talking about. Does he talk about lizard people? Is he really on about lizards? I told you it's the lizards! I try to avoid Alex Jones at all costs because the dude's voice gives me... He, he, his voice gives me high blood pressure. Alex Jones has been talking about how water is turning frogs gay, says a member of the chat just now. 
Okay. Yeah, I've heard a lot about lizard people. I've done some research. Mike will tell you. I know all about them lizards. I do. I know I know their chain of command. I know where they come from. I but I also have decided that in my, you know, in my twilight years <laughs> where I am now, that I'd much rather I'd much rather um pay pay attention to Star Trek races and where they come from. Like I know all about the Cardassians and the Bajorans and I know all about the um I know all about the uh the Andorians. I like Andorians. Those guys are fun. They're blue. Ralph Pluton's blue. They're like brethren. But I am in fact a lizard and I'm, I'm a lizard apologist. I'm just covering it all up. I just wanted you to know that. Enjoy. I like this music. Little, little remix. Space development report. Shinra fully plans to establish the rocket engine as the next step in industrial development. Manned rocket Shinra number 26 is in full production with a projected launch within a few years. The proposed model for Shinra 26 is on display in the exhibit room in the Shinra building. Development is proceeding steadily and our pilot Sid Highwind has begun training. What a coincidence that I get that email just as I uh, check out this rocket over here. Sid has supposedly begun training already, but it should have been me in the cockpit. Shinra took away my dreams of going to space. I'm never going to forgive them for that. This dude has a deep rich backstory. We need to focus on him on before Crisis Core, the pre-prequel focusing on when you play as Angeal. And then then before that, it'll be Angeal's father. So you can see it's just the history of the Buster Sword forever and ever, pooping back and forth. Each time they make another Crisis game, it'll just be like where the sword came from. And then you'll you'll go back so far that you find out the ancients built the sword. That's going to be that's going to be fucking weird. There's a game called Before Crisis where you play as Cisne. Someone in chat before, I, I read the message, but I didn't read it out loud. It was like, you, we've lost the gameplay. Vinny, it's your mission to find the gameplay. A rare beast in chat says, Vinny, I've missed some of your Crisis Core streams. Can you answer a question for me? Why male models? Are you kidding? I just told you that. Also, look at how much damage this motherfucker takes. All this to get costly punch. I'm beginning to wonder if it's worth it. Anything goes, dude! Will they get him to do the voice of Sonic in the new game? There's a new Sonic game coming out. What? What's what's it called? So we did Sonic Boom, we did Sonic Colors. Do we do Sonic, Sonic Splash? Sonic Color Splash. Activating combat mode. Sonic Federation Force. What's next for the green? The green... <laughs> for these blue, I don't know why I said he was green. Sonic Mania, Sonic Survive. No Sonic Sky. I don't know who to believe. I don't know what to believe. Activate Sonic... Sonic Scrogue? I like that one. Sonic Spinball too. You laugh, but Sonic Spinball was the only Sonic game I ever owned as a kid. I had a Game Gear. I had Sonic Spinball. I, f I enjoyed that game. I really did. It was just too fucking hard for my babby brain. I couldn't figure it out. It was... it was so hard. I had Sonic Spinball, and I had, um... Sonic... No, I was... I was like, you know, I played it. A lot, but my Game Gear kept dying before I could get to the next part. So that was a thing. I loved the one hour battery life. I had to like, plug the goddamn thing in. And not be able to wander with my handheld system. That I wanted to walk around with. So I didn't. I also had a Ren and Stimpy game where you threw toothbrushes. And that game was, was garbage. But yeah, I, you know, ultimately the Game Gear was not for me and I ended up selling it. I'm telling you, Sonic Scrogue. Great game. We'll be out in the next in the next few years. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You can I'm run. Right Look, he's turning into a ball. He is the, the <laughs> he's gonna turn into the blue ball that Sonic turns into. Cure yourself. I thought this fight would have been over very very quickly since this is considered a medium difficulty mission. But since it's not, I guess I'll remedy myself. Kind of pirates? What do you think? <laughs> Ask pirates! Come on! I mean, it's, we could do e everything pirates could do. We can get scurvy together on on the uh, the open oceans. Come on, search search your feelings. You know it, it's going to be awesome. Do I care about missable missions? No, I don't. Welcome back, Zach. Looks like you got everything. Let's start making the flower wagon then. Used tools. It's looking really good. The perf the materials are perfectly matched. Cloud blart, crisis blart. Hmm. <laughs> Not quite. 
what I expected. Really? I think it's fine. It's all about the flowers anyway. I want a nicer one. Stop being so picky. A tiny little wish. That's all. They're tiny, but you have lots, right? That's right. Wanna hear? How many you got? Hmm... Twenty-three? Write them down, so I don't forget. Mm. I kind of feel like there that's slightly out of character for Aerith to down. complain about the, the cart. She always seemed like the type of character that would be content with anything. Sadly. Here. Mm. Legions of monsters have spawned near a regional Mako reactor. The workers have all gone missing. Local soldier operatives have also vanished. The company is dispatching additional operatives to investigate the matter. There he is, though. Look you at and that. I, that is. That outfit, Roger that. that hair, that face, that voice. What's wrong? Well, you know. He just screams. I thought you found something out about that other matter. M the missing operatives. M masculinity. Were the ones tracking Lazard. <laughs> and, and Mako. Also, they had reported a strange pod-like device in the area. Is that... Hollanders? Probably the same device that was stolen in Modeoheim. Meaning... Lazard, Hollander, and Genesis? We'll have to go see them. Hmm. Let's go. First, go to <laughs> Why the is this mouth floor. so small? We'll depart as soon as you and the rest of the men are ready to go. Understood. Our orders are to investigate the reactor. That chin, though. They mention yeah. nothing of old friends. See, Zach has got a nice, strong chin. Depending on what happens, I may abandon Shinra. Huh. Until then, I'll remain loyal to Soldier. Nobody seems to be coming. Oh, hey, Zach. I heard you're going to a new assignment with Sephiroth. I've also received new orders to inspect the Mako reactor at Fort Condor. Looks like we won't see each other for a while. Yeah, I guess this is goodbye. Something tells me you'll still email me every day. Why the long face? Are you sad to see me go? I love you, man. Oh, I didn't know you could. Hey, quit joking around. It's that girl from the slums you're thinking about. You still have some time, right? You should go see her before you leave. Don't worry about it. I'll explain everything to Sephiroth. I thought of a better name for him. Nut. K-N-U-T. Nut. <laughs> That's a real name. Who the fuck has that name? What fucking... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me that's a real person's name. So what... What nationality? Like, what... What what heritage is that? I don't... I don't understand. Lizard race? German? Nut died on March 19th, 2011. Who the fuck is Nut? <laughs> the heritage of Jape. Okay. Alright, fair enough. We have determined that the simultaneous attacks... The more you know, you learn all the time when you stream. Five locations, including including Junin and Costa del Sol, were criminal acts of anti-Shinra organization. Their goal was to release a group of their own activists in Shinra captivity and display a show of force. But thanks to the quick response by soldier operatives, the situation was quickly brought under control. Even in Junin, the target of the heaviest attacks, damage was kept to a minimum. It's pronounced Newt. Oh. Here I was mispronouncing that the whole time. A name that I thought I just made up on the spot. I kind of hate how it put me back at Shinra HQ and then it told me to come back here and see Aerith. Like, maybe you could have just warped me back here. That would have been fine too. Oh, Zach, are you done with work already? Actually, I was given an important assignment. I have to leave Midgar for a while. When will you be back? Hmm, I really don't know. Oh, can I call you? No! I mean, of, of course. And don't worry, the job will be a cinch. I'll be back in no time. Hey, let's start now. Huh? Start what? Start filling the slums with flowers. I 
feel like I'm watching someone, like, deteriorate. It doesn't look like someone who's, like, full of energy and spry and ready to fill the slums with, with flowers. Yeah, it's really cute. I like it. Do you think we'll sell a lot of flowers? Nobody's coming. Just give it a little more time. A lot of people will come. You'll see. I think maybe because the wagon doesn't look very nice. Oh, a customer. I don't- this is the stuff that I didn't remember when I played this last time. Hey, you there, wanna buy some flowers? Ten gil a pop. Special one day offer. You're not gonna find a better price anywhere. Eric, the customer will buy if you can go down to five. Sure, any price is fine. We have to be a little more aggressive than that. I'll renegotiate it for seven. But... The customer just left. I'm sorry, Aerith. Why are you sorry? I'm having such a wonderful time because you're here with me. Oh! Hey, look, Zach, another customer. I think he was just here to use Cat Slide. Don't worry about Aerith. Protecting the subject is part of surveillance duty. You're the only one I can depend on. <laughs> hey, hey, why are you laughing? I'm counting on you. I don't know how- I don't know how to feel. Oh, you're back. You're in luck. Sephiroth isn't here yet. So what are you gonna do? Are you just gonna wait here? I'm ready. Thanks for everything. Let's finish our respective assignments quickly and meet up again in Midgar. Will do. Until we meet again. Clud? What's up? I'm having a little trouble. Rounding up the group. We're in a hurry. Let's move it. Sir. What? Cloud? Together again, huh? Alright. Thanks. They have Hold a secret on. handshake now. I'll get everyone. Ever since he lost his helmet in Iceland, he was just like, nah, I don't need it anymore. Screw regulations. They put Zack in charge of three jabronis, one who doesn't even wear his goddamn helmet. By the way, where are we going? To Nibelheim. So, how does it feel? To be home after all this time. I have no hometown. I wouldn't know. Uh, what about family? My mother's name is Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. I do like this part of the game, though. That was actually from... Sephiroth's mother's name is... Genova? That's, you know, straight out of Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. I actually, um... Kind of, this is one of my favorite songs in Final Fantasy VII, this one. Anxious Heart. I don't mind this remix too much. I mean, and yeah, sure, it's like Matrix Edge, but uh, <laughs> um, it's not really that. It doesn't change too much of it. Not not to a part, not to a point where I'm upset about it. You want to practice? Practice. Oh, the posing. Soldier members must always be conscious of their public image, right? So how does it go again? Like this? Hey, that's quite an improvement. I don't have any particular desire to join Soldier. Psst, gonna get in trouble for snooping around. You guys sure are dressed strangely. But we're no strangers to strange things in this town. Haha, <laughs> what? In fact, we have what we like to call the town Seven Wonders. Are you interested? Okay, if you're interested, you have to find out for me whether they're actually wonders or just hoaxes. The first wonder is... Lately, the town's drinking water has been coming out red. Could it be blood? Ooh, scary. That can't be right. Can it? Once you discover the secret of this wonder, come back and tell me. I think if you get all those wonders, 
you, you get something. Are you one of the soldier people who've come to investigate? It's cowboy Tifa, everyone, look. I never understood why she was dressed like a goddamn cowboy in this town. That's straight out of Final Fantasy VII, so... I mean, that's not even a dopey invention of this game. It was just like, yep, put her in a cowboy hat. Yeah, my name is Zack, and I'm with Soldier. First class, mind you. First class. Huh? What do you mean, huh? Are there a lot of Soldier first classes? Nope. We're a small elite group. They only sent two? Yeah, me and Sephiroth. Uh-huh. <laughs> Awkward movements presents... Weird girl. She was wondering where Cloud was. But Cloud, you notice now he's wearing his helmet on purpose. He's ashamed he didn't make Soldier first class. He wanted to impress Tifa. Um, he came back to the town as just a common soldier. He's not, you know, or a common infantryman, not a soldier. And so that's why he was, he was just too ashamed to take his helmet off. Even though before this, he was perfectly fine with leaving the helmet off. Oh, there's a red materia in here. Color must have seeped out into the water. Phoenix materia. Skin tight trench coat with a fallout boy haircut. Reg, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Tinky is a winky says, should I play Final Fantasy 7 or should I wait for the remake? I don't know. I mean, I think the nostalgia for 7 makes it better than it is. I, I still think it's good in its own way, but it's not, you know. Is it for everyone? No. I think the remake will probably do some things a lot better, some things worse. But I think ultimately the, um... It's gonna be the nostalgia that's gonna sell that game on a lot of people. Your call, though. You're, it's, it, it's tough to say. If you're, if you're okay with characters looking like little Lego football players, then you might be, um... You might be alright. Oh, Phoenix has got a... Was added to the DMW, okay. Is it worth doing any of these other Seven Wonders things? Huh? There was a materia in the water supply. That's not exciting. Oh, wait. Well, listen to this. The next wonder has to be real. I get goosebumps just thinking about it before I begin. Have you seen the painting of the girl on the second floor of the inn? Not yet, but it sounds interesting. Well, go take a look right now. Second floor of the inn. The wall opposite the bed. Shinra troops in a country town like this. Times sure have changed. Yeah, the Advent Children style of, of things. It was so fast and they, like they fly like I, I know some of the chat members are saying they were okay with the football players the, with the weird characters the Popeye characters but they weren't okay with the advent children stuff I just don't think Square really knew what the fuck to do to update it I hope um the Final Fantasy 7 remake is a little bit more grounded like I'm okay with the characters looking like this. I, re I really like this, but I also don't necessarily need them flying all over the place all the time. It's a fantasy game. It's the sword is massive. There's magic. There's crazy shit. But part of why I liked Seven was there was some grounding in reality. There were there were trains. There was shitty technology that mirrored our own technology. There was TVs. There were radios. I think more than any other game in the series, Final Fantasy Seven mirrored our own world mixing it with the old towns and you know rpg elements of the previous games but um it felt like it was kind of somewhat grounded there were helicopters machine guns so uh and and it, it had that used future thing that made star wars so good it went sci-fi at the time was more like white rooms men in space suits and then star wars comes along and the millennium falcon looks kind of filthy and like most Eisley is like dirty and lived in and used and that's what made Final Fantasy 7 interesting it had a lot of different elements all combined and mashed into one and um, having going too far in either direction I think will kill the, the tone of the game a little bit we depart for the reactor at dawn make sure you get plenty of sleep only one of you needs to keep watch make sure you get some rest as well yeah and then Final Fantasy 8 seemed like an incremental upgrade of the technology Ah, that's right. You have permission to visit family and friends if you so wish. Nibelheim, huh? Why are you wearing the mask? It's personal. Weirdo. Heard that the hero Sephiroth was coming, so I've been waiting here with my camera. I want to take a picture of Sephiroth fighting a monster. I want it to be a memorable shot. Take a picture of me then. I'm not interested in taking pictures of small-time supporting characters. <sighs> Activating combat mode. 
Nibelheim. Bug on a Nibelheim. Zach should have just responded with, Take off the cuffs! Shinra Mansion. Or Manor, rather. It's, now you get like a little sense of the geography of it. From Cisne. Are you in Nibelheim about now? I've got business in another freezing locale myself. By the way, I couldn't help but notice you were reading Loveless while you were in Costa del Sol. That was Genesis' favorite work, wasn't it? It's the only work. They're, they're seriously the only art in any form whatsoever, whether it be book, music, or play, or stage production, is Loveless. That's it. Have you finished it yet? I bet you got bored of it in the middle and just tossed it away, but there's a stage production of Loveless now playing in Midgar. Let's go see it when you get back, who knows? Might just give you the hint of what you're looking for. Or the hint you're looking for. I don't know why Vin shits in the music. I think some of the music is great in this game. It's just some of it's like loud, like annoying guitar riffs that remind me a lot of that Red Vox garbage. And it's, uh, when you compare it to what y Yuematsu-san was able to do. Did I just say that? Like that? Yeah, you know what? I will give him the respect he deserves. That, that dude is fucking genius. But when you compare it to the stuff he did, it's like, it's not, it's not as good. It's more just generic, like, ambient, like, mood, just filler, rock and ro rock, loud rock music. Uh, I'm in a taku! Cloud says, we've been on a few missions together and there's been... Something I've, meaning, I've been meaning to tell you. I was thinking about telling you once we were in my hometown, but it's a little embarrassing. So I'm gonna write it out and send it to you. The day you changed your hair, when you wished us rookies, good luck before our sortie. I'll never forget your words. Remembering what you said that day gives me the courage to stay strong, so thanks, Zach. Do you remember when you changed your hair? Do you remember when you put your hand on my shoulder? Zach, what are you looking at? This landscape. I can swear I've seen it before. Oh, really? I didn't want to start this yet. Tifa, you're our guide. At your service. Okay, say cheese. Kind of wanted to do some more of those mysteries first. Nobody's a better guide than me in this town. But it's too dangerous. Can't get you involved in something like this. She'll be fine if you protect her. Stay back, it's just knocked out. It could wake up and start chowing down on you. You springs about wear, tear, and rust, so usually I just hit it with the blunt side. I want to go inside and look too. This is a big moment. This is a top secret facility. Non Shinra personnel are not permitted inside. But. Keep the young lady safe. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. This is how you do it to just stop someone from entering. Good fucking moves, Cloud. Putting his, his open palm in her face. Genova. Interesting. The door is sealed, of course. Genova. This is the cause of the malfunction. This section is broken. Zach, go seal the valve. Why did it break? What is that? You average soldier members are Mako-infused humans. You're enhanced, but you're still human. But then, what are those things? Their Mako energy levels are exponentially higher than yours. Are they monsters? I am my own monster. Yes. <laughs> the Shinra scientist, etc., etc. The one who created them. 
Abomination spawned by Mako energy. That's what monsters are. You said average member. What about you? Hey, hey Sephiroth! He always was a dick. Could it be that I was created the same way? Am I the same as these monsters? If I leave now, this event will never happen. I knew ever since I was a child. I was not like the others. I knew mine was a special existence. But this... This was not what I meant. Those legs, though. They look tasty. Like, fry those Am up. I a a white wine being? sauce. No such luck. You are a monster. <laughs> no, we don't need this part. This, this never Sephiroth, happened. No, no, this didn't happen. You were the greatest monster created by the Genova Project. Genesis! So you are alive! Now this wasn't in the game, I though. I suppose I am, if you can call this living. What is the Genova Project? The Genova Project was the term used for all experiments relating to the use of Genova's cells. My mother's cells? Poor little Sephiroth. You've never actually met your mother. You've only been told her name. No? Exposition. I don't what know what show. images Exposition. you conjured up in your head, but Genesis. No. Genova was excavated from a two thousand year old rock layer. She's a monster. <laughs> Sephiroth. I need your help. My body is continuing to degrade. Soldier first class, Sephiroth. <laughs> Genova Project G gave birth to Angeal and monsters like myself. Genova Project S. S? Used the remains of countless failed experiments to create a perfect monster. What do you want of me? Your traits cannot be copied onto others. Your genes can't be diffused. Therefore, your body cannot degrade. Well, technically, yeah, this could have happened. And Zack just didn't tell Cloud about Share it. Share your cells with me. We would have never known in Final Fantasy VII. I hate to say it, but My it's true. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. He's, he's an apple, asshole. I mean, I'm, I'm still not feeling like this words? is canon by any means. Our but, lies created to deceive me. You know, it could be squeezed or in the there. Truth that I have sought all my life. It makes no difference. You will rot. I see. Perfect monster indeed. When the War of the Beasts brings about the world's end, the goddess descends from the sky. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss. Her gift everlasting. No! Uh, stop! <laughs> Oh.
All right, now Cloud definitely didn't talk about this. A lonely apple cuts the scenery. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, you can, you can point to a thousand reasons why Cloud never mentioned any of this shit. Like, you know, the Diablo with the, the fucking sight spinning into a hurricane. Um, his head was all fucked up. You know, a lot of things happen to Cloud subsequently would, would definitely screw with his memory. He tried to protect me. I know. Tifa, stay close to me. Make a hole in the clued. Cloud never talked about the airstrikes that Zack was able to call in. Again, just, just convenient things left out. Griffin in chat says, My ex-girlfriend thought this was game of the year. I immediately regretted putting my little Smokey into her black hole. That's enough chat for one day, I think. Do I recommend Final Fantasy VII to a first-time player in the Final Fantasy realm? I, I really don't even know how to answer that question. I'll tell you what, watch my Final Fantasy VII stream and kind of make up your own mind. Or watch a little bit of it. You know what I mean? Like, watch, take a look, see if it's something you'd be interested in. I think the experience by the end of it, I think it's worth it. But that's also nostalgia speaking. I like the music, I like a lot of the cutscenes, I like some of the story. And I think the Materia system is pretty cool. It's got the classic Final Fantasy battle system. But yeah, I mean, some people, it's it's a love or hate game. I, I really wouldn't even know how to recommend it. If you don't have that nostalgia from 1997 or 98, I forget which year. What are these chillings doing here? I made it all the way up here without running into any monsters, but I have to go home now. Maybe I'll tell you the rumor I heard about the Wonder Bomb. You can stop all of them from exploding. If you can stop all of them from exploding, I'm sure you'll get something very nice. My dad told me I couldn't come here without a grown-up, but searching for the Seven Wonders is every man's dream. Do you want information about the Wonder Bomb? The Wonder Bomb will keep growing bigger, but if you hit it, it'll get a little smaller. Okay! Valuable information about the Wonder Bomb. Hit the ones that look like they're about to explode. These kids know my future. Activating combat mode. Wow, look at that. Death is amazing. I'm, uh, these fucking things are dying in like one or two hits now because of this. That is an excellent ability. Wow. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, but I agree with Reg. Final Fantasy VII is a bit of a nostalgia trip. You know, it's maybe not aged as well as some things, but Final Fantasy IX has definitely aged well. Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy IX is a game you can play these days, and it still holds up, and it's great. And that's probably my favorite in the series. Four I haven't played in years. I, I've considered streaming that again, or streaming it for the first time, but that won't be for a while. Final Fantasy IV is a great game, from what I remember of it. I'm sure it's aged fairly well, too. I think 8 is good, too. 8 has things about it that I really like. I've streamed Final Fantasy VIII one time, just once, and I was expecting to hate it, and I only hated it a little bit. It's it definitely, that game is all over the fucking place and has a lot of issues. Yeah, it kind of, kind of caught me off guard, because I was, I really, d I liked it a lot better than I thought I would. So wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Who are these soldiers? G Legion B? It's just a reskinned re fucking Shinra infantrymen, but they're called the G Legion. Okay, I understand now. They're just yeah, they're Genesis clones. John Shinra. <laughs> Where did Sephiroth go? Something the matter? Sorry, I can't tell you. I'm not surprised. I'll ask around town for Sephiroth or about Sephiroth. Thanks, Tifa. <clears throat> Tifa safe. Don't worry. If only I were soldier. <sighs> Zack? Soldier is like a den of monsters. Don't go inside. What happened? I don't know, man. I thought I knew, but... Ah. Ah. By the way, do you know Tifa? Sort I know Gungaga. Talk to her? Man. No. I'm sensing some issues here. Shouldn't you do something? I'm one to talk. I'm with soldiers, so fighting's all I do. Sorting things out is someone else's job. My name is Finley, and I like to going fight. What's on? Who's Zach. the enemy? It makes no difference to me. The back of Zack's hair looks like the scales of a Monster Hunter enemy. 
Hey, Zach, you know, I've never seen you use that. I've just used it so much, dude. Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. You're a little more important than my sword. Thank you for the resub. But just a little. <laughs> Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. This music kind of sounds like the like general hospital music, which incidentally this is a symbol of my dreams and honor. Cloud's voice actor is from. No, it's more. That's right. I had almost forgotten. Thank you, Cloud. Huh? Right. <laughs> I've a couple of Night. victory squads. Oh, I thought they were gonna <clears throat> do some squats together. Hey, Zach, you know, I never saw you do any squats. Huh? Don't you love that? Thing happens. Huh? Clud. Let me get a little more rest, says Kloop. Cloud says, hey, do you want to come over to my house? I want you to try my mom's cooking. The thing is, I haven't been home yet since I've been here. I hadn't been able to make up my mind about it, but I decided that I should show my face. Going home alone is just uncomfortable, so I was hoping you could join me. Is he alright? Is that guy alright? I'm a little worried because it looked like he got hurt pretty bad. I'm glad you were there. Thank you, Zach. Uh, I heard of Soldier. How tough they are. I hope we can take a little bit more about Soldier. Talk a little bit more about Soldier one of these days because there's something I want to ask you. Now, we know Cloud isn't into Zach because later on, you know, Cloud and Tifa bang under the high wind while Barrett looks on like a wise owl from the distance. He's like, yeah, Cloud, I like the way you thrust. So that that is the thing that happened in Final Fantasy VII. Um, confirmed canon. So I just don't think that, I mean, the wording of it is a little weird. It's almost like, you know, he wants Zack to thrust, but I think in this case, everything's good. <clears throat> I think they're just friends. Or, or you know, or Cloud's into, uh, he likes to double dip. I don't know. Sephiroth is apparently at Shinra Manor. That big mansion? Yeah, Shinra has owned it for a long time. They do have sex, and Barrett is on board the High Wind, and I, I there was a, a weird cutscene. It's like when Kimari watches Yuna and 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 um, Titus get it on in the in the river, in the ocean, wherever the fuck they are. They're in like a little pond, a glowing pond. Kimari's like, mm, yes, yes, touch her titties. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know why he does that. Uh, listen, now's not the best time. I'll call you later. No, no. You don't have to. Okay. I'll come visit. I'll be here. I'll see you. I promise. Heightened emotions have affected the thing. And yeah, you can go on a date with Barrett in the gold saucer. So, I mean, these are just some strange things. Aerith, wait for me just a little longer. Working hard at your assignment, I assume. I guess it was longer than we thought it would be. I have this weird, like, feeling Kunsel's getting jealous of Cloud, and there's this, like, strange, like, love triangle thing that's happening, and Kunsel's pissed that Zack keeps traveling and leaving him behind, doesn't give him enough love and attention. So, like, I'm just gonna read his messages as all, like, sassy and, like, like he's, he's just pissed. I guess it was longer than we thought it would be. I thought I'd look after Aerith while you were gone, but the Turks were already there guarding her. I don't know why. Anyway, see, she says the tire came off her flower wagon, and now the thing's useless. I offered to fix it for her, but she refused. She's waiting for you to come back and fix it, so hurry up and get back here already. Wow. So much emails. So I can fight too from Tifa. Sephiroth, I don't get him at all. I didn't even give Tifa my number. How'd she get it? It's weird. She on, like, Shinra book? Is everyone in Soldier like this? Are any blonde guys in Soldier? Well, it's just a dream. She likes blonde guys. No, it's just a dream. Any girl would love to have a blonde Soldier guy protect her when she's in a pinch. Well, it's no good just waiting for my blonde knight in shining armor to show up. So I've started learning how to fight myself. My teacher tells me I've got a knack for it. Shinder? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's- it's email. It is email. Let 
Remember, you can never wait for your blonde knight in shining armor. You must fend for yourself, always. Okay, now let's do 17 missions before we get to the next part. I guess it's like... <laughs> Shin Shinder's list? Well, hang on a minute, August. That's a different thing. What is this called? What is shuttlecocks? Spoopy. They're pumpkin shuttlecocks. Or they're just new Pokemon. Sephiroth apparently went to the second floor room on the right. Fucking hell, stop emailing me. Working so Hello again, Zach. I heard you were on assignment with Sephiroth. I remember you were trying to get in touch with him, so I'm guessing you can finally talk to him now. I also heard Sephiroth handpicked you for this assignment. With the main soldier first gone missing, and Sephiroth not being the type to look after subordinates, I think it's you who's gonna lead us. You're moving up the chain, and I'm following you until the end, Zach. Badminton? So what the fuck is Shuttlecock then? What am I thinking of? What, what is that? Don't tell anyone. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't tell anyone in Soldier that I asked about the blonde guy, okay? Something's wrong with Sephiroth. The door to the underground passage was unlocked, but I th think he went in, but... Shuttlecock is the thing you hit while playing badminton. Bad mittens. Okay, now this looks very different than it did in Final Fantasy VII. Activating or... Combat mode. The layout looks different. Oh yeah! Conflict resolved. Okay, we're gonna get Vincent Valentine in the party now. Combat mode. Yeah, there's just like Ninja Turtles down here with tridents. Nothing weird about it. Sentient Ninja oh, yeah. Turtles. Resolved. At this mode. point, I would call the fucking like Shinra Task Force to exterminate everything in this mansion. I'd be, I'd be done. I'd be done. I would not continue. Stick to the walls. Like pigs on shit, or like pigs in weird 90 Windows 95 CD ROM games. So there's four coffins here. It won't open, I guess I need coffin keys. Activating combat mode. This isn't where Vincent Valentine was. Vincent Valentine was in a single coffin. Conflict resolved. Remember when Zack woke Vincent up? Yes, I do. Nick Valentine? Yeah, he's in the game too. He's in one Activating of the coffins. Combat mode. Yeah. Welcome, Zack. I'm your destiny, you see. Just remember, don't click the coffin. Wow, there's a lot of coffins. Yeah, so I'm wondering, what, what's what's the point of even opening the coffins? What The general helps you find Vincent before he revives Aerith. Thank you. Good info. You got that from a news group from 1997. Oh god, is Vincent gonna show up? I don't remember if he's in this. Is this someone sleeping in there? M maybe. I should leave him alone. Vincent cameo, everyone. He said, <laughs> How cool is that? It didn't even show him. Let me show you a cameo. Look into the chest. Who's in there? Someone. Who? Someone. Isn't that cool? Doesn't it just set your nerdgasms on fire. A life form in a state of suspended animation excavated from a 2000 year old stratum. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. Date XXXX. Good info. Genova verified as an ancient. Genova project approved. Make a reactor number one authorized for use. It's the camera angle. My mother's name. Genova. The Genova project. Would this be a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me? Why did you die? Sephiroth, honey, come home. Dinner's getting cold. You haven't even looked at me the same way since the accident at the reactor. Honey, honey, I would like to be alone. Bitch, I came all this way to talk to you and now you're telling me I gotta be alone? Fine, I'm gonna go wake up that husky sex sex god in in the treasure chest. I'm sorry, in, in the coffin. Maybe, maybe he'll love me the way you never did, Sephiroth. At least me and Cloud still have our secret handshake. Science chambers. Take a look at the fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. From that day, Sephiroth shut himself inside Shinra Manor. And proceeded to review document after document like a man possessed. The lights in the basement never went off.
and on the seventh day, God created clouds. Well, so long wonders. That's not happening. <laughs> the, the wonder, again, this is, you know, presented slightly differently and with more detail in Final Fantasy VII. I feel like if you haven't played that game, then you miss out on a lot of the impact of this. But look, he's in the fire. He's so cool. Holy shit. I'm coming to get you. Oh, they even redid the cutscene! Yes! This is why so many online handles in 1998 were XX Sephiroth, XX 420, X Sweetleaf, X Blowjob. <laughs> how could you? Sephiroth, how could you? Fighting crab people and birds? That's maybe not as a nice, not as nice of a touch. Crab people, crab people, taste like crab, eat like people. It's like a weird fucking bug crab, but with human legs. Where are you? Zack, where are you? Sephiroth set the whole village on fire. Tifa and her dad went chasing after him. You've got to stop them. That's the part of Final Fantasy VII they left out. Cloud texting on his phone from a burning hometown of his. Yeah, they don't- they didn't show that cutscene in Final Fantasy VII originally, but maybe in the remake. We'll get a chance to see Cloud do some texting. Cloud's just snapchatting his ding his dingus. It, it is with much shame, I'm going to admit that I had a Cloud username when I first got on the internet. I was 12, but my username was like Cloud12371 because 123 was taken. I'm willing to admit this. My ego is of no consequence. I had a fucking Cloud username. I was the cool kid, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I stopped having the cloud username after a very short period of time. Because my family thought I was- I- I really loved clouds. Ah, oh, he's such a pleasant boy. He- he just likes clouds so much. That's why he made his- his AOL email cloud. It's like, no! No, he's cool! He's got a dark past! You don't understand! He saved the world! He fought Sephiroth! You don't understand! He had so many feelings and edge! He loved Aerith, but she- uh, He's such a nice boy, he likes clouds. No, he's a soldier! And he fights with a big sword! So that's when I- I went and started changing my usernames to Chrono instead. Cause at least that didn't sound like... a weather pattern. At one point my username was Dark Metamorphosis! It wasn't. It really wasn't, I swear. I did have an Alucard name once. I was a solid snake once. I, I, I went through the full gamut of characters. None of them lasted very long. Chrono was, I think, one of the longer lasting ones. <laughs> he loves clocks. <laughs> yep, I like clocks, Chrono, everyone. And then when I was when I got a little older, I became the shock master. You want to rule the world, Cloud? Well, you have to take the title belt from me. The shock master. <sighs> Sephiroth did this, didn't he? I hate you. I hate Shinra. I hate Soldier. I hate you all. You're not blonde either. that talk about rust and wear and tear. Mother, let's take back the planet together. I, I had an epiphany. Stiff, wooden, let's go to the promised epiphany. land. Epiphany. Mother. Sephiroth! Why did you kill the townspeople? Why did you hurt Tifa? Answer me, Sephiroth! <laughs> Mother, they're here again. You should have ruled this planet. 
You're stronger, smarter. But then they came, those inferior dullards. They came and took this planet away from you. But don't be sad, Mother. I am with you now. Yeah, they, they redid little bits of the cutscenes. We from meet these parts. at last, Mother. I saw a titty. Sephiroth, have you completely lost your mind? Just, just cut his neck off now. Save us, save us all the trouble. Sephiroth. I trusted you! Okay, now here's... yeah, this... this wasn't... <laughs> this wasn't stuff that you saw in Final Fantasy VII, necessarily. This whole part... again, Zack just left this part out when he told Cloud about all this... the sound of leather. Like, whenever we see Sephiroth move, it's just the sound of leather rubbing against leather. Apparently getting knocked off is a bad thing, so I'm gonna try my best to avoid that. Even though this camera is not doing me any favors. I think, yeah, I think one Winged Angel would have been perfect. That's just me. I mean, they put so much effort into these cutscenes, and, and there's a good chance that some... most players would never even see all of them. Because... A lot of them are hidden in really, really hard missions. Well, not only physical, but... You will pay. So, I think I want to talk a little bit about character uh, shift in Sephiroth, which is very drastic. So... Why did Sephiroth change so drastically, so suddenly? I don't think it's necessarily just because of the research. What the fuck? You could argue that it has something to do with his connection. So, Genova was, um, this alien being, kind of like Lavos, that came to this planet with attempts, uh, that made attempts to rule the world. And the idea here is, um, that it was a being of pure evil and power and all that stuff, right? And Sephiroth was made directly from Genova cells. I think he learned all about her. He started putting all this effort and attention. But it's, I think, more so than him learning about her, he felt the, the tug of the dark side, so to speak. He felt the rub and tug of the dark side. In the same way that the reunion happened in Final Fantasy 7 when all the little, the, 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 what are they called? The Jankies? What were they called? The Flukies. Sephiroth's Flukies were drawn to him and they would go to the crater where he was at. Maybe that happened with him. The proximity of which he was to, to Genova. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, actually. So let's just, uh, let's just say he's a bad guy and the bad, the bad monster person made him do the things. He also hadn't slept in seven days. Sure, sure, that's a good enough reason, too. <laughs> why, 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 where, yeah, why are there ca Chaos Emeralds? Bird. So yeah, I'm not, uh, someone in chat was talking about how they didn't buy the transition from Sephiroth being a good guy, well, not even really a good guy, but just working for Shinra and being somewhat reasonable, to turning into this crazed, psychopathic lunatic. And I think the answer is, sadly, in, in this case, telepathy through alien black magic cells. 
Well, okay, you see here what happened was Genova's baby daughter clone merged with Lavos at the end of time, and they became the Time Devourer. So the baby daughter clone was taken and turned into a cat, a sentient cat man named Lynx, who then was transformed by Fate, which is a massive computer system created by Balthazar and Robo in the El Nido Archipelago. <laughs> and nanomachines and ancient aliens and y male models. What am no. I talking about? I guess you didn't you're watch not, my Chrono Cross stream. You're not the Sephiroth I once knew! I am the Chosen One. I have been chosen to rule this planet. <laughs> Here you go, here's your one-winged angel. <laughs> Sephi Ross. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing Ross. If you are driven to the edge, the game is over. <laughs> if you were driven to the edge, you have become Sephiroth. <laughs> really wish he didn't fucking guard against that. If you were driven to the edge, you will become Cloud. Traitor. You will pay. Lots of, uh, flying. Lots of aerobics. Aerobics? No. Acrobatics. Oh, shit. Even when you're guarding, he can still knock you off. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm Scott trying. Burps. I'm trying. Uh, how'd they get the helicopter down here? Wow. Got me down to one HP, huh, Sephiroth? Good shit. Traitor. Stop. Stop! So that's how Zack turned into Cloud. He got too close to the edge. Yay! I should get Edgelord, my amiibo, to fight Sephiroth. Okay, so... There goes Finn, who fought Kylo Ren. Finn is down for the count. Now Ray has to pick up the lightsaber.
That's it. He should be sliced in two. We're not talking like a knife wound to the back. The, the fucking width of that sword is the width of his torso. It's just about catching him unawares, really. realized th this is the Finish second Sephiroth. off of like three times we're gonna see this cutscene when the remake comes out we're gonna see this again M once every 10 years square has to update this cutscene <laughs> Sephiroth! Music was so good no. in the Final Fantasy VII version when this happened. Possible. Yeah! Should have just kept it. It's that meth rage. After every cutscene, there's inevitably someone in chat that says, This game sucks, lol. Cloud. You did it. Oh. It's just a flesh wound. This one here. Intriguing. Most intriguing. He'll make a fine test subject. You call yourself soldier? I'll go for one more cut uh, one more cutscene until I hit another checkpoint or whatever. Just the soldier name. Angel! Wait! Save, delete, do nothing, escape. The four options of the save menu. Those wings. I want them too. Someone in chat just said Angeal equals angel. Mind fucking blown. Nilbog? It's goblin spelled backwards. Decked. for how long? 
a, very, a pretty goddamn long time, if I remember correctly. Again, that's all expanded upon in Final Fantasy VII. Like, they were made into, it was a science experiment to infuse them with Mako while they were, like, a, you know, conscious while they were alive. And, uh, Cloud got severe Mako poisoning, which fucked his memory up really bad. Being told it was four years. Tw it took 12 years to make M Minge. Why is Cloud talking about Minge? It's the first thing on his mind as soon as he wakes up. Cloud couldn't handle it because he, he ha did not have training. Meanwhile, Zack was kind of exposed to Mako poisoning slowly over time. Document 2, Researcher's Diary Number 1. Here I am, banished to this remote country town. I came all excited about participating in Professor Hojo's top secret experiment, but now they tell me the procedure has already ended. They won't even tell me what the procedure was. What am I doing here then? Well, as long as I work under Hojo, there's a chance to move up, so I'll have to be patient. Yeah, Zack was too resistant, Cloud was too susceptible to the Mako poisoning. Document 1, procedural failure. Failed case number 1, soldier first class. Desired effect did not occur. Strong tolerance to Genova cells due to soldier conditioning assessed as cause. Failed case number 2, Shinra infantryman. Weak tolerance to Genova cells led to tox toxicosis. Lack of response to outside stimuli suggests severe system damage. Recovery highly unlikely. So yeah, Cloud got really fucked up. Which is where some of the edginess and the forgetfulness and why he thought he was Zack came from. Alright, let's go. clear the way so uh yeah what I have a question how much longer is this game so i could probably i could knock this out in one more stream right or is the next stream of this going to be like 20 minutes and that's it about an hour and a half two hours hour and a half so yeah one more stream i'm going to finish that this week so i'm going to come back to this game at some point this week and just uh just knock it out Oh, yeah. Vincent, wake up. We need you. Vincent could have stopped Sephiroth. To think Vincent was all wrapped up in this, this whole affair mode. and he was right here in this basement this whole time. Just leave Cloud down there to rot. Wait here a minute. I'm gonna go clear the way. See how good of a friend Zack is? Diary number two, document three. The town was apparently set on fire intentionally. No one has filled me in on the details, but it seems the other researchers who came to the town with Professor Hojo all perished in the fire. That's why I was sent here. Now, only pressure, only pressure, only Faja Hojo and I will be working on the project. What a thrill it is to actually witness one of the professor's experiments firsthand. Dorky Face is the name of this enemy. Rook, I am your Faja. Please. Let me be your Faja. Spoopkins. I like that. That's a good name for them. Spoopkins. Apparently Vincent's story is 30 years before Final Fantasy VII. Is it that long before? There's a PlayStation stream going on right now in Japan and they just announced the new Final Fantasy for 2018. A new Final Fantasy, so wait, we're talking Final Fantasy 16 was just announced. Official notification of the change in status. This is four years later, no? Zack and Cloud both killed, or, or both Sephiroth and Zack, first class soldier killed. Kojima just talked as well. Or did they, did they delay Final Fantasy 15 to 2018? Ko Kojima was there too? I gotta talk about that, I wanna find out about Kojima. Got an announcement from General Affairs that you were killed in action, but those announcements are never true. Are they? Where are you? What are you doing? What do you have to do for the company to reclassify yourself as a dead man? Let me help you if you're in a jam. Talk to me. I'll be waiting. Kojima talked. No new Final Fantasy. Is that Beans? Was that Beans? So yeah, the phone was waterproof with an eternal battery. What an amazing phone. 
Professor Hojo is returning to the head office tomorrow. They say I'm the overall supervisor of the project now, but who am I supervising? I have no staff. Nobody has given me a timeline for when I go back either. Come on, let me go home. They're just giving money away now. Ah, here we go. This should do nicely. All right, there is one downstairs. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that in a sec. We're gonna dress Cloud up real quick. Where the fuck did he go? Cl Cloud? He's gone. Really, really, really need to not fight these things. Kill them. Exit screen. Go kill them again. Cloud's gone. Maybe Cloud was a figment of Zack's imagination. Every day I send reports regarding the status of the samples, but the samples never show signs of change, so nothing to report. The only joy I receive is in caring for the two failure cases. Now they understand me. I often tell them my troubles. Of course, they don't reply, but you know. Lately, I've been thinking caring for these samples isn't so bad. I think I'll just spend the rest of my days here. And then Zack fucking wakes up and, and decks her or him in the face. All right. Well, that's the stream. Don't know where Cloud went. I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know what's going on there, but I guess we'll try it next time. All right. So, um, let's check the art and then I'll get going. I'll tell you my itinerary is again to finish this game this week. Would you say... I became a hero. So let's do this. Let's get started on the Red Leather Club. We're gonna fucking beat Crisis Core tonight. Um, last time, some crazy shit happened. Let's just say that. I think last time was the best Crisis Core stream thus far, or it was the best chunk of game. And it had the most nostalgia, and it also had some really funny moments, and it had a couple badass moments too. Yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. I've decided that Zach Fair is probably my spirit animal. He's um like a porcupine, you know? And Cloud, what would Cloud be? Kraut, sauerkraut, what would he be? He's like a bird. It's like a little, like a cockatiel, I guess. How much do I like Zack as a character? Well, I was explaining, Zack does have an arc. Like, he's got a character. He's serious at times, um, light at, at other times. You know, he's, um, he, he can joke around. There is a lot to Zack. Like, he's not just a one-dimensional character, which is why I do like... And I, there is a character arc here, so... We got locked up in Shinra Mansion after a big fight with Sephiroth. Activating combat mode. And we fought pumpkin shuttlecocks. It was four years later that we woke up, that Zack and Cloud woke up, after being experimented on. Now, if you played Final Fantasy VII, you may remember the Shinra Manor as where you found Vincent Valentine and where you learn that Sephiroth is a real scumbag. Just as a recap for anyone who missed the Activating last stream. Mode. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck these things. As, as a recap, Zack, having been um, exposed to Mako radiation, was resistant to the experimentation. It, it basically did fuck all. But Cloud was very susceptible, and he is severely ill. He has Mako poisoning. Sorry, Mako. The process of rebuilding the incinerated town has begun. The construction is somehow being overseen by the Turks. I would have thought that city planning would be in charge of that, but some ponytailed Turk has been coming around asking to speak to Professor Hojo, but he is routinely turned away. He refuses to say what he wants to see him about. Leave the Professor be, Turk. He has important work to do. I'm gonna go clear up the area ahead. Activating combat mode. Yep, this is Nibelheim. This is the part of Final Fantasy VII where Zack, in the flashback, takes the Mako radiation poisoned cloud and brings him to Midgar. But there's some unfinished business first. Costly punch will kill anything in one hit, pretty much. I will say, I was really, really determined to get costly punch for a little while. But I'm so close to the end of the game. And I'm already doing pretty okay with my moves. Um... That I just don't think I really want to spend the time grinding, because it is, it is a really heavy grind... ...to get the, uh... ...the costly punch materials. What's going on? I saw the town reduced to ashes, but... ...it's back the way it was before. With a bunch of actors put in place. It's a breakout! The professor's test samples are escaping! 
It'll take more than your average grunt to take me down. Cloud? This is bad. Better take care of them quickly. I'm not gonna get caught again. Activating combat mode. save cloud what the fuck oh now I can see I'm pretty pretty overpowered I would say don't take cloud I forgot I had instant death on my sword. Look at them go down like they fucking not even get in a chance. It's amazing. I don't know, is it just me or I don't remember exactly how this went down in Final Fantasy 7, but I wasn't a hundred percent like convinced that Cloud and Zack knew each other before they got on the truck. I thought in Final Fantasy 7 it was made to look like Zack and Cloud kinda just met each other kind of haphazardly that day. Like, otherwise Zack didn't really know who the fuck he was. Well, what's wrong with me today? This can't be right. How could I be having trouble against these guys? They were friends before the truck. Okay, just checking. I have to return to the mansion to regroup. There's no group left. I still can't p find that thin piece of foam that was in my headphones, by the way. It's painful. <laughs> it's daytime, maybe we should... And we're still a little weak, maybe we should rest until dark. I'm gonna have to go on Amazon and type thin, thin black foam. And just put it in my headphones. Could this be Mako Addiction? Jill might just not capable of saving anyone. <laughs> All right, first a change of clothes. These Mako soaked clothes will definitely not help you on your road to recovery. I found something good back there. It may not smell very good, but we can't be too picky right now. It looks pretty good on you. Wait, how naked do you think Cloud had to be for that? They're tiny, but you have lots, right? That's right. Wanna hear? How many you got? Hmm... Twenty-three? Write them down, so I don't forget. I have 23 tiny wishes, but you probably won't remember them all, so uh, uh, I want to put them all together and hear the Titus laugh overdub of the song. I'd like to spend uh, time uh, with you. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Cloud. I... I have to go to Midgar. You want to come with me? So I always wondered why, like, 
Why did they go back to Midgar? Activating combat mode. Got him. Conflict resolved. Now I know. Well, now we all know. You can't fool me. Zack, where could you possibly be? This is four years later. Quinzel's still sending emails. You've gone missing since your mission with Sephiroth. Do you have anything to do with Sephiroth being killed in action? I've heard rumors about something going down in Nibelheim. Are you there right now? It's not Aerith's theme, uh, theme, but I can- I can deal with this. Zack! How have you been all this time? I was so worried about you. Please tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. In fact, let's put on an act for everyone, okay? If you let me catch you, it would score me a promotion for sure. Then, with my newfound authority, I might be able to spare your life. Please, just tell me where you are. Stay with me. How the fuck do you pronounce that dude's name? Luxury? Luxury. He's like, let me catch you, man. Come on, I need to, you know, it'll look great. I'll get the brownie points. Maybe you'll live. God damn it, there's no end to this. Right here a minute. I'm gonna take a look around. Lux Fieri, like Guy Fieri. Take out the gun bull heads deployed on both sides of the road with the sniper rifle. If you miss, the enemy will flee and your point, fled points will be up. Keep in mind that fled points will also go up if you let enemies flee from normal combat. Conversely, taking out the gun Bull heads, you gain kill points, which you can use to add enhancements to the sniper rifle. I don't remember this fucking part of the game at all. Counter-Strike now. Who else that's played this game has totally forgotten about this part? Thanks to the auto-assist system, even an amateur like me can do fairly well. He's got aim-assist hacks. You can farm normal encounters that occasionally come up and get kill points to upgrade rifles. So there's more than one rifle that, oh, it's just you go down, down the road, you get another rifle. That was a headshot, that's bullshit. Fucking lag. Yes! More games need that modded into them. The Mario Party. Miss! That was one of the- <laughs> I hated that announcer's voice. Holy fuck did I hate that voice. Not the Toad one, just the narrator. Someone in chat says, I bet the narrator was named Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. Bet you're- bet you're right. Don't you love it when you're just like in the- When you got the exact shot lined up twice and it still goes through the enemy. Fucking classic Nancy. Is there anyone in chat named Nancy? I haven't heard that name in a while, aside from, um, in Stranger Things, Nancy. It's not, a lot, not a lot of people are naming their children Nancy anymore, as far as I'm aware, I don't know. There are people saying me, some of which I would assume are, of course, like Spartacus. No, I'm Nancy. No, I'm Nancy. What was the friend? Barb? Barb and Nancy. What, what amazing names. Those names are so incredibly 80s. I don't know, if I have a daughter, I'm gonna name her Bra Bra. And if, if it was up to me, I think I would not have any children. But I'm just saying, Bra Bra sounds great. That's a name I heard in Flight of the Concords. It's like Barbara, but it's like more cool. B-R-A-H. B-R-A-H. Barb and Nancy probably knew a Deb. Definitely. Some names have not been very popular since the 80s, have they? You want me to sing Business Time? I can't really sing because, uh, well, I can't sing in general, but <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics to the whole song, but I could sing one line for you. It's business. It's business time. I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say it's time for business at a business time. Ooh. And now I will read the inevitability of Vinny. Please never do that again. You're welcome. I won't. Miss. 
Kinda wish I bought a smart bomb now, cause guess what? This aiming system fucking blows! Blows a dick! It's like all jerky and, and it moves around and it's stupid. I mean, it's it's supposed to simulate, like, the movement, I guess, of, of Zack, but it just... I end up getting so many misses, God damn it! No! No, 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 you're not leaving. It left. Laters! The amiibo reader for the 3DS. I got one because it was cheap. It's like 10 bucks. And I also got some Animal Crossing cards. I got series one and two. I got some some good ones. Just two packs. And uh, I didn't get Scoot, sadly. But I was offered Scoot by members of, of the glorious Chat Republic. So I might end up getting a Scoot after all. What's this for, you ask? For the new Animal Crossing update. Yeah, Smart Bomb misses just as easily as all the other shit. I am not having a good time. Guess it was too late for that to happen, huh? It's like you shoot and then you go to aim and the thing just moves you over so far. It's like you can't move in small increments. It's just big movement, big movement or nothing. Kid Rock composed this music. It's like, well, we were unable to get U Uematsu. I know it, he didn't actually compose the music. It's like, oh, we couldn't get Uematsu. We got the next best thing. Here's Kid Rock, everyone. That's right. For the first time, Square Enix has partnered with Kid Rock, Kid Cock, in his first Rock'em Sock'em video game soundtrack. Why, why is it my natural inclination to call him Kid Cock? I can't help it. I think there's some decent music. Some people are saying that the soundtrack is shit. I've had some, some good moments. I felt like there were some good moments on the soundtrack. <sighs> You call Where a lot of things cock or here. cuck. I haven't said the word cuck since just now. Can't do much when I got cloud to worry about. And before that was probably like a month. And Jill. Or maybe two weeks. What should I do? One week. Hey, Cisne. Been a while. Zack. The fugitive sample. Is it you? Zack and Wiki. It would appear so. Who's Wiki? She is. What did they do to you in that place? Well, this and that. So, Cisne, you're here to take us back, right? Please, just walk away. I thought we could outrun the army. But the Turks are a different story. Zack, I'm sorry. This is my job. <laughs> if you want to escape, you'll have to. What an efficient weapon that is. Step back. You get one main use, and if you fuck that up, then Next you're just time. unarmed. I'll really have to. I mean, that strength in that arm to be able to one hand that sword. At least there's no pizza cutters in this game. As, as stupid as some of the weapons are. It's too dangerous to move now. The pizza cutters are not in here. We'll rest here until morning. Then we'll leave at dawn. Ah. We'll be alright. <laughs> Cisne. Wait, he... he's the other sample they collected at Nibelheim. Why did you come here? His name is Clerd. I told you to go away. He doesn't look well, Zack. Is he alright? Mako addiction. Severe case. The experiments, isn't it? Yeah. Hey! 
Sung. I've lost the target. That's suspicious. Why would you tell me that? Are you implying that you had the target in the first place? That's how it is. So get away safely. Sisney. Thank you. Here's a present. If you think you can trust me, then use it. She almost killed me with her stupid frisbee. Yeah. Shinra makes good stuff. This is the part you didn't see in Final Fantasy VII. Again, there's such a not again. There's such good music. Like the motorcycle music in Final Fantasy VII is so good. They could have just used that. <laughs> oh shit! It's the real Jenny. Jenny says, "Jenny, I got your me. number." Uh, Eight six nay uh, seven three zero oh, five. When the war of the beasts brings about the world's end. The goddess descends from the sky. Wings of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss, her gift everlasting. Th that's my hair! You were a test subject in Hojo's new experiment. <laughs> A modified version of Genova's power runs through you. What? Seriously? Those, those piano flourishes. No way. He just ate my hair. <laughs> Your cells this game. will be my gift of the goddess. The degradation will cease. You are twisted. The monster has been harvested and can be discarded. Sounds like that line was You're recorded at a separate time. That was a pickup, folks. Nothing to see here. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. I'm getting one of his stupid purple apples again. The wind sails over the water's surface. Quietly. But surely. I got more excited to see the word Cosmo Canyon on that sign than I did for any of this stuff with Genesis. Skeleton wings. Let's do some doing some pretty good damage against me. That's what you get when you eat hair. It's like when you're a kid, you know, and you're eating hair in your class, and then the kids are like, "That's weird, stop!" But you just keep doing it. You turn into a bat. It's gonna be one of those urban legends that's just gonna stick through generations. You turn into a bat if you eat your hair. It's like you get hairy palms if you masturbate. That was a good one. What, what other fun ones? You go out so, well, if you go out with a wet head, you catch a cold. What other ones are there? What other fun urban legends are there? In Korea, if you leave your, your fan on when you leave your house, your, your house could set on fire. That's one they teach you to save electricity. What do I do? The wet head is true though, to some extent. Depends on how cold Tell it is me. outside. And it wouldn't be like you don't catch a cold, like you're not gonna catch a disease. You're just gonna get- give yourself fucking pneumonia. You grow hair on your eyes if you see a dog pooping. The fuck? Caffeine stunts your growth. Walking under a ladder. Watch too much vine sauce, you get space aids. Okay. 
What just happened here? Okay, we're good. Cloud, this is my hometown. So this is one aspect of the remake that I'm looking forward to. This is Gungaga. I hope there's gonna be like roads that you can travel on and like first person and like really get deep and detailed into the world. Cause I, I really like this, this whole world. No, I can't go to my house. I probably walk right into an ambush. Wait here a minute, Cloud. I'm gonna put your life at risk while I go search around a fucked up and exploded Mako reactor. Just worried about my parents. Wonder if mom is all right. It's risky, but should I go back to town? Gongaga. It turns out we've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. It's pronounced Gongaga. You might see a chest there, but the rubble's in the way. Giant sword of yours could probably clear the rubble. Pay attention to the chests here until you at least find Research Department QMC Plus. Also, mind the waterfall minigame for Goblin Punch. Okay. I just wish it didn't, like, have to turn the screen black for a second. And it would- and, and t look how long it takes just to pull the goddamn sword out. Next time that happens, we have to count how long that takes, because that is insane. Here we go, okay, from the button press to the end of this, when I can get the chest, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's say about fifteen seconds. Between 12 and 15 seconds, just because my my counting is off, obviously. Yeah, I sped up because I wasn't 100% sure I was actually counting proper seconds. That's why I'm giving giving us 12 to 15. How'd that bird fit in the chest? You think? Doesn't matter. Oh, again? Yeah, I agree with Hootie. Why are people sticking birds in chests? Also, hi, Hootie. This, this poor thing, this poor griffin has been in this chest for four years. Yeah. That's all I, again, that's all I heard. Osmoga. You, you know. I'm not gonna say it. I hear two research samples have escaped from Nibelheim. And might you be one of them, Zack? If you are, watch your back, because now a whole battalion of infantrymen has been called in. They're coming after you in crazy numbers. Why? And what the hell did you do to deserve this? I don't care if you've made an enemy of Shinra. I'll always be waiting for you to come back. Just make it back alive, buddy. Promise me. The secret boss? No. No way. Behind you, so predictable. Couldn't you guess your hometown would be the first place we'd look? <laughs> Here to see your parents? Yeah, so? What's wrong with that? I see. Turk theme remix. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. Even sound like it, it was anymore. pretty careless. We'll be going. Be careful. Security is very tight right now. Apparently, another target is in the area. Who? Angeal. I see. <laughs> All these targets. He died by your hand. You're not surprised. I think he may have helped us. Escape Shinra Manor. Interesting. The sighting reports were true. But why would he come to a place like Ngaga? He came here to see- Yeah, say it again, man. What other reason could there be? Run away if you can, Angeal. The Turks are watching. I'll give you ten minutes. After that, I return to the Turks. Return? Right now. I'm not in the mood. I can't bring bad news to your parents. My mom. How is she? She's worried. She thinks after all this, you won't be able to find a wife. What's up with that? They're nice what? people, and they're doing fine. Good. That's all I need to know. Yeah. How's your folks? <laughs> oh, you know, how's the folks? Got a battalion of infantrymen headed my way. Raised inside Shinra. Hey, Sisne, would you mind... 
keeping my folks company for a while? All right. No problem. They'll probably ask you to join the family. Already happened. What did you say? Cisne! Not my real name. What? You have five minutes left. What? What's real name? Angeal? Scrogne. Angeal, it is you! Hey, wait! Bunch of fucking dudes flying around on half wings. My name is Nancy. Anything here of, of worth? Meteor shot sounds interesting. Depends on what I like best from the slot machine. That the slot machine would stop working. But because I have heavenly limit, there's gonna be lots of slots. I'm stunned. Oh, he's not... He's not dead, he's just, uh, stunned! Stunned? No, no, he's, he's a pining for the fields! Pining for the fields! What beautiful plumage! It's amazing how many people know the fucking entire parrot sketch. Or at least most of it to the point where I say that one line and then the entire chat is just Monty Python forever. That's so in I like that. Shuriken is her name? Like the weapon? Yeah, Every Sperm is Sacred is one of the best songs ever written. I don't want to hear nothing about that. No lip otherwise. Every spam is sacred. Look at their degradation. They're all like gray. It's like Mick Jagger. Yeah, 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 go fast! Go, 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 go! Yeah, yeah, modulate! Yeah, modulating phase! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh! Oh, whoops. After nearly being killed by Genesis. Oh. It was really all I could do. I'm sorry, to we survive. missed the story. <laughs> I'm so sorry! I merely borrowed some cells from Genesis. You know you're degrading. Indeed. But there is still some hope. S cells. S cells. S cells. The gift of the goddess. A pure S cell sample will stop the degradation process. Pure? There are two of you. On the run. S uh, cells. No. One is a former soldier operative, the other an infantryman. That infantryman carries within his body the last pure S cells in the world. Hey! <laughs> Do you know the verse in Act 4 that leads into the final act? Of course not. <laughs> Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface, quietly but surely. Enough about sacrifices and endings. Ch I don't want to hear it. Check out my apple. You don't understand the beauty of these words. How tragic. I'm not surprised. Even I didn't understand all of it. The greatest mystery behind the gift of the goddess? The water's surface. And the answer I have arrived at is the life stream. What? Welcome there are various to theories Zonko. regarding the missing final act. However, only my theory is correct, and I will prove it to you. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> you will understand. Cloud's in danger, I gotta get back to the reactor. Run like you mean it, Zack. Don't I have to farm around here a little bit? Why does their body degrading make their clothes get shitty? I asked the same question, and my theory is that their clothes are their body as well. Now, I know this is a hard concept to wrap your head around, but trust me, it makes even less sense when you think about it. So I have to do a few battles around here. I just wanted to do the, um, costly punch thing, because apparently there's a mini game on, at the waterfall. I think I just broke the game. 
Oh wait, no, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh, hang on one second, guys. I, I might. I don't know what the hell's going on. I was fine all day, and now allergies. One second. Be right back. I welcome back to Zombocom. I guess I have to do a little bit more farming to get this thing to work. I have to catch treasure chests from the waterfall. People are saying they're having problems with YouTube. There's a huge delay. I wouldn't even know how to fix that, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Vinny, you're degrading. Quick, eat Zach's hair. <laughs> I need to, yeah, where is his hair? I need some. What if I eat a house centipede? By the way, I vote we rename those motherfuckers, because house centipede, they're all that bad when you when you hear, oh, it's just a house centipede. They live in a house, and they're cute. They're little centipedes. Centipedes are cute. We need to rename them, like, Diablo's fuck child or something. Maybe then someone will do something about it, and, like, we can solve this problem. Old Jill. versus old men. Why is he in Lazard's suit? I don't like that. Why are you? Cloud, run! Cloud's a paraplegerino right now. Do what I ever I have to do! Ah, oh, nice. Just vomit some shit at me. Thanks, dude. <laughs> yep, so I guess we never need this amazing giant heavy, sharp sword ever again. Because I could just keep punching this dude in the face. You'll share my pain. Oh, it's a dimension missile! I guess we never really stopped playing butt grandpas, did we? Wow, what a scumbag. I just went to go cure and he's using this thing again. That, that sucks. There goes my revive. Five, seven, five, six has a thing that removes the damage limit. I could, I could just do that. You are, you are correct. Seven, five, six. I think that would probably take a while though. That would take longer than I want to spend. But yeah, if I remove the damage limit, then it's things are going to long time, Zach. Die quickly. <laughs> so, what happened? That thing wasn't so tough. I can't fight like a first. I'm just an Angeal copy. Copy? It's Lazard. <sighs> oh. So, you're the one who helped Hollander out of Junon? Junon. Why would you do such a thing? That was Junon. To exact my revenge, I needed Hollander. You really chose the wrong friends, didn't you? I agree. I never dreamed I'd be turned into an Angeal copy. Well, just be happy you're linked to Project G. It's a strange feeling. Hmm? The lust for vengeance that had so consumed my life is all but gone now. In its place is a desire to help you. A desire to save Genesis. No. It's bigger than that. I... I want to save the world. <laughs> I bet you do. Nothing strange about that. Angeal lives oh, inside is... you. Yeah, he lives inside of all of us. He's Jesus. The Holy Spirit himself, too. Genesis is trying to obtain the gift of the goddess. But what is it exactly? No. Whatever it is, he must be stopped. I just... 
don't understand what he's talking about at all. What should I do? And Geo may show us the way. Perhaps. Maybe. I, I was thinking so. we were like right Director. at the end of the game. Huh. Director. So, Zach, what is your dream? Huh? I want to do squats professionally. Mm. Let's see. To become a hero. <laughs> Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Oh, come on. Lend me a hand. You and Ed, Mr. Universe both. for squat. If we pull this off, we'll all be heroes. At the very least, I'd feel like one. I wish Zack didn't have to fucking so, Zach, pick up the stupid purple apple, though. Genesis? Put that thing down, dude. Uh, I see. He's in this apple. He lives in the apple. Under the sea. Genesis Bob Jedi Pants. So, Zack. Why do we speak very slowly? Well, me specifically. Dumb apples only grow in Benora. Why? Something to do with Benora's soil properties. Genesis always carries a dumb apple around. I should have caught on quicker. If I just wait around these apple trees. Get that shit! so different now. Could you watch over Cloud for me? Certainly. Hmm? What's that? Is that my baby daughter's clone? Square Enix man writing some good good story involving clones. The director of the, the soldier department turned into a clone of a super soldier that grew a wing that had experiments done on him that eats hair so he can become immortal. I guess we're gonna go down there. Into the live stream. Is this here before? Where does it lead? Deep between the cheeks, of course. First prize, Benora White Juice, Processed Foods Category, National Agriculture Awards. Wow. The idea to make this juice came from a Benora, new, a youth named Genesis. Real name, Chad. Wow, just wow! Genesis' comments, I am very honored. Benora White Juice tastes great but the fruit itself is quite tasty as well. My dream is for my parents and me to serve the hero Sephiroth our apples one day. Since we're close in age, I would like to show him what I've accomplished in my life. Genesis. Genesis was like, when he, when he turned 18, he was like, I'm changing my name, Ma, and there's nothing you could do about it. All right, Chad, what are you gonna name yourself? Genesis. I wanna be like Sephiroth, I need a cool name, Mom. I need a cool name, Mom. If I can be like Sephiroth, mom! Alright, Tucker, I'm Genesis. Go back to making your goddamn juice. I need Shannon to be cool like Sephiroth! Did the game just freeze? <laughs> the game heard that and was like, stop. Please, you're hurting me. You're hurting them. Do it for the babs. I don't even know what the fuck light materia is, but sure. Welcome to the lazy caves. We ran out of stuff to do, and we needed more for the end of the game. So here, have these caves. I can see one of the secret bosses here. I mean, I get that the game introduced its own new characters like Genesis and Angeal, and it wanted the focus to be on Zack and his characters. Here's some fucking poetry. Some Loveless on a tombstone. Of course Genesis would have that in his bat cave. Maybe by going too fast, I create memory leaks. I don't know. Like, I know that, that there's, uh, you know, an original story and characters here, but... It also feels weird that, like, you know, the story we've seen of Cloud and Zack and, and Sephiroth and Zack and all that is such a minor part of this. And in between, they just, like, put all this stuff. And, like, I totally forgot about Genesis. Once the Sephiroth stuff happened, I was like, oh, now the game is cool again and, and I'm, I'm kind of enjoying, a lot, like, some of the story stuff. But I feel almost kind of don't care about Genesis and, like, this plot. I really wouldn't mind if it just never wrapped up and like the dude fell down a pit and that was the end of it. <laughs> like that's, that would have been, that would have been fine. <sighs> one becomes a hero, one wanders the land, and the last is taken prisoner. Yay, one's a hero. The story of the hero. That's an original one. 
Oh, I haven't heard that one yet. Uh, tell me more about these uh, heroes. Tell me, what do they do? They go around and save people from bad things. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so done with this part. I'm just doing the costly punch and skipping and not giving a shit, not dodging, not guarding, getting pearl necklaces from fucking creepy monster mash dudes. Evening, Squire. Hello, yes, I'd wish, I wish to buy a book about something interesting, something of great import, a great work of fiction in the literature department. What have you got, pray tell? Oh, I got this book about a hero. Well, my good lad, I've acquired a taste for literature about things other than the hero. Oh, well, I've got this story about a slug. Oh, it's good. It's about a dude, a little guy who starts out in a small little town, pining for his fields, go, go, and he becomes go. a great big hero, fella. Okay, I, I, if I fast forward, I'm gonna get my shit kicked in. These, these guys are actually a little hard. Yeah, costly punch is still my best move by far. Or my best option, I should say. Even though my, my sword is faster, this definitely does the most damage per second. Your mother was an angel and your father was a clone of her. That's a good one, Kaiser. I like that. Okay, we've, um, we've got some uh, live streams that have ascended and crystallized. My, my, now my, <laughs> my throat hurts. What's going on? Well, not hurts, but it's like... My voice is just at 0% integrity. Maybe I listened to Blood Bagel too much today. And like the muscle memory recall of hearing the songs is making my throat like get all like shitty. To be fair, Joe is still sick. Joe's been sick for a while. He's uh, I, I wonder if if spending as much time in the studio as I have been getting some some form of sick Sabbath materia. Play some good music when you use it. One of the goddess materia. Oh, okay, so this is like you collect them and something happens. Any plans of streaming RuneScape idle adventures? Uh, no, dude. No. Nah, man. No. There's a new RuneScape coming out? What do you mean there's a new RuneScape coming out? Have I seen the new Star Trek? Yeah, I did a hour-long talk about it with Mike, actually. It's on the Full Sauce channel. It's a clicker game spin-off? Oh, did I get a star materia? I don't- I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, I don't think I got a star materia. I got being materia. Uh, do I have to just keep looking for different materias? There's just like treasure chests hidden all over this place. Only happening today. I've played this game a number of times. I've, I've fast forwarded through a lot of it. Only today am I getting weird freezing like that. I missed a chest in the previous area. Well then there you fucking go. Alright, okay. I get what I've gotta do now, okay. Here I am just thinking I was co collecting random trinkets. Turns out, I needed all the materia pieces. Also, this music down here kind of reminds me of something from Goldeneye. Here's a phoenix down. Um, I don't have any phoenix downs, I don't think. Go to the Portal of Severance area now. Oh yeah, let me, let, let me just go to that area that you named. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Okay, let's, let's see. This is the Lake of, of Oblivion. Here it is. Oh! Wow, there is a lot more to this than I thought there was. Okay, more poetry. Take a screenshot if you like it. <laughs> I'm really... I'm, I'm good on that. Seven indentations. Give forth the goddess materia, the path shall be made clear. Well, I got them. Put them shits in there. Dude ate way too much hair in high school. Turned into a right twat. I suppose I deserve that. You know when you start to feel like you're invincible in a video game? And that just clearly isn't the case? That ever happened to anyone else? Careful series of well-placed punches. Oh, thanks, Genesis, for helping me destroy one of your cronies. One of your flukies. Mind your own business, he says. That's a great move. Where the main character has to tell the, the peripheral character to stop talking. True power is less powerful than a punch. Let me show you true power. The true power of soldier. How it's just me punching a fucking ball in the face. Conflict resolved. By what? Violence. That's right. What lesson have we learned here, children? What, what's the lesson we've learned? Every problem can be resolved. Every conflict can be resolved by punching it in the face. All right, class dismissed. Now go forth and be productive. You ready for more poetry? My more soul apples? Corrupted by vengeance. And by <laughs> you ready for more of this? Endured torment. 
to find the end of the journey in my own salvation. You're late. Loveless again. What a surprise. You have succeeded Angeal's spirit, and carry a part of Sephiroth within you. Take off the cuffs. Thus the three Let friends are reunited once again. And Loveless is reenacted. No! Open your eyes, Genesis! You want me to just stare at you? Ten seconds. When the war of the beasts I can brings do that. about the world's end. I... I've come here to help you. The goddess descends from the sky. Eat my hair! Winds of light and dark spread afar. She guides us to bliss. Her gift, everlasting. What is that? The gift of the goddess, a heavenly boon found only in Banora. I thought the cells were the gift. There are various interpretations. No, the apples are the gift. I don't understand. To ponder the mystery is in itself a gift. Yeah, I agree, Chris. We yes. We will all <laughs> join the life stream. You are no exception. The planet has become my guardian. CZ said it was like, this is like three friends, two of them trying to give one of their dudes an intervention because he watches too much TV. Genesis is the friend that watches too much TV. Like, dude, you gotta stop quoting, like, this stuff. You're, you're just talking in Don't memes and over. movie lines. You're not a monster, you're one of us! I didn't expect loud guitar riffs with a drum and bass backdrop. Almost house music remix. Wow. He's massive. Yo, let me level this with you guys. I don't remember any of this fight. I finished this game. I did. I don't remember any of this. Just punch this dude's massive sword real quick. Oh wow. Am I doing good? <laughs> Am I doing good? Uncle Iffy's here. It's a shame I don't get to see the cutscenes for a lot of those summons, because they, they really look great. I'd say the summon cutscenes look... It's like the best part of the game. As I skip the Ifrit one over and over again. Oh, fuck sick! Gravity doesn't work on this guy. I can't jack on white boys like this. So this is the fight, huh? My soul... Out of context. Oh, I'm, I, you're right, Jogo. I'm, when I say I jack on white boys, I'm quoting a Rick and Morty I've thing. I swear. Torment to find the end of the journey in my own salvation. <laughs> Legendary <Your> battle. <laughs> slumber. <laughs> Does this mean Best boss fight ever. You knew <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah. It's Stand not an episode, it's the fight. court case. Soldier Just first type class. Rick and Morty court and you'll get it on YouTube. Why is everyone always pushing things on me? Gotta say, after an ass whooping, Genesis looks pretty good. Maybe that's the secret to eternal youth. Whoop some ass. 
chunky AF. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, Kylo Ren over here. Got, got a lightsaber now, huh? Yeah, use your lightsaber as much as you want. I'm just gonna fucking deck you in the throat over and over again until you submit. Genesis. Genesis wants to rule the world. But I am the Zack Master. Conflict resolved. What the fuck is this? Whoa, look at that. In glorious detail. Could you imagine having to suffer the affliction that is Genesis in the afterlife? Just being like an emo, live journal -y, poetry spouting. Fucking just always doing all the wrong shit. Got a big ego. No, he's no fun to be around. No room for gacked, only zacked. Reg, that's not how you get ba invited back to my house, Reg. Do you remember when we made love? With the Luigi hat? If you want to get invited back, you be nice to me. How dare you, Reg. We could be like Zack and Cloud. You could be Cloud. Silent. Near death. I'll be like Zack. And who, who's Genesis? Shinra attacked us. Save your strength. I got some help from him over there. <gasps> it's you. It's a monster. <laughs> Director! The Angeal monster saved him. Thank you. Well, he saved Cloud. Good thing Cloud doesn't remember any of this shit. That would have been a weird flashback. Really? We're doing the apple thing again? Okay. Let's eat. Zach, you're Sorry, a fucking I'm not idiot. The real thing, but... Is it good? 
Yeah. The gift oh. of the goddess. This apple? I feel like everything hurts in the universe. And when you. anything to do with Genesis happens. The dream came true. Can you, like, die already, please? Like, didn't I punch you? And where was- where'd they find that random-ass wooden chair in the middle of a field to, <laughs> to sit Cloud down on? So there's two plot lines conveniently wrapped up before Final Fantasy VII. Director Lazard and Angeal Monster are now returning to the life force. So, that's good. Tightly wrap that one up. Now when's Genesis gonna bite it? Where are it? you? I wish I knew where you were. It's already been four years now. This is the 89th letter that I've sent to you. It's not even once a but day, Aerith. Come on. I don't even know where to send them anymore. I really hope that this final letter that I'm writing gets to you. By the way, the flowers are selling very well. They make everyone so happy. Thanks to you, Zach. P.S. The flower cart Eric. still looks like shit and smells like twat. Can you get me some new wood, Zach? <laughs> what no. do you mean, final? What are angels dreaming of? Did no one tell him that he was asleep for four years? <laughs> Aerith, wait for me. You're gonna make it too. You got that? Cloud in one arm, giant sword that weighs as much, if not more than Cloud. Probably more than Cloud. That sword eats more than he does. And the other arm, no problem. It's all those squats, which, as you know, improves your, your must uh, be an important matter arm. If they are sending the two of us muscles. <laughs> Apparently, the subject will become our brother. Is that so? But, will he accept his fate willingly? The texture error. Pequod. Leaving. Even if the morrow is barren of promises, he's dead, not nothing, even on the screen, so and we still get poetry. My return. To become the dew that quenches the land, to spare the sands. The seas, the skies, I offer thee this silent sacrifice. Cisne! The army's mobilizing. Find the targets before they do. Understood. The army won't be a settle. I want them alive. You hear me? You're going to save Zack's life. Of course. I haven't even told him my real name. My real name being Sasquatch. Help them. Sisney. I have letters for Zack. 88 of them. 
So when did Song, like, grow a heart for Zack? I'm just kidding. You know I wouldn't do that to you. You might remember this. We're friends, right? From Final Fantasy VII. They can't be serious. There's no way we're gonna find two needles in a haystack this size. There's no mission that's impossible for the Turks, yeah, yeah. Also, Reno's my favorite. Has something to give him. Who? That target? Hmm. So we're couriers now. Delivering packages to fugitives, huh? <laughs> We got nothing. You? Likewise. I'm heading to point two three five. You two take point one two zero. Roger. All right, now let's get going. Cloud's hair is still, like, perfect. The price of freedom is steep. <laughs> should just start pointing with his fingers and, and shooting. Your Bang! Bang! And whatever happens, protect your honor. As soldier! Come and get it! Activating combat mode. Yep. You like the um the cardboard cutouts in the background? I understand now. Where is Angie? This is my job. Already happened. Lies within each person. We'll meet again soon. Yes. So get away safe. Zach, I gotta go. One of these dudes is Quinzel? Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps so. I won't be skipping through these since this is, you know, the thing. Every now and then a missile comes, you know, why not? Notice that it, it went down to one HP, but I didn't I didn't die. I, I actually got lower than one, but it gave me one. Like you've been there, you know. On on I never served you at if only I was joined my battle. Nothing else out there. Thanks. Hold on. Hello.
that's kind of what happens when you go up against the battalion. You get some minor bruising on your face and arm. Oh, and a lot of bullet holes. Even with this many punches, this motherfucker's still alive. What kind of super soldiers do they hire? Yeah, the slots are broken. You can see that all that's left is Aerith. part of the game that I actually like the slots. She has a new outfit now, four years later. For the both of us, it's the best delivery both of us. That's right. Part time. You're gonna. You're gonna. Live. You'll be my living legacy. My honor, my dreams.
They're yours now. All those moments will be lost like tears in rain. Boy, you're gonna carry that weight. Carry that weight a long time. Etc. etc. I'm your living legacy. I almost would have preferred if, if there was less dialogue for this part. <laughs> but why do we need this music? Embrace your dreams if you want to be a hero. You need to have dreams. Thank you. I won't forget. This isn't a gawked song, is it? Even though Cloud forgets immediately after and thinks he, his memories and experiences are Zack. Good night. In Final Fantasy VII, Cloud just picks up the goddamn sword and just stumbles away. I don't believe a whole lot is spoken. He's still like in, in his Mako radiationing, uh, Mako poisoning haze. He doesn't really even know what the hell he's doing. That girl. She said that this guy frightened her. That looks so liberating. Those wings. I want them too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I know this is emotional for a lot of people. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if we needed. Feels good. I would have been okay if we didn't have an ascension to heaven scene. But I mean, I guess it's closure even further. If you see Eric, <laughs> say hi for me. Would you say I became a hero? <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so there you go. There's a uh, crisis core. I do like, I swear, I liked it. I did. I had a good time. And I do get upset that Zack dies. But he has to die, you know, for the Final Fantasy VII to happen. I like how 90% of the chat says, no, you did not become a hero, Zack. Um, yeah, I mean, it sucks. I liked, I liked Zack. I really did. And, um, you know, it, it sucks that he had to be the, the sacrificial cow. He's stone dead, pining for the fjords, pushing up the daisies, singing in the choir in Visibule. He's bleeding demise. And, uh, you know, I liked Zack a lot. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, this just goes over the goddamn top with so many things, but ultimately, it is sad. And, you know, the Aerith angle, that's, that's sad too.
Music. I like this music, obviously. Um, and the way he was gunned down and everything. I just think it could have been done in a way that was less. Because in some ways, less could have been a little bit more. But, I mean, I, I didn't really remember how crazy all that was and how much there was to it. I thought it was, like, in my memory, it was just a quick scene. But that might have been just the Final Fantasy VII version. I'm gonna show you the best chord. You ready for it? Best chord coming up. Listen. This. That's a good chord, that. Zack's voice actor is in Band of Brothers. What a coincidence. Are you serious? Was he? Which soldier? I gotta find out. Oh, no shit! That's Zack?! I just was- <laughs> I was just watching an episode with him yesterday. The dude is a very capable actor. I thought he was Sam Rockwell at first, actually. That's the dude from Band of Brothers who played Zack. He, he's good, I mean, he's- uh, and he's good in Band of Brothers, and I've seen him in some other shit. I had no idea that it was the same guy. What a weird- you're right, that is a weird coincidence. Let me show you what Cloud's voice actor looks like. He almost looks like Cloud, which is kind of interesting. I guess S Steve Burton and Rick Gomez could kind of play their respective characters in a live-action movie. I like this, this music. I was hoping, I guess I was kind of hoping that the game would have more, you know, orchestrated remixes of Seven soundtrack. <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah, why? I almost don't want to talk over this music, so I'm, I'm not going to. I'm just going to enjoy it. But I do have some thoughts that I'd like to share after this. You know what? That kind of almost started. Well, it's a remix of Aerith's theme, which is pretty good. I thought it was just, like, generic country rock, but no, it's good. I have high reverence for, um, Yuematsu's compositions. So, I was gonna say it almost the beginning of it sounded a little bit like Venus and Mars by Paul McCartney. <laughs> Why? Now, we, now we're going into the Crisis Core part of the soundtrack. You could tell by the, the, the electric slide guitar. Sounds like a dying cat. Who's better, Yuematsu or Mitsuda? I think Yuematsu had a more consistently incredible output. The amount of work that man did in a row that was just incredible is stunning. So I'm gonna go with Yuematsu, but Mitsuda is a close fucking second for me. Post-credits cutscene. Oh, it's the stars from the beginning of Final Fantasy VII. I was hoping Red Thirteen would be pining for the fjords. Like, just for no reason, it's another cutscene of Red Thirteen running through the wilderness. Just to be like a dick. Oh, hey, look, everyone. In a year or two, we're going to be seeing this again. In even more amazing quality than this. Now, God damn it. My name is Cloud. 
Soldier. First class. <laughs>